Okay, Brian. Brian, I know you're listening. <laughs> Brian, what's going on guys welcome to the stream thank you for joining me tonight with these three fools hey. and i want to thank you, you guys for here joining universal ta yeah. tonight wow. get excited wow. come to two real geeks it's subscribe to us because you're going to want to we are epic we hear you oh, well. we're good what is he doing anyways what's we going on guys <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, somebody hey. needs to start this off. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. As usual, I'm fucking up right from the start. Listen, anyway, the Ooh, way start. to go. No, start. we say I saved your ass. It's okay. We're good. Yeah, I, we're good. I, I, I figured by the fact that you were talking, you saved my ass. I appreciate it, Danny. Listen, before we start, Brian, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What I told you about this song. I know you told me about the song, real, but listen, that doesn't try... fit my personality. Listen, you need to add some seasoning on this thing. I think Here it's a we, songs know. like that. I think it's songs a beautiful like song. that are not how the two real geeks start streams. We start. How do you with, start streams? Remixes. We start Thank with you. remixes, bro. Yeah, but how do you find royalty-friendly music that actually is cool? You can't. YouTube. There's not much. Yes, you can. Yes, oh, you. Yes, you okay. Can. Okay. Fine. You want me to do it? Yes, I'll do it. <laughs> do it. You and know Rel, I will. Well, Rel wants like NWA gangster rap. I, I don't want. Like, <laughs> I want some salsa in there. Oh, oh, Randy, he wants some salsa. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, right. We, 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 we no, 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 no. No, you know, you said last week spoke. You like, you know, something a little more seasoning, a little more edge. This one wants salsa music. How am I supposed to like? <laughs> how am I supposed to have an intimate? I, I think the music is cute. Okay, it's okay to be cute. A little. You can make it blend. You can make it blend. It's okay well, to be cute. Okay. Mm, well, you are cute. I got cute. Hold on. Hold on. I have We're going to start the stream off the right way, guys. <laughs> yeah, Give me a second. Up. Hold on. We're going to restart this stream. Hold on. Was that the theme you ready, song guys? The house? <laughs> Your brother's going in, Brian. <laughs> yeah, you ready, guys? <laughs> Let's share this. Go ahead. Go do that. Oh, man. Fuck you, Tom. <laughs> Here we go. Share my screen. Uh, I, I, we got I, I, this. Wait, share you. Oh, okay. Just do there it. You go. Share you. All right. Okay, I got you. There we go. All right. <laughs> I heard this. Oh. I, this is how we do it home, on the Brian. gigs. Oh, Just wait. Home, Just wait. We're going you tonight. Welcome to our stream. It's going to get crazy just like this. Okay. Brian, you should okay. feel at home because this is your okay. song. Brian, See? you should feel at home because this is your song. <laughs> and this is royalty free. <laughs> that was him. And this is royalty free. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. This is a remix. Any remix. Rel heard it. You're a wizard, Howard. <laughs> Talk your shit, Brian. Talk your shit. Talk your shit, Brian. Talk your shit. You can stop at whatever you want. I just wanted to throw the real music. Actually, that's pretty cool. Tonight, you uh, know? Okay, maybe we'll. Maybe we'll. What's our Arthur, uh, Arthur? What's up, buddy? Uh, Augustine. Yeah, we're gonna get back to you about the closed caption. But if did you, you not see the opening to my stream last night? You know what? I have to admit, buddy. Honestly. I haven't joined your streams from the beginning. The beginning, so I never, I never saw that. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I was at work when you when you were started. So, so. that's pretty cool. So <laughs> I admit that's pretty cool. Okay, so then we we have to uh, we have to uh, step up our game with that. So welcoming everyone. If you don't already know, this is probably going to be one of our most chaotic streams, and I'm here for it. Um, totally here for it. If you don't already know, <laughs> I'm, Bri I'm, I'm Brian and Ead. Uh, you can find me on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and my co-host. You just Lugo. look like Brian, though. Oh, yeah, I'm just Brian. Right just now, Brian. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ead hasn't been on one of these streams in a while, but I just certainly Harry. Every time. <laughs> just Harry. Uh, and you can find my co-host Lugo on LugoMan78 on Instagram and YouTube and uh, theme park lifestyle, just about everywhere, it's spreading itself in show. there. Oh, okay, all right. I think today, this week, the star <laughs> of the show is Two Real Geeks, and you can catch them on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Uh, you are on TikTok, my right? stream. I'm on this TikTok, is... Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, you name it, we're there, we're pumping it out. We're, you know, like I tell people, we're your theme park party channel. Let's do this. 
Yeah, so I, I, well, I did want to start off by saying um, you're a very special, long-awaited guest, and can you tell the kind people a little bit about yourselves? You're two real geeks. It's, it's you and Jess, right? It's myself and Jess, yep. And um, our, listen, man, our channel basically started off as based, a way for our families up in New York to see what the hell we were doing. Like, we moved from New York down to Georgia, and in Georgia, we started cranking out stuff. You know, we got tired of like, oh, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? You're like, you know what? Here, yeah. just go watch the video. And oh, okay. from there, yo, we grew so quick. Within like six months, we were at a thousand subscribers and monetized and stuff. And really, like, we just, yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, honestly, this dude over here has like basically been part of our channel from the beginning. I'll tell you that much. He's he found our stuff and you know a lot of like I, I've seen a lot of him in, in our videos and stuff. Thank you. Which is you know amazing. Oh. You mean I love that. Yes. Um, and, I, and honestly, I was watching Rel's stuff when when I'm putting my stuff up too. I'm watching Rel's stuff, and you know, at the same time, and it's a lot of love back and forth between the two of us and Terra. I'll tell you that much. It's honestly, cool actually, you know, this is the first up. time hearing that. I did not know that. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I don't think um, anything. So then. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back to me, guys. Back to me. Attention's on me. Thank you. Um, don't Wait, make me so you... have you full screen. All right, full screen me. Enough of you guys. Let's go. Let's... You, you became monetized. I'm taking over. You became monetized without doing like any Disney Universal stuff. That's pretty. No, cool. just all with Six Flags. That's Six awesome. Flags. We got monetized. Remember, yeah, man. I have to say this. Remember, that's only the Disney community that you blinded with. There's people that the Cedar Fair, Six mm -hmm. Flags, Listen, uh, Dolly right. Parton, everything. Dolly Parton. They're doing Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton? Oh, Dolly Wood. Wow, Dolly Wood. man. I'm sorry, Dolly Wood. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, there's so many. There's other places I can go with that one too, but I'm not going to. So, anyways, um, <laughs> anyways, back to back to what I'm saying here is, yeah, we got monetized within about six six to eight months or so, less than a year. I'll tell you that much. Um, in fact, I'll tell you this: we got monetized right before. Our trip down to Disney, our first trip down to Disney with that with our channel, because I was able to start doing live streams uh, from you know my phone and stuff. Um, get more into that later, but um, a lot of our stuff was Six Flags stuff. We were our biggest video on our channel right now is from Helen, Georgia, at Christmas time. Um, our second bit, biggest video is a dinosaur drive through that we did at uh, Whitewater uh, Park up in. Um, uh georgia actually also hey, what's going and, on lavish stalls and for the love of disney what's going on welcome in i like to thank you all in tonight appreciate it um yeah, yeah so then we moved what? down here and like we're like cool you know what we're we're monetized right so that's at least that's the the evil done already you know and honestly it's not been easy down here um right. it's just our stuff gets so drowned out and coming from an area where you're used to being the number one youtube channel viewed for that park like legit was the number one youtube channel for six legs over georgia and it wow. hurt coming down here when you're going from like five thousand views to maybe if you're lucky a hundred so it's like what am i doing like i know i got this but then it's like all right we got to reestablish ourselves here and that's kind of the phase this month that we've been going read through since we're new like settled in within the year and kind yeah. of felt things out so now we're like all right this event happens this time of year now we know what's going to happen in the parks now and you know things like that so i've been pushing things out different ways and like rel and i actually had a conversation the other day about like TikTok and how i've been using TikTok okay, to yeah. use that for uh trailers for our YouTube channel, and it's actually been working well for us. So, so I have a question. So things were going great, successful on YouTube. Obviously, they still are. But like, why the yeah. move to Florida? Like, why was that not? always it's, part of the plan? For me, it was. Yeah. Like honestly, Atlanta was just a stopping ground. Like, who who stays in Atlanta? Who stays in Georgia? I mean, um, it was it was an opportunity Georgia, no. to get that. It, it was an opportunity to get out of New York. I mean, Brian, yes. you know how, you know, you know how it is. It's like up in New York, you got to get it. Like it was just to the point up there. Like you needed to go. Things were going yes. bad up in New York. It's like living in a black and white movie and Groundhog Day all over again. You know, every day. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
You work, I, yeah, I, I, you work to pay your rent and not to live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think moving down here for me has been the best move ever. I, I love it down here. Yeah. You know? Like, so, I'll give you an example. With us moving down here, well, you didn't it's have great. A choice, Brian, you had to move here because, you know, Universal <laughs> hired you. <laughs> <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. Yeah, right. All right. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> Anyways, like moving down here, like I've done things down here that I would never have done in a million years anywhere else that I lived. Like my oh, work. What? Like I'm getting into it. Okay. God, <laughs> God Jesus, man. Listen, I like that. Uh, <laughs> I, I I know, but I like to talk. <laughs> we know. Uh, yeah, what was it like two and a half hours last night that I talked for? That was an amazing um, stream. I loved it. I appreciate that, man. So going in from like New York to like down here, the big difference is is like I'm not working to 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 pay my rent. I'm working to also have fun at the same time. So one night, Jess and I just randomly, without even batting an eye, we're like, "Hey, let's go to the Palm Restaurant over at Hard Rock." And if you're not familiar with the Palm Restaurant, it's like the minimum for a steak there is like $80. And we're like, okay, sure. You know, so we're going out and actually enjoying life and filming things more and, you know, and bringing more value of, of it than just going to Six Flags all the time, being in Georgia and stuff, because you couldn't afford to do anything else. So, so well, let me ask you this. Um, yeah. Since you do, like, Six Flags and you did parks in New York and have you thought about like just doing different um like SeaWorld, Universal, Disney, uh Six Flags, Cedar Fair, like just going around doing different parks around the US? Uh if if we ever get big enough where this channel can actually pay for that, then yeah, we, we definitely would. Um but I also don't like to consider our channel a theme park channel. Because if you go mm -hmm. and look and see the stuff that we do, we're not just theme parks. Um, right. Right. Like, our inspiration actually came from, like, Adam the Woo, Jacob the Carpetbagger, and Tim Tracker um, at their prime and stuff. I okay. mean, I mean, look at Tim Tracker and then look at our, ours. It's like, come on, you got a husband and wife team there, and then me and Jess also at the same time going around doing different fun things. You know, like, Tim okay. Tracker, only it was only, what, maybe about... You know five six years ago there he actually became big on theme parks you know he was going around he was going and buying shoes in his earlier videos and and, and right. stuff and those were getting how much views you know but it's not what you're doing it's the fun aspect that you're bringing you're bringing people along with you and that's what we find important not to sit there and educate you about the park it's these parks are fun where we go are fun if i'm going there it's because i want to have fun um, so yeah, like I can go to desert land. I can go, I can go to uh, icon park. I can go anywhere and we're taking you with us to have the fun. Like that's why you see in our videos, we have a lot of like interaction with the camera. Like we're talking to you. We're not talking behind, you know, behind the camera, giving you a whole documentary on, on this theme park of this day. No, like I, I don't care. I don't care about what, what's new. What's that? You know, I don't have to be the first one there. What I have to do is bring the fun value to you at home because a lot of you guys can't make it to these parks and right. you know want to be here you want to see the fun you know and things like that kind of inspired our other series of um like the theme parks like the ambient videos that we've been doing for the theme parks unfortunately we right. couldn't finish really most of them because you know hhn started christmas started and things like that i want those videos in their prime like legit uh, uh state of the park basically you know summer operations when people are there and remember these parks and then i'll go back and maybe do another vi uh, whole series for the christmas uh vibe and all that but we've been just sitting there and, I, and actually i really enjoy doing these videos because it's less work on us <laughs> i mean but we sit there and i'll literally record different angles and basically it's like people watching in the park i don't say a word in the videos i'll just open it up and what we've been doing is breaking it up by land in universal so we have the port of entry up right now and the entrance way to um, Universal Studios Florida right now. So okay. I'm going to do like Marvel is going to get its own. Seuss is going to get its own. You know, the New York section is going to get its own. Uh, you know, 
San Francisco will get its own, things like that, but you're going to get different angles of that area, like your people watching. Okay, so I have a couple so. questions of what you said. So you talked about... Brian, so yep. there's some people that want to know what your channel is. Please announce what your channel is for everyone. Yeah. You don't know who we are already? You should. <laughs> we're, we're two real geeks. Come two on, man. We're all right down there. Two real geeks. There you go. On YouTube, Check them out. Talk, Instagram. We are your theme park party channel. I love that. So you spoke about, like, you know, even when we talked prior, you talked about FOMO, the fear of missing out. And when I first started doing I, I YouTube, I got caught up in that, like, you know, there's people like, okay, so a new hot dog debuts at KC. Everyone has to be the first one. And, you know, mm -hmm. that's what made me burnt out in the beginning because, you know, I figured there's a hundred people covering that, whatever, that new hot dog, that new snack, that new ride. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like what I felt like, what's my purpose? Like, okay, so I'm the hundred and first person to cover that. Like, what's the big deal? And I kind of felt burnt down on that. And we took a break and, yeah. you know, we got caught up in that. It's easy to get caught mm -hmm. up in that. Um, so, you know, and I, we came back with a renewed purpose of just like, you know, just do you know, like you said, you know, you just, you know, talk just to the audience. Just do you. Yeah, just and do I you. And I can say this, as a yeah. YouTuber, and, and I'm pretty sure you, you guys would agree with me as well, just because you cover it, because it's something new, doesn't mean that you'll get the views. So, here's what we found, is, like, when we were Six Flags, yes, we had to be the first to cover it, because Six Flags had us on their media, and they had told us, hey, look, you need to come out here and do this, and you know what, we were like, alright, well, we knew we were getting the views anyways on the, on the, on the, videos so right. all right cool whatever not that i want it to really because honestly in my opinion when i see something new come out like on, on on a video i don't care about the first day first day is always always picture perfect right i want to know how it's doing like for real like you know a real visit to to the park how's that look on a real like like um with disney with the new guardians ride that just opened right yeah well on day one, they weren't saying, oh, yeah, we have barf bags available and stuff like that. Everything was so, oh, yeah, every, this ride's perfect, you know, this and that. During media events and everything, too, it was, oh, yeah, this is great, this and that. Well, now at a media event, are my viewers going to be able to do and experience everything that I did? No, not at all. Not at all. They're not going to get that store all to themselves. They're not going to get that ride all to themselves or be able to, you know, say, hey, can we go again so I can get more footage or, you know, things like that. They're not going to do that. Right. They're right. going to be, hey, I waited in line for this long and it was, eh, you know, like, right. I don't, I don't need to be the first to things and I don't want to be the first to things. We did the epic, uh, the, the tribute store over at Universal, right? Yeah. I mean, you guys saw the video for it. We did it that Monday of uh, Memorial Day. Then it opened up left, uh, the Thursday before. And honestly, I've had more views on that than most of the other people who, you know, I was looking at time frames and stuff like that. Like, everybody was kind of not, like, they watched one video, like, like, like Jackie was there or, or a World of Michael was there or, you know, things like that. They saw it that day from those people because it was opening day. Now, up, people are going you? back now. What's going on, brother? What's up, brother? Um, people are going back now and watching things like my video because they want to see it on a normal operating day. So Right, because that's going to be their experience. Your experience is never going to be like that first day. Exactly. Media. But when you were uh, had media for Six Flags and wherever else you had media, did you feel the pressure to kind of bend toward like, quote unquote kissing their ass or i'm gonna like, tell you this no no okay okay i wouldn't give in like you guys you guys know me right you guys it's know me in, um disney and everyone else because disney mm -hmm. you, you have to kiss their ass in order to um them. no uh not 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 really not really because a lot you of people who get media bad. You can't say anything right, bad at this right. But here's here's what I'm gonna tell you is Six Flags would highly just because we were honest on things. Six Flags would come back to us and say, "Hey, listen, thank you." Like I would get personal phone calls from Six Flags management, like I mean upper upper management from the park, saying, "Hey, thank you. We're going to fix this issue. If it wasn't for your video, we wouldn't have seen it." Wow. But 
there's ways to do it where it's tastefully too though like you gotta you gotta yes you gotta be careful on some things that you do and say but realistically these videos when you point out the bad help the parks also because right. from being on Six Flags, I can tell you right now, they all they all watch these videos. It doesn't matter how small of a channel you are, they know when a new video hits and they are watching it and seeing what's going on. Well, speaking to what you're saying and even what Jay just said in the room, you know, there's a different thing. Disney's very strict Six Flag wants to fix things. Um, is there um like you said, I think you could be in with Disney. I'm going to tell you this way. It's yeah. going to be the opposite way around. Six Flags is very strict and Disney is very lax on things. Really? Um, um, yeah. Literally, you go to a Six Flags park and it's like going to Universal. You can't film on their rides. So, like, I had, like, some of the POVs I, that I, I have, I have on there. I have a question, right? Is somebody yeah. asleep? Somebody That's what? the dog. <laughs> oh. I figured it was the dog. That's so cool. Hold on. Okay, so that's interesting. It's switched. There she is. Ah. Oh, she passed. <laughs> yeah, she passed. No, yeah. <laughs> she's like, sorry, she's like, that's uh, that's the bulldog snore right there. She's like in a rage. I figured I was gonna out. say it's got to be a bulldog. Hey. Oh. Yeah, she's an American bulldog. She's uh, <laughs> she's actually the one on our our logo for the channel too. So. Okay. So Six Flags is more strict. Disney is less strict. I would imagine though, even if you're in with Disney Universal. You can be um, constructively criticizing them without going over into like ridiculousness, right? And that's the problem is nobody does though. Like nobody does out there right now. Nobody is out there trying to, you know, everybody's trying to watch watch what they say and all that on these YouTube channels. Right. Um, I'm not talking about bigger ones either. Like, you know, yeah, the bigger ones are kind of setting the example for it. But right now, the smaller ones right now are really like trying to do that too because they you know like we all think we're, we're going to make it big on this and whatever we all forget right. that we're out here having fun and honestly if you're not look like just like going to work it's like everyday living you know you go to a theme park enough there's going to be a good day and a bad day you know and if i'm going to have a bad day i'm going to let you hey look this this wasn't good you know you know this broke down or whatever you know but i'm going to be like all right well let's go find something fun just to fix this you know but right in the theme park there's bad but there's always something good three times things three times more good to find than that one bad thing so I, yeah and the problem I, is is the youtubers right now just because you got a camera in your hand well, I'm a YouTuber. I can no. You can't do what you want. I'm sorry. You cannot do what you want. It doesn't matter how big of a YouTuber you are. There's rules right. to follow. Like the entitlement. No. If they say no filming on a ride, you gotta no, no filming, filming on the ride because you're setting right. the example now for everybody else who's coming along you, trying to do what we're doing. And I see it way too much. They're like, well, this person did it. Why can't I do it? There's a video up on YouTube from somebody filming on it. That means you go like people, you know, it's like, no, you, it's making the jobs harder for other people. Like we're, we're, we're the ones that set the examples of the rules and we can't right. break rules. I they're think, not supposed to be broken. I think any corporation will, who has common sense, will look at a channel and say, like okay, they're just being real. It's constructive, rather as you know, there's some out there that are just haters and just you right. know they devote their channels to being a dick in the parks and like yeah. hating on everything. Uh, yeah. But yeah, okay. So so when you make when you made, I don't hate on everything, but I will tell you about food. The food is horrible. I'm gonna tell you. Right. <laughs> I feel like the food I'm immersion. Say it too. Yeah, the food immersion nice could be. I mean, comparatively to like the foreign parks. I mean, they they need to step up their game in terms of food and merchandise. All right, so go back, go back in the last video I put up, um, the uh, Universal Monsters Cafe, right? Um, I was at the team member event for that too. It's like if you guys have no, no, yes, I do work at Universal too. I'm an apprenticeship program for the writing show, so it means I I help fix the rides that you work on. So this video right there, yeah, and if you go in the video. You literally hear me say the food in this place was not the greatest, but the atmosphere was 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 better. Right. Yep. right. I remember, that was like one of the first things you said walk in, when you walked in there. Yeah. Right. Yep. And I said it a couple times it's in that more video. the atmosphere. Yep. And, but there was a negative, but there was a but positive that actually positive. eliminated right. that. Right. right. And the problem is, is people walk in there like, oh, this food sucks. Oh, 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 oh I'm right. leaving. 
Universal, what is wrong? Get your stuff right. together. This, what, what is that going to do? What is that? You're making yourself look like an asshole. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's, pl- there's plenty to find the positive in. But it's also you know. about entitlement. Some people just feel entitled. Like, just well, I'm a YouTuber. Uh, it's that YouTuber entitlement. That's exactly what it comes down. Because, <laughs> you know, working in the park, I see it way too much. And, you know, being at other parks and stuff like that that we've been at, and I, you see it way too much. And there's there's another YouTuber from over uh, in Georgia who covered Six Legs with me who was the same way. He's like, well, I'm a YouTuber. I can do what I want. I'm going to say what I want, this and that. It's like, yeah, I'm like, look, when you're up in over Georgia, yeah, we all know that Six Flags Parks, there's always fights breaking out at Six Flags Parks, okay? There's no hiding it. But do you need to show it on your channel? You know, like... Right. You know what I mean? Right, like like, like right. the fights that broke out at HHN. I was literally right there when those fights broke out last year in the line. I, I had a camera right there, too. I could have just been like, oh, look, somebody got thrown into the guardrail here. That whole, you know, that incident at the Hill House uh, uh, line. I was there. Did I do it? I, I didn't do a damn thing. I wasn't the one that's going to put that up online. I'm sorry. Right, Not right. me. Right. You could tell the clickbaity channels from the rest. And yeah, are those those damn mm-hmm. frogs? <laughs> oh my god! Now I hear them. Yeah, he's got a like a pond right outside. Don't well, you? I didn't hear it last night, <laughs> but I, I hear it now. That's yeah, great. there's like a there's like a lake right outside of our of our That's complex awesome. here. I mean, no, no, it's, it's Orlando. God, <laughs> yeah. So when you made that move from Atlanta, uh, Georgia, right? Uh, yeah. Six Flag type stuff to here. Obviously, here is a place you want to be. It's great theme parks, but how how? Besides, personally, how did you find the YouTube aspect of being down here? The community, the theme park, community, <laughs> Universal it's Disney. Enough. The 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 YouTube community down here, it's it's not too friendly. I'll tell you that much. You need to find your own people, and um, kind of you know hey, build what's from up there. Steph from Mike and Steph, what's going on? What's hey, up, Steph? Steph? Um, the theme park, like there, they're, they're right there. That's another great example, right there. Those are awesome people to network with, right there. Well, you friend, know, they're... my friend is in here. It's a <laughs> now the trouble can really begin. Um, no, the so trouble was it, again, So was it like a culture shock, YouTube channel wise? Did you find it I'm hard? I'm not gonna to like. People? It's like it almost felt like like a cult almost with some of these like. Like I'm not gonna lie, it was all the Disney YouTubers too. It felt like a, it was a damn cult. Like, yeah, and it kind of like literally made me feel like, all right, I'm kind of glad I don't have my annual pass to Disney and kind of stick into SeaWorld and um, Universal, because it's once totally you're part vibe. of that, yeah. yeah. And honestly, like I don't, I, I don't know if I really want to get involved with Disney stuff like that, like. Because you get chewed up, spit out for no reason. And you know what? Danny's got a mouth on him, and he's I'll get myself in trouble. And that's right. it was going to come down to at Disney. You're looked but down upon. What you have to do, um, from my experience, you can't feed into that. You can't pay attention to what's going oh, on. Oh, you just have to do you. I did. We, we don't. And that's exactly. You see, like, I'm just saying from when we first came down here. Because when we mm-hmm. first came down here, I'm not going to lie. When you come in from a park where you're number one, you're their go-to for media and stuff like that, your head's kind of big. I thought who the hell I yes. was. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I thought who the hell I was. I was watching numbers and 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 I was back to like basically square one of of, of YouTube and uh, at that game where you know we all start. We're like, why isn't this doing that? Why right. isn't this doing this? And right. And you can't let yourself get into that because once you start getting into that, it takes the fun out of YouTube. And you know what? I'm back into to, to the flow of, of, you know what? We're out here. We're going to have fun. And once you're in that flow, it comes. It comes quick and it comes big and it comes really, really well. You got to find it. Like, don't let people sit here and tell you, oh, your thumbnails suck. Right. Oh, your right. editing sucks. And, right. you know, stuff like that. Um you know, I mean, take constructive criticism here and there when you can, but you know what? Your thumbnails are your artwork. That's, if you feel that they're good, they're good. Leave it. Right. You know, you learn on your own, you know? You can go to someone and say, look, I don't want to go sit here and, and tell people, oh, yeah, you know, you should change this on your thumbnail. Right. I really don't care. Like, if I see something, I'm just, I'm like, all right, cool, you know? I'll click it, but 
people have told me that our thumbnails are horrible. I'm like, yeah, okay, really? sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like other bigger channels, like oh yeah, you you're doing too, like or 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 you're doing too much, or because you know you know what it is is they see that you're doing something that they should have been doing. Right, and that's the problem too because you find like some of these channels who are like, like big, like they, aren't even on the basic level. They don't want to give you any advice. They don't want to give you anything because they consider you competition right. and it's just so stupid it's so dumb but it's really hey. realistically nobody is really a threat to each other out here you're your own threat because you know what real when it comes down to it your channel is controlled by you like uh, two real geeks is only controlled by me it's not right. controlled by anything that these three do or anything you know like yeah. i i could be here like tonight and you know what this can be good for for their channel but not my channel but you know what so what i don't care i have fun right. with these three it's cool right, exactly. um, or right. it could help me out like you guys can go and subscribe to me and watch everything that i do at this point you know it's cool but realistically it's how many do we have in here right now you know compared to right. how many right. out there watching youtube i mean right. you know if there was yeah. if there was if there was a, a thousand people in here and every thousand subscribed to me well that's great well that's one day of thousand subscribers what's going to happen after that you know right Right. You know, and, uh, and that's, uh, you know, when we suggest people to our, you know, you know, listen, we, uh, I'll admit it, we have a small following, but when we suggest people, we, we're legit about it. Like, you know, these are people that we wouldn't, you know, we're not into follow for follow. We're not into like just suggesting people to suggest people. You know, we, mm -hmm. we truly support people who are of the same mind and ilk that are just, you know, real people, you know, and not, not, not seeing it as a competition, not worrying about, that's Dude, actually yeah. going out and having fun doing yes. it. Yes. So, yep. You know, there's no fear of missing out on like adventures and Mike and stuff. That's why I tell Mike that we need to have adventures outside of Disney. And when I first met him, he was all about getting the views, not having fun. It was like a contest. And, you know, and I agree to what, going back to what you said before, Danny, like, you don't want to pigeonhole yourself and make yourself literally a theme park channel. You no. don't want to leave yourself open to just anything, which is what. We, I love about my channel. I just want to be open to anything that happens in our life, anything in Florida. Right. If theme parks is part of it, that's great. You know. And honestly, when we came down with the channel, like the channel, when we were making our name, like we knew we wanted theme parks. But here was the thing: is we sat here, we were like, all right, if I'd say Six Flags, whatever, right? Yeah. Now I'm stuck with Six Flags niche, and that's it. If right. I said uh, the Disney geeks, right? Well, guess what? Right. Now well, I'm stuck just being a Disney it. channel. If I said Universal or whatever, like you, you, those are the things that we were trying to avoid. We were trying to avoid uh, anything to do with theme parks, roller coasters, or any kind of ride, or you know, like uh, going to comic cons or you know anything else like that. So we're all like, we had a whole list of things. Like there's a book that we have that has like four to five pages, and we went through this list one night uh, on up, one of our Coco? streams. How you doing tonight, Coco? And What's going on? How are you guys? Um, and we literally decided, like, we're, when Jess actually came up with the name Two Real Geeks. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. Oh, really? She came up with it? Okay. Yeah. She said, she's like, she kind of held it off. She was like, she's like, I don't know how you're going to think about this one. She's like, but I think it will, she's like, you know, she was like, Two Real Geeks. All of a sudden, my eyes went lit off. I was like, yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're geeks. We, you know, we you don't have to be a geek to be just comics or, or star wars or whatever else right and right. we're sure. like all right so we're it's we're theme park wild, geeks we're roller coaster geeks we're we're just real geeks horror you know? anything you know Video right games. And we're just real geeks to all That's this awesome. that you're That's saying awesome. okay. so it fit or like we can do everything with that right that's awesome i love that so how, how does um you know you know and um and if you look, the um the, the lightsabers on our logo actually yeah. do kind of represent um skull and crossbones. That's what the purpose of those were, to kind of bring that horror aspect into it. And let me see, right there. Yeah. Okay. So like you know, I have like a skull and crossbones. You have the skull there. Like sometimes there'd be other skulls and stuff, other things around, like a horror logo and stuff. And yeah, that's that's exactly what we were going for. So that's your pup. What's her name again? Leia. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. So, I mean, and there's also like on top of all those pressures, there's the pressures of like you know, like your 
with Jess, I'm with Iad. There's some times where we're like just not in the mood to stream and not in the mood to vlog. And that there's that pressure on top of it too. So and we don't do it. Right. There's no pressure. Right. There's no pressure on it. Like why right. what what why are you saying there's pressure when right. this is something you're doing for fun? So right. you know how many times Jess and I went out and we're like, hey, let's just go to the park. I'm like, hey, guess what? I'm not bringing the camera because I don't feel like yes. carrying that thing around right. and filming exactly. the whole time. Just want to have and I just want to go. Right. Or I just yeah. like literally just like I go to her like because we're not that far from the parks. And I'm like, hey, I want a butterbeer. I want to go on Velocicoaster. So right. I'll just go get a butterbeer, ride right. Velocicoaster, and then we're out. And I'm Excellent. going back home. And it's just have, what it is. You don't have to worry about editing. You don't have to worry about like connection or like the... Uh, Am I lagging on a live the, stream? Bullshit. The editing, the editing doesn't bother me at all. Cause honestly, like I edit probably quicker than most people. Like literally, I'll film something one night and get it out by the next morning. Okay, okay so I that, got my shades on just for so flying, Danny, that, that know, goes that goes back to something you said way back. I think even one of your streams, or maybe when you were in one of our streams, you said you feel mm -hmm. like vlogging is the way to go and not live streaming. A hundred percent. Okay, so explain that. Why? Because I've literally had multiple viewers from our channel come up to us and literally tell me, thank you for what you do for actually not live streaming in the parks um, because okay. it actually gives a better value to watching it. It, it makes it fun and like because you're taking out all that dead time. Oh, that People filler. don't want to watch... <laughs> People don't want to watch all that shit, man. Like they right. don't, they don't want to watch it. They don't want to hear you talking to other people, things like right. that. Right. And right, right. Honestly, it when once you live stream, it's out there. You can't. You there's no creative value to it. I'm sorry. I don't care. Like I know you guys live stream from the parks and stuff, but there's no creative value to it. No, I get like, it. We're we're here to be creative. Be creative. Right. And we editing, do it edit, all. we don't just live stream. We, we edit, do it all. Edit, edit, editing a video. No, you got yeah. You guys are good. You guys got a good balance. I I, I can't say that. But well, here, here's the deal. Here's the absolute fucking deal. Like I do think editing, you're able to be more creative with it, obviously, because you can look back yeah. on it and fool around with it and fuck around with it. Yeah. I don't mind live streaming once. I think it could. I think you could have a healthy dose. But what I hate about the live streaming is that everyone is fucking doing the same thing. Everyone is waiting online for rides, yep. and everyone is asking yep. their audience, "Am I lagging? Am I slow?" Like I hate that shit. Yep. And I think live streaming on the rides. Listen, I could be in the minority, but I think it's bullshit because, like, let the it people is. go there and experience it themselves. Or thank you, you know, like, thank you so much for that. Because honestly, I really think that the days of the POVs need a freaking stop, guys. Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I don't care who the heck's watching this right now. You guys need to stop POVs because. There's just way too many of them out there. Everybody wants a POV, but you know what? I get it. I get it. You know who puts the POVs out the best are the theme parks themselves. Everybody's like, oh, but people right. want to see it. Great. The parks put the POVs out. Let them put their POV out. It's their creative material. You go into their park and create their material. Honestly, if somebody came into my house and started filming things around my house without my permission or, you know, me knowing, I'd be like, you know, what are you doing? Take that down. Um... I've had people put stuff up from our videos and I got notifications and I'm like, no, take that down. Like, that's not yours to take. Right. Um, why are you going on rides? Why are you going to a theme park if all you want to do is sit in front of a screen all day and film things like that? Like, you're on a ride. Right. You're in a theme park. Like, I get that we're YouTubers, yes. Yeah. But go and enjoy it. Right. Enjoy yourself right. there, too. Right. Because How then are you doing that when you're in front of you? Because, like, Ia, my partner, Ia, like, he eventually got to a point where, like, it became, like, Pavlov's dog. Like, once we got to the parks, it was always like, okay, you know, what's the connection? What are we going to do? And it's like, we got to a point right. where we were we were at the parks and not, like, living for the parks. It's just like, fuck it. You know, like, um, right. I, I don't want to see people waiting online in the parks. And uh, conversely, I don't want to be on a line talking to an audience in front of like person that's two feet in front of me i don't want to be filming and ruining someone else's experience for the ride like i'm not about that i'm not now i'm i'm cool with like picking a stagnant place in the park chilling having a snack and talking to an audience yes. for a little but in terms of the rides you lost me on that i, I don't see like here's the problem me. is too is now there's way too many people in the parks right with with the damn gimbals out and yes. stuff 
And now they're walking into everybody because they got all they these got. weird things hanging off their phone and stuff like that. Battery packs and, 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 and uh, you know, microphones and stuff all attached to a cell phone. And now they're walking into things. I seen a dude the other day literally fall into a garbage can. I mean, not even bumped into it. He fell into a garbage can on a live stream. <laughs> and I was wow. laughing. I was like, and he got up and then all someone, he does is give know, me a, that nasty look. Street. I think someone's in the middle of Main Street and gets that on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and listen, you, you know, we're all content creators. I'm not like hating on people, but it's like, for me, sometimes it's cringe. Like, just and honestly, like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You know why people, uh, in my opinion, you know why people are only live streaming? Why? For that money, for quick, those super chats. Well, exactly. Okay, so it's let's. Quick, it's a quick super chat. Look at you need a thousand subscribers to, to start live streaming. Well, guess what? Once you get those thousand subscribers and your watch hours, you know you're monetized. Okay. And so I feel that live streaming became a ding, became a really big thing because of the pandemic, right? And it, it was, was a cool. big thing well before the pandemic. No, though. no, but the, it but, became but, a big thing when they seen people super chatting. So, well, that's the thing. As, as, as I've seen, and I'm going to say this, I have seen people, they try to get people to super chat them by saying, mm -hmm. hey, you know, we're doing this over here. And then they don't pay attention to what someone's saying in the chat. And then someone feels a certain type of way and then they'll super chat them. Oh, right. such and such did so, this. No. So I, I, I'm, I'm totally against, listen, if you have an annual pass for a park and you're begging for like super chats for snacks, that's bullshit. You know, I, I just think it's bullshit, you know, See, and, and I feel like it's taking channel, advantage of people. On our channel, you guys have been on our streams before. You guys yeah. heard me joking about, you know, me starting to go fummy just to start, just to get an annual pass to Disney, right? <laughs> that's, that's, that's all because, that's all because of these super chats and stuff. That's how we feel. We're like... You know, it's basically saying the same thing. Like, I'm going to go start a GoFundMe so you can, so, so I can get into these parks. Right. It's, look... If you don't have the, if you can't afford it in there, if you can't, you know, whatever, then don't do it. Don't be like, oh, we got a super chat, so now we can go get a soda. Thank you. Like, why are you making people feel guilty? Yeah. To no. that you that you can't go and drink. Well, you know why you can't drink? Because you're doing live streams right now. You can't pull your credit card out. You can't go out to a counter. You can't go pee. You can't do none of this stuff because you're live streaming. All you can do is go and walk into people and make people mad in the park. Well, okay, Coco, so, um, we're saying so, it has to be an even balance because there are some yeah. people that just only live stream. Listen, we're not, we're not, uh, trust me, I do it. So I'm not, I'm not, we're not hating on live streams. It's just a way to do it that, and my main problem was always, okay, there's a million people doing this. How can I be a little yeah. bit different? How can I take a different slant on it? Because, yes, I know personality sets you apart from the rest. Like, Danny has a different person, even though we all mesh well. We all have different personalities, um, whoever, Adam the Woo, all these people, everyone has different personalities. Right. I think that's what attracts people. Also, it's like, look at look at the bigger channels right now. Brian, look also, at the bigger channels. Uh, go back to what Jay is saying as well up at the top. Okay, hold on, let me see. What? Yes. I uh, guess, uh, so, yep. Yeah, exactly. I mean, listen, exactly. There's, there could be a healthy balance. We're not hating on live stream because I do it. So, you know. So here's here's how I balance it is, I I live stream from home. You see what I do. You yes. guys you were there last night, and honestly, you really think I can bring myself on a live stream in a theme park? <laughs> <laughs> could I could I be my freaking self on a live stream in a theme park? Come on. Uh, uh, could he make an appearance? Oh wait, no. Hold on. Well, I, I have something so that far. Too. Oh, Yo, you have something? Yeah, Steve, don't stare into his eyes too long. <laughs> Steve. Oh, look. Oh, man. Not, look. Hello. No. Is that Hello. And no. This, Is that Michael? Look, and I actually have a prop from Halloween Horror Nights. How about that? <laughs> How about these people? Wand? Wow. It's a family reunion. But where's your wand? All right, shut up now. <laughs> Your lizard happy. <laughs> hey, what's up, Mike? Is this Mike? What's up, Mike? How are you, buddy? How's it going? What irks me is a moderator hey, constantly wow. saying that donations. Really creeped me out there. <laughs> yeah, Jaquita, I wonder. I think we know yes, what you're talking Jaquita. about. <laughs> oh, I have a mask for you, my friend. I got to get it. Um, I just noticed this now. <laughs> what's up, Mike? 
That's awesome. <laughs> See, this is like I said. Like, what? Can I be yeah, myself okay. in yes. a theme park? Oh. Yes. No. yes. I mean, you I wouldn't mind you being yourself. How you do it? Like, for example, I think other people you, might. <laughs> live streaming, you really can't be yourself. I don't know, can you guys hear me? Yeah, we're yeah. here. Yeah, I hear you. All right. So, live streaming, you really can't be yourself because stuff can happen. Like, you could be in line and someone bumps you, and you could be like, "What the fuck?" Like, you don't want to portray that online. That, that would streaming. be me. But with vlogging, <laughs> you know, sometimes things can happen, but that's something you can edit out at that moment so that. Right situation not happening. Right, and you can give your more personality in vlogging than you can on live streaming. Exactly, and I don't like the feeling of walking around a theme park, looking me personally, looking at the the park through a lens, and be like, "Wait, what? We did that? Like, you don't know what the hell you're doing. It's more of a job at that point instead of having fun." Yes, yes. you know, like, for like, example. When I was in Hollywood Studios with Brian, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Brian had his um, live streaming on his thing, and I was busy vlogging, but I was having a wonderful time because I didn't have to focus on looking through the lens. Right. right. You stop, you pull yourself to the side, you do something, you move along, and then you can actually look around like, oh, that's cool, you know, like... Uh-oh. Okay, now I'm muffled. Okay. <laughs> the frog okay. chorus. But, um, listen, man, it's like I live right at Hogwarts, okay? Leave it. <laughs> this is why, you know, you have to go. You, you and I, know, I, Brian. I, I fully agree. You have to go through. You're so stupid, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> live streaming. Leave my Hogwarts frogs alone. And you know what, Adventures? You know, Mike and Steph, I love your live streams. But, yeah, I know they do take a lot of energy. And, but I also love your vlogs. See, you know, it's even balanced. Mike of. and Steph bring a great balance to it yes, too, where they, they do. do they, honestly, they 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 live stream when something's going when something's going down, something a kind of events going on, things like that. A normal day in the park for Mike and Steph who's vlogging, and you know I get it. Look, every once in a while, yeah, you got it. You know, you live stream, you live stream. You know, those like opening days, you know, things like that. So those people that stream the, you know, opening night of like HHN, you know, things like that. I get yeah. it. I get it. Great. Like, because that's, you're living in the moment at that point. But at a normal day, do we need a live stream for a normal day? Like, right. there's no special thing going on or, you right. know. Right, there's people live there. streaming seven days a week. I'm like, what the fuck? That takes a lot yeah. of time. Yeah. I, give them, I give them credit to some degree because it does take a lot of fucking energy to do that. But at you the know, end of the day, also, it's like. Your equipment suffers so much. 90% of these people are using their own personal cell phones to do this. You know what it's hilarious. like on your cell phone to do that? Especially here in Florida. You know how fast you kill your phone with that? Like, yeah, it's it gets super duper it's hot. ridiculous. My my camera my camera battery this time of year starts draining itself out faster than normal. It's like now at least at that I can change the battery out with your phone. What do you if your stream if your battery craps out during the live stream? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You can't yeah. finish that. You can't like people are now looking at you like oh look at this idiot unprepared. You know would, his phone died. Me. Well, so you've been there, so you understand what I'm talking about. Dude, then it's like you on know, my first live stream, I had heat stroke. Ah, I had a heat stroke. <laughs> I literally almost died. I was like, we have to cut mm -hmm. this short. Fuck this. This is not worth it. What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> you know, and I'm glad. So Larry, it's like, you, are, uh, Danny, are you into wrestling at all? Because mm -hmm. that, that would com complete the trifecta if you aren't the Yeah, yeah, I know, I, I, know, I know wrestling. So I, I, equated, I, I equated as people going to a wrestling show and taking too much time watching the show through their cell phone camera lens as opposed to just enjoying the show. Exactly. I agree with that, Larry, so much. And uh, I don't know. I, exactly. I, I, at the end of the day, I think there's a place for vlogging and live streaming. It's just a balance. I don't think I, I, I can never, ever be the person who live streams every day. I, I just can't. You know, and uh, live streaming takes a lot of energy that you can put into rides. Yeah, having fun and trying new snacks. Mike says, as a TM, not even we know when the next announcement is going to be or what it's going to entail. But if we are comparing this year versus last year, I've heard this year will be better. Listen, Mike, I hope so, because I know um, Universal tried as best as they could last year, given the circumstances in the past two years. But I am really, really so fucking looking to forward to HSN this year. I, I, listen, I, I, I am. Listen, it's going to be listen, my first. Listen, listen. That's, that's what this I'm, is what I'm going to say to you. Tell is me. HHN 
As long as there's always an HHN, does it really freaking matter what it is? No. It's HHN. Right. It's listen uh, to me. When when um, and I learned early on, I think Stranger Things when it first debuted with my first um HHN, when I went with the yeah. ad, it's not a the houses are cool, obviously, but it's the I, I can't explain this without sounding like douchey. It's the fog, it's the smell. Yeah. I, I, I don't understand so, it, but I love it. I know experience. what you're talking about. I'll tell you what it is. Is because I like Jess and I. So, here's a backstory for Jess and I. Um, we actually met working at a haunted house up in New York. Really? Um, that we That's both so managed. Cool. Shit. Yeah. Um, so we have together probably over 40 years experience. Not four, but four oh years experience together working in a haunted house. So. Uh -huh. You coming along and trying to scare us, it's not going to happen, okay? Like, yeah, every once right. in a while we get a good jump scare, but it's not going to happen. You're not going to creep us out. We're horror people and all that. It's like, We've seen it, been there, done it, and we try to create it too. And um, so for us going through these houses, it's more the artistic value of what it is. Right? So, yeah. As long listen, as the artistic value is there, I don't care what it is. Listen, so, last year... It's universal. Last year, not to cut you off, but last year was the first time yeah. Ian and I did all the houses together. It was a great yep. night. But, you know, by the 11th house, I'm, oh, the 10th house or whatever it was, I was like, okay, you know, I'm numb to this shit. Okay, scare me, get it over with. But still, even so, I, I just was lucky to be there. Um, just, you know, it, it's really, you know, forget... Yep. It blows... Mickey, not so scared. Obviously, they're two different um, beasts, but for horror, for Halloween, HHN is just the fucking way to go. I mean, there's no other choice. I mean, just, just, even if you didn't do the houses, you know, just being there and just chilling out, like, what a fucking vibe, you know? Right. Uh, I love it. So, back in 2010, Jess and I got, uh, got married, and we came down here and did Disney's Not So Scary, and then we did, um, HHN on Halloween night for our honeymoon. Um, I'll tell you this. We left HHN hating HHN that one year. Really? Why? Because, well, here, because we didn't know really what we were walking into. So a lot of people who come to HHN for the first time just on vacation don't realize what they're coming to. Um, me, personally, I tell you, if you're here on vacation, yeah. go, to, uh, go to Not So Scary because mm -hmm. you're going to enjoy it a lot more. You right. need, you need that whole season to yes. enjoy HHN, like to the details and stuff. And right. last year we grew a great appreciation for HHN. Like it's our number yeah, one I horror event that. now. I can really say that because um, HHN, those crowds that do the haunted houses, you can do only yeah. one haunted house and you still haven't completed anything. Right. Yeah, you know what? Um, when we when Ian and I first did the, we only got like four houses down the first time, and that's what, yeah. like the summer after we first met, and then it kind of built up. And then last year we actually managed to do all ten houses one night. This year I'm hoping to do frequent freer, where we could do like two houses a night, enjoy the snacks, come home, and that's, then you know. That's exactly what Jess and I do. We literally go and we have the frequent freer pass. Even though I work there, I still because you know I get blackout days from being an employee at the park. So I'll go and get the fear pass just so I can go every weekend. Jess and I, and it's really not that much, you know. And we go and we enjoy ourselves. We go and sit there. We people watch. We go to the scare zones and sit around and scare watch people, you know, freak out in the scare zones and stuff like that. And just really soak it all in and enjoy right. everything that HHN has to offer. Mike go eat the Steph. foods. That is yeah. a good point. That is a good point you just like. What that HHN out. is more affordable, gives you more opportunity. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. you're paying almost two hundred dollars to go to this. It's funny, Jess thing. and I were just talking about that. It's like what is it, hundred and eighty dollars a person per night for not so scary. Like that's just ridiculous. I'm sorry. Like you they're like, Oh, you get free candy. For a hundred and eighty dollars, you're paying for that candy. You can get that I'm shit sorry. a family dollar. You know, like when you, when you go to H, Mickey, it's not so scary. You have to, and, and let, you know, first time people aside, if you're doing it again, you have to choose what you're going to do. Like if you're doing yes. it for the rides with no lines, so be it, then you have to focus on but that. But that's not true anymore, though, because yeah. we went 
in 2019 we went to not so scary the lines were just as bad as they were during the day oh yeah this was like october 2nd that we were there yeah yeah it's just ridiculous because you have you know whether the uh meet and greets or you know you know obviously if you have a kid you probably yep. do the candy thing and just fuck around but as an if adult, you want to like, do rides during a Halloween event, HHN is definitely a way to go for rides during a Halloween event because the lines for there are so damn short because nobody's right. there for for the rides. Right, and, and we've done that too because we get the uh, the uh, fear pass. We'll go and ride the rides out. Like, oh, we haven't been on Transformers in a row. We'll go and ride Transformers because it's like a two. It's a walk on. Right. Okay, I just want to highlight what some people are saying. Um, I, Jay, I know I can't compare because I've never been to HHN or Mickey's, but Fright Fest, if, well, you know what, that, that begs to my next point, too, is that I want to, like, dabble into other shit, like, local stuff in Florida for Halloween, and also, like, SeaWorld, I've never experienced SeaWorld, and I know they kind of... Uh, so, SeaWorld has been killing it from what I hear, I hear SeaWorld is on the same level as HHN, and we're yeah. definitely going to be doing that this year as well. Um, awesome. I'm actually looking at purchasing the fear passes for over there too, uh, for the weekends. And I will be doing that. And honestly, from what I can see as somebody who used to do a lot of the haunted house stuff up in New York and stuff like that, the yeah. local houses around here, I wouldn't even bother wasting your time and money on them. That's my opinion. Yeah. I learned that um, the hard because way. Because like the, yeah, you, I, I saw your video, you went through the drive, the haunted drive through and honestly, oh, I would never... I would never go and do that because they're like, oh, you can't film, you can't do this, the driver ha the driver can't interact with anything. So why am I going through if I so can't I'm, interact? I'm not going to lie, before that video, that. Ian and I got into like, we were stressed out with the point yeah. where we really didn't give a fuck about doing the video to begin with. And yeah. then <clears throat> we did it and it was total like this fuck fest. I'm like, oh my God, this is like, I know they tried because it's a pandemic, but this is totally bullshit. Like, it was I, bullshit I, I, the year before that too when they first yeah. opened. Right. Mm. So I don't know. Uh, Mike loves H and M, but I can't go. I can sell you tickets though. I have trauma. Um, <laughs> I hear you. I can sell you tickets though. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just um, it. I, I I love being in Florida. I love like you know a Sea World. I want. Are you uh, annual pass holder for Sea World? No. Danny, are you? Uh well you know my um. ID does get me into SeaWorld, so yeah. Oh. <laughs> I have to speak to you. Perk of working. <laughs> okay. Perk of, work, perk of working at um, Universal is okay, you cool. get into SeaWorld and Bush Gardens for free. So, and you know, speaking on that, that, yes, Jess, now, Jess has an annual pass. So Now that you opened the little Pandora's box, you work for them. Do you find when you make videos that you're censoring yourself? Do you feel any of that in the no. back of your head as you make videos? No. Okay. No, I'm I'm just myself. I'm still just because yeah we announced it on the channel too that I work there and stuff and right it's it's business as usual because honestly we never we never really are people who go and bash like I told you right we'll give a bet we'll say hey look this really wasn't the greatest you know right but I won't go and bash places like I right. never I mean, did or. If you're critiquing, I feel like if you're critiquing and you work for the company, or even if you don't, if you're critiquing and you offer like a point of improvement or like yeah. just ending well, here, it with a positive, here. like you know, you know, I'll give you an example. Here yeah. is a, well, the the uh, fun day at Islands of Adventure video that we just did also like a week or two ago. I'm in there and we're over in the, the Dr. Seuss land and all that, and I'm coming out the stores and I'm like, you know, we haven't seen any mer uh, new merchandise in a long time for these areas, so it's like, you know, I'll let you know if we see anything, no, but there's nothing new, like, then nothing to report here, you know, like, you know, things like that. It's why am I going to film something? Like, even in the Monsters, uh, tr uh, uh, tr uh, Universal Monster Tribute Store that they have there by yes. the money. I go in there and I'm like, well, there was nothing new in there that I could show you guys, so it was pointless to even film anything else in there than what I did. So once Universal decides to put new stuff in the stores, then I'll let you know. You know, like, right. it's just little things like that. You know, it's hastefully. It's just like, hey, Universal, what are you doing? Kind of get your shit together here. Or I'll go into the actual tribute store and I'm like, hey, all this merchandise you all guys all say that's new was in the other store. Right. And pointing right. you, uh, pointing shit out and be like calling right. you out on, on that. 
Right. All these but, YouTubers you know, tri- tripping over their tits over everything, like saying, oh, this is. Yeah. Ugh, I can't. Like, oh, this is all brand new merchandise in the tribute store for Back to the Future. This and that. No, it's not. Most of those DeLorean t-shirts and all that were in the other store. The the hoverboards and the guitar that they, everybody was showing, guess what? Those were for sale in the other tri- in the other store over, you know, across from Transformers over there. So, I don't know where you guys, you know, you guys don't obviously pay attention to when you're in the park. So, <laughs> All right, so I, I I I have to just briefly go for one second and take care of my dad for one second, but I want to leave you with this, um, and you guys could talk amongst yourself for like two minutes, and I'll be right back. So, Universal recently yep. has increased their prices. Well, you know, just talk amongst yourself. What do you think about this? Do you think it's minuscule? Do you think it's a big deal? Like, what do you guys I mean, think about it? In my personal opinion, um, I see nothing wrong with these prices. It's but fine. Disney, Disney, yeah. Disney they didn't go up like that much. Five times as much as this. Like, what, what's, what's forty dollars? Yeah, it's fine. Also, let's also consider. Let's sit here and think about what Universal is also going to be doing too. Um, I'm not even talking about Epic Universe. Like, yeah, we're they're they're looking for more money for that to fund that project, but they're also looking to drop sixty percent of the Sunrail. Uh, feed it extended over to uh, International Drive. I don't know if you guys have been following any of that, but I've been yep. deeply following that. And they're dropping sixty percent of that uh, in, uh, feed to do that, and it's all been you know confirmed and stuff. So yeah, so yeah, well, prices need to go up somehow, but we also get a lot out of it. So when you're you know the annual memberships, I don't know how much Disney gives you guys in discounts or they what don't. they actually do. Okay, There's well, you get discounts for sale right now, p- anyway. Well, that's what you're right, but yeah. that's all I'm saying is Universal. To be honest, Universal. You get you get discounts with your, yeah. Universal top tier pass. That's how much it is for, not even a top pass at Disney. Like, that's yeah, it's like the, the like the middle one or something like that. Yeah, that's the that's not even for sale right now, because <laughs> I would have had it already. Um, and Mike, yes, I am a cool dude only me and Danny would rock something like this and That's I right. would say two two real geeks would do it as well. You know, Brian <gasps> Yeah he cool. did. He did start the stream with the shades on. So. Yeah. Today we hosted cool, our okay. hold on I have to address some stuff in the chat. I know I've been missing some shit. Today we hosted our daughter's baby shower we rolled Ah that's awesome Cheryl. Congratulations Cheryl congratulations. Awesome. congratulations congratulations you're gonna be the best grandma. You and yeah. Reggie you're gonna be the best grandma yeah. I'll be the best grandma too. What? <laughs> <laughs> Some of the merch they put in the summer tribute store is cool. I smelled all the special candles, but no lie, the Back to the Future candle straight up smells like Xbox. Oh shit! Why? Well, yeah, it does. <laughs> hey, what's up, CM? I'm sorry, guys, for taking that break. But hey, life, Manny. Life is what it oh, is. Oh, you're you good. Know? You're good. So, uh, what's the general consensus what's about up, the Manny? price increase? How are you? There's no issue with this at all. No issue, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, worst case scenario is 40 bucks a year. I mean, but it. I was expecting yeah. an increase, especially when Epic comes around. I was expecting an oh. increase to happen. See, with yeah. Epic coming around, I'm seeing, I think that we're going to get a restructure in the annual passes as a, 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 as yes. a whole. Yes. Yeah, of course. Because right yeah. now, it's like, you know, it's going to, instead of having a, a two park, you're going to, or, or, you know, with the water park option and stuff, mm-hmm. you're going to have, you're going to need that three park with the water park and then later on which honestly that water park option for universal really isn't all that what it cracks up to be honestly i'm not I'm just saying yeah, i ain't know. a fan of water parks well <laughs> I, I mean i kind of do like um i i do like volcano bay as a bigger person obviously i can't ride everything but i do like the ambiance of it better than the disney water parks i think it's cool to chill for the day and it's definitely you know as a bigger person there there's some things you could do there Listen, you know besides, my take on water. Besides, water. besides eating. Water. <laughs> Their food in Volcano Bay is amazing. I'm going to no, say it's good. that yeah. yeah. And the fast, the lazy river and the really fast river and then the wave pool is kind of cool. The rapid uh, river, yeah. Oh, the rapid river, yeah. Um, So I think it's cool. But, you know, I wanted to ask you, Danny, and everyone else in here, like, so I feel like it gets lost in the sauce a lot of times. But if you, if you. Oh, Okay. Well, if you um, <laughs> <laughs> much better now. 
Okay. So Producer Ead there. Right. <laughs> Blind live stream. Yes. Okay. So now I can't see. Um. So I want to say, like, you know, it's kind of like, you know, if you look at the, there's channels dedicated to this, and if you see the growth in it, it's really coming along together. Honestly, I, I don't understand how they're putting a fucking park together quicker than Tron, but whatever. Um, but how do you feel about it? <laughs> do you think that this is going to be a game changer? I am fucking looking forward to it. I think, you know, this Universe is 100% yeah. going to be a game changer. Tell um, me how. Tell me how. You gotta look at it. When Islands of Adventure dropped, it was a <laughs> like they changed the theme park industry. They made Disney get more into doing more advanced rides and attractions. This, I, I think, you know, not only forcing Disney's hand, obviously, to develop a fifth park. I think this is gonna take Universal. I, 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 I think people are sleeping on Universal. I think people have learned in recent years that. Universal is no longer the tag on to the end of your Disney vacation. Disney right, sometimes yeah. is a tag along to the end of your Universal vacation. I it's can't fucking wait Disney for this. Costs, and then you can be local, and we win no matter what because we got a ton of places um, to go to. So <laughs> this this hey, is man, I'm not gonna mean? lie. This is it's gonna fun. be a traffic nightmare along International Drive and Sand Lake and I four and all that. It's gonna be a nightmare. Okay. Um. But like Kirkman Road is never going to be the same again. I like that you're grounding us. You're keeping us real. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be a shit show. This how, how, construction how, is not is just starting. Really, like if you look at what's going on, it's just starting. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, in my opinion, yes, all these motherfuckers need to stop with their goddamn predictions and give <laughs> shit out because Universal didn't announce shit for this park yet, and that's all we need to know. Wait, so um, what, are people, what are these I predictions? I work there, and I don't even know anything. Now, anything I say is just predictions that I've heard. It's nothing from, from well, me working there, because okay, I well, I know nothing. When it comes to the predictions, okay. when it comes to that, a lot of people know more about what's going on. It's because everything is public record. They cannot do anything secretly. Like, me um, working in the industry... I, I can actually go into the system and look and see right. exactly what Universal is doing. Because they have see, to literally publicize it to the government what they're doing. Right, right. But now, you going in there and digging into that, kind of doesn't that take away from the mysteriousness of, well, of a new theme park? Especially of by course. the name of Epic Universe. Now, it, if you name, know everything there... I'm going to be honest, I hate the name. I don't think it's gonna. That's yeah, gonna be the a name. Lot of, a lot of people. I don't people think that's gonna be the name. I think that's gonna be the name, 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 name of the whole like, like the project. The, the beginning. Um, the beginning of no. Um, it's. I'm gonna tell you right now. It's sticking to be an epic universe. There's way too much merchandise right now. That's that's themed to epic. Well, because Universal in the beginning, it was Universal the Escape or something like that, and then that wasn't the name of the new park. It was just the name of what it was calling the resort. So that's what I was thinking that maybe Epic is the name of the resort, like the new name of the resort that's going to take place. I'm going to need y'all. It's just going to be an epic adventure. I don't know. Epic Universe is going to be great. Oh, no, it I know it's going to be great. It's I don't care dangerous. about the names. <laughs> I'm like, now, I will say <laughs> the renderings for the park kind of look a little dark for me, but I know it's not going to be like that. Uh, the renderings kind of look a little dark. That's why I still uh, rendering. Yeah, exactly. I know. Um, Mike. But it's also a, a nighttime rendering, too. Series, Mike, it's okay. Made a few mistakes, but not as bad as this, they don't. Yes, Mike, uh, that's okay. Be free with your language. That's what we're here for. Um, but listen, I, at, at the end of the day, I mean, you know, Mario is kind of like solidified. We know about Fantastic Beasts and train your dragon we possibly don't, we don't know about any of this so that's the thing it's speculation because so, okay. no no, I think, so look look look, look look here's the thing here's tell the me. thing tell me everybody everybody's like oh we're getting mario oh we're getting monsters oh we're getting oh, well, this here's the thing nothing has been announced only thing that's been announced is that universal has a new park universal started construction up again okay universal hollywood is opening well, up Mario Universal in Hollywood. 
Universal did and announce about the Super Nintendo World. They did announce that. that, that was Which one? Super Nintendo World. No, they did announce no Super that. Nintendo World for Hollywood, though. That's all they did. Right, and that's no, the, the announcement for, for the announcement that we had announcement that we had for Nintendo outside by the globe was that we had a partnership with Nintendo coming to Universal. That's all it was. They didn't say Universal Hollywood, Singapore, Japan, none of that. They just say coming to Universal. So how about rumors aside, right? So we we do know they're developing a third park, right? Well, a fourth park, according to them. So I mean, do you think this is going to force Disney's hand to create a new park themselves? No. I honestly, do you, do you think, I think it will, but I think Disney needs to focus on what they got because some of that stuff needs some updating, especially Tomorrowland. Uh, Mike says, what do you all think about my comment about Disney's decisions as of late? Well, to some extent, because I uh, bet Disney needs those logs of work. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm just... Universal also hasn't made many terrible mistakes that Disney has made of late, like the reservations and same price. Well, I knew I, I I do know Universal supports some of these bills. They just haven't come out like Disney has and stepped in shit. So, because Universal was, actually supports a lot of this. They'll actually throw money at things a lot mm-hmm. that people don't realize that they're throwing money at. Of course. But that's how you have to operate as a corporation. You're not supposed to really speak for Right. I mean, unlike they're Disney, who they're like, we did this. Hi, here's money. We're giving money you know, all the time. It's like Disney needs to make themselves known that they're donating. It's like right. Uni- Universal is like, you know what? Leave our logo like really small on there, please. Thanks. Uh, yeah. yeah. So um, I wanted to address this this is a question you wanted to throw at us right what is one new land that you would add to yep. universal disney yeah hmm. so you kind of gave that to me and i gave it to the boys um benito what do you think buddy what's one land you would add to disney universal uh, it I could be take a... so it could be, you could take one away and put a new one there or oh. you can just add or i would add i'm not taking anything away from disney okay uh, i would add a uh, like a retro park with all the old rides that they used to have uh, and base it around that. Okay. Um, and Universal, uh, you know, they're already building it. Okay. You know, a okay. bigger park. Because Universal Studios by itself it needs an update. is small. Islands of Adventure by itself is small. Mm-hmm. This is going to be by the way, side, side note, note, what do you think is going in uh, in place of the Monsters Cafe? Mm-hmm. You want me to pull the permits? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Universal does keep it under wraps. That's how they get it. I, I personally think we're keeping it all that whole area minging thing. That's I think what so I'm too. Honestly, we didn't even know about Velocicoaster. Technically, it was still a trail still until yeah. yeah. See, that's the thing. Hmm. Universal likes to file fake permits a lot. Really? Yeah. They keep you all. They know that people are looking at permits. They file fake permits to keep everybody guessing what's what. Interesting. But even though they smart. file fake permits, you can't do that with the government because they will have to file right. the real permits as well too, which will make the person have to dig and dig and figure out what's really going on. Right. So it's not it's not that necessarily a fake permit. They're filing real paperwork mm-hmm. stating like we're going to make the Monsters Cafe ET or you know something like that. You know, it's, I'm not yeah, saying yeah. that's what it is. The right, don't. Right. But you just kind of keeping people guessing cuz they're realizing that there's channels out there right now who are digging into stuff or can dig into things. So like which one of these permits is going to actually follow through? Right. And it depends on what they name the permit and then what they see in the permit. So, like, for example, Walt Disney World, they get a permit for uh, the outside of Space Mountain, the little gift shop. Yeah. They just said renovations, but it didn't say own place. So they just said renovations. So, it depends on how you label it and what you're trying to say. Okay. I would call it. Go ahead. 
I don't pay attention to any of these rumors though. It's like whatever, whenever the parks announce whatever what is, is what I go by. Yeah. Right. It's a rabbit hole. If you're gonna go down this rabbit hole, you're gonna gain then because you know what it is. You got channels out there, like there's a lot of universal. There's well, not even a lot. There's one universal channel. I'm not even gonna throw names out that will do it. I will. And they get subscribers, and then all of a sudden they weren't, they wasn't right, and then all of a sudden they either they're gonna keep that subscriber or they're gonna lose them. But in the meantime, people are watching all this, you know, building up. So yes, Coco, Donkey is at Universal. And they go to the Shrek field to have a restaurant where you can sit. Yeah, that'd be cool. See, like, again, that's the first I'm hearing that, and these rumors run rampant. Well, I feel the same way about H and I, I get caught up in the rumors, and I get excited, and it doesn't happen. And then I'm a bitter bitch. <laughs> like so normal. To piggyback off on your question about what land would you add in Universal, right? Right. I think Universal should go back and do like a land that's catered to maybe old Hollywood. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. it's actually. It could actually fit those um, older attractions that they used to have, like Back to the Future, like um, Jaws, like those different parts. It don't have to be the same ride, but it could be something related to those so that people can experience it again. Okay. okay. And as for Disney, I, I would just get the whole smile in and redo it. Listen, if Disney is gonna not gonna commit to a villain theme park, at least make a land for the villains. Um, I also think maybe something Indiana Jones or Zootopia for Animal Kingdom. In terms of Universal, I'm gonna be biased and say because I love King Kong, I would love to see like a King Kong land. We kind of do though. We do it. It's, 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 Skull Island is technically its own land. I know it's excellent. it's excellent. I love it. I, love it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. If I had a magic wand, I would love that. But I really. I mean, but you do. What do you say? You do have a wand. No, he has a magic umbrella. <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> so you want my answer? Yeah, because yeah, you, 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 you hyped up your answer saying you're going to wow us. Good. So, I'm going to Islands of Adventure, and I'm taking out Toon Lagoon, okay? And okay. I think that this was, should have been done there in the first place. So, there's two things, and then obviously the one thing that I'm going to say first can't be done because other parks have this IP already, is I would have taken that Toon Lagoon area and themed it out to Scooby-Doo. Can't do it because there's Scooby Doo rides in the Carowin, uh, the Caro, uh, the Cedar Fair parks and stuff like that. Carowinds has the haunted uh, mansion for Scooby Doo and stuff Scooby like that. Doo. Yeah, Scooby Doo. Who the hell knows Scooby Doo? These, these Everybody, dude. Know we Scooby have Doo. the we have the IP in Universal and stuff like that already. You got the character right. meeting greets, so you could actually take those rides there and the water rides and turn them into that. Because you, what you do is turn that whole area into Mystery Island. You could, but sir. So that's our generation that knows about Scooby Doo. These new generation, they know nothing about. There is no Scooby Doo. There's, anyways, this is my, this is, this is, this is what I was just saying. It, it, it will fit, okay? This is yeah. me. This is me. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> I think those sunglasses are getting to your head. Um, Damn. <laughs> Ooh, you know what I'm saying? But okay. here's what, okay. here's what I think that they could have done to start with with that island is do an IP and you could have put the Smurfs there. You could have did a whole land with the Smurfs and that would have been really cool. Because mm. I was walking through there the other day, like with the day that I messaged you about this, and I'm looking and I'm just looking, I'm like, you could have did the Smurfs here. It would have fit. You would have fit well. I can go for Smurfs. Mm-hmm. But so, you know, you, Universal, Universal also had, also had She-Ra she walking, she walking around as a character. You know right. She-Ra? Right. I, I would love, I would love a He-Man. Like, He-Man. Like, he he man. Man. like he man. Man. I know who He-Man is. Yeah. yeah. She-Ra is a generation. Like, these new kids don't know nothing about that. 
Oh my gosh, what is it with you and these generations? Uh, what I'm saying is, IP is a dangerous thing. IP gets old. Yeah, I mean, because so does Disney IP, IP though, too, Disney. though. I mean, look. No, I'm not doubting that. Disney IP, that's horrible. Like, Frozen, <laughs> in 10 years from now, like, nobody cares about Frozen. <sighs> like Let's Frozen. be honest, they're on Encanto right now. No one's really thinking about Frozen like that. I in terms of what? Dangerous. In terms of a land? Yeah, it, yes, because it's going to get old. Eventually, it will get old. And then what are you going to do? You're going to oh. reskin it and do something else to it? Why not just skin it? Look at Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland is old, but it still stood the test of time. Well, I mean, tomorrow, are... uh, listen, Tomorrowland, they need to do a big refurb on that. They, like... Like Buzz oh, well, Lightyear, they do, they do need Buzz Lightyear but, needs to. They need to evict Buzz Lightyear's ass from uh, Tomorrowland and put him back over to Toy Story Land. But over they there. do need to do that because that IP is so old. Like, who cares about Buzz it Lightyear? It doesn't like fit there. Like, I, well, I mean, you, it'll, it'll fit over, over in uh, Toy Story Land. It doesn't fit there. You have Toy right. Story Land, and then you got Buzz Lightyear all the way on the, uh, in another park. It doesn't mm. fit. Right. Yeah. I mean, they were making a zoo in the foreign parks. They were making Zootopia. They were making Arendelle, you know, like the Frozen bullshit. Yeah. I mean, I personally like to see a little bit Coco. Well, I don't know. So here, we're going to speak Disney, and here's my Disney one, is what I think we should have done. Yeah. What I would love to have seen is Fraggle Rock. Now that's going old school. Yeah. You know, you got to trigger Darrell right now. Yeah, I don't care, but... Ah! <laughs> But Fraggle Rock would have been awesome. Have a dozer ride, you know, things like that. You know what's weird adventures with Mike and Steph is that, uh, Mike, I actually, even though it's a little bit outdated, that's actually one of my favorite areas of, uh, what is it, Islands of Adventures? I don't mind. Is it really? Area. Yeah, I like but there's it. No, but and there's I'm, nothing to do there, though. I know. And I'm not even into the comic books. How fucking sick is that? In which area? Are you talking about um, Marvel? Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, I don't yeah, even really give a shit over there. I don't give a shit about the movies or the comic books. I mean, actually, technically, that area has the most rides if you really think about it. It does, and that's weird because you they're over there. You got the Hulk, Spider Man, the and then people also forget about Doctor Doom and then Stone right. Force. Yes. Well, what Stone do you think Force about sucks. the uh, like the Betty Boop area? You think it should go? I, I it needs to go. go. And yeah, all of that needs to go. I don't even know who. What, what's the name of that water ride? Not Popeye. What's the other one? I don't even Rips know who the Falls. Is. Rips yeah, I don't even know who who the character is. And Dudley Do Right. Old school. Yeah. I, I, I leave my li listen, style. listen, listen. You leave my ride alone. All right. Right. Do you research? Do you research? I don't need to do a research. That's not a classic to me. Listen, I help keep Ripside Falls open. Okay. Leave it alone. <laughs> Don't fuck with it. <laughs> 45 times. What's 45 Jesus, times? Jesus, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what he did 45? Oh, God. For, For my boss, what the fuck is I wrong had, with you? I had <laughs> to climb that tower one night at like 3 in the morning. Oh, boy. I'm with you, Mike. I do like Poseidon's Fury. Are you the reason why the, the, the little part at the top was missing? Sis gotta go. No, dude, that was only a refurb. <laughs> oh, Danny, you have a refresh, bro. You have a supporter. I'm just though. joking. The Lost Continent doesn't even have an official ride. They just have Poseidon's Fury. It's not a bad yep. show. They just I think, I think they should get Lost Continent. I think that should be just make that all Harry Potter and just keep it moving. That would be way too much Harry Potter, though. That it would. It, it would be, but it would be. Uh, it would be. Well, what were you going to do there? What what kind of Harry Potter are you going to do there? Because it makes sense that the train is there and you come into Hogwarts on the train. But mm. other than that, it's like there's – it's I mean, kind of can, weird otherwise. This is where they can make up their own thing on that part. Like it could be All more right, so, in-depth dealing with Slytherin. It could be more in-depth dealing with okay. Gryffindor. Like, so it, – it's, it's, Let's 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 do this. Let's go back into history here, okay? When the park was being talked about, okay? Teach us, drag us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what 
we do know you do know other than Marvel that the whole park was supposed to have been themed to DC, right? Like not the whole yeah, park, but I mean, right, right. Yeah. So if we had the DC going in that whole area of that whole mythological area over there, that area would have been themed to the holidays. Really? So we would have had a Bob's uh, a um, uh, Matterhorn type ride to Mount Crumpet over there. Uh, we would have had different holiday stuff going on around there. And I mean, Six Flags would not have been what it is today because they wouldn't have Batman the Ride or anything else like that. Right. And it would have been at Universal. That would have been cool because I do like DC. Yeah. I mean, it would have been cool, but... I think, I think a Holiday Land would have been pretty dope. And I still think it would be pretty dope. Wait, a holiday land where they what? Uh, they switch it out? No, it would be all the oh, holidays right? in one land. That would be, be cool. Christmas, Thanksgiving, uh, uh, New Year's, all like, everything. Secretary's Day. Yeah, well. Flag I mean, Day. <laughs> there's a day for everything, I mean. National Chief Take Day. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 they would have fucked themselves. Well, what about fucking cheesecake day? <laughs> exactly. Fuck. But that's cool. I, n- I never knew that. That's cool to know yeah. history. Yeah. Um, I- I'm living for Batman and stuff. The only times I remember DC in the parks way back when I was like five years old, seven years old, and SeaWorld had like a DC Superman, Batman, Robin, like a uh, ski show. And that's the only time I remember, like, DC. Oh, and also, like, when I went to Six Flags Red Adventure. Batman yeah, Great Adventure. Six Flags had the Batman right. uh, Superman, stunt show right. over there. Yeah, and I always thought that was cool. Because uh, yeah. I like DC better than Marvel. And I'm not a big... I like, can, What's I up? I can say this. Um, with Epic coming, I, I can see why Danny is saying that's too much Harry Potter. Yeah. Even though Epic is coming in, if that rumor is oh, that's true, sweet. Nice. If the rumor is true and they're doing another Harry area, that is a lot of Harry Potter. Yeah. But, but it's also the contract. The contract too. with uh, what's her name does state that they need to keep adding on to it and keeping it fresh and original. Why is it named Six Flags? I think I remember okay. the reason. I just don't know. The it's six flags is uh, one. It's original. a flag for the six regions of the area. It's like um, the state that it's in, the United it's States. It, it yeah, originated um, in Texas because it was. It six did six over it, uh, six flags over yeah. uh, over Texas is oh. the first one, but yeah, like the Spanish flag, the French flag, like there's a flag theme. There's each theme of the area. If you look, it's themed to different like. Yep. Thing. Like, there's always like a Spanish area and things like that. So I remember that in Great Adventure. There's the German area. Right. Too much right. The world. So that I would be one of the flags like, so every of year as a kid. You know, Cheryl, yeah. I do love it and I, I, I do like the Wizarding World, but uh, I go into Hollywood, I mean, go into Universal, there's Harry Potter. Then I go over to Islands of Adventure, there's Harry Potter. Then if I go over to Epic, if this is true, there's Harry Potter again. And it's like, okay. Are we gonna do something? Even though it's gonna be different, but it's why are we putting the same thing in the same parts? Which I know, I, I do know that part. Money. That green. You know, I want. I want to speak to what Mike and Steph said, and I always hear about like. Okay, so I want to be legit. Like when you guys go on a ride, especially in Disney Universal, do you feel like you're literally like they're telling you a story and all that? All that Imagineer like kind of stuff, or do you just feel like, oh, I'm on a fucking ride? You know, it's cool. Uh, yes and no. Yeah, at exactly. first, I was say at first, thing. yes, but once you get used to it, it's like, oh, okay, it's cool. Ride. I've seen that so many times. It's, it's you know, I want to ride it for the thrill this, of the ride. Now, my personal experience, Galaxy's Edge, I've never felt like I was actually in Galaxy's Edge. Me neither. Um, when I went on I Rise different. of the Resistance, that's when I felt like, oh, this I felt like a whole ride. new world. <laughs> like, once when you go into it and the things you have to do to get to the ride, it makes you feel like you're you're in outer space. Yeah. 
But Galaxy Edge as a whole, no. Cosmic yeah. Rewind, yeah. They, 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 they I'll be right back. I, gotta, I don't okay. know what the hell is yeah, going no on. Yeah, no problem. I'll be no right back. 5 a.m. Damn, Steph. Have a good night, Steph. Have a good night. But I think the Galaxy's got is moving away from the sequels now since they're adding Boba Fett and Fennec Sh- Fennec Shan. I thought they went to school with someone named Fennec Shan. As characters, even though Boba Fett should be like 80 years old. Yeah, I mean, yeah. how far can you take him? Uh, good night, Steph. Um, the back the baths were. What? The, that bath that he sleeps in. That helps him to, to keep from aging. What, Epsom salt? No, that. Oh. In, in, in the Boba Calgon? Boba oh, Boba. Am I okay. the only thing? I'm I done here. <laughs> ah! You're not done. You're not done. And, and, and the only thing I hope for Epic Universe is that I can actually get. Oh, I know, I know. I feel the same way. I literally have 150 pounds to lose before 2025. Uh, if I have to throw up, I will do it. Don't I will that. lose it. What? <laughs> Don't you do that? I won't. I won't. But yeah, I need to get on these rides because it's getting depressing. Because once I get on the rides, like all these three park Universal probably would be mint and I can like ride everything. I got a question for you, Lugo. Are you wearing locks? What does locks mean? Wearing locks? Does she mean Crocs? You got dreads on? I was about to say you wearing. I don't know. Huh? I think I think Karina might be uh, smoking the Dutch. <laughs> Rel and Lugo are calling me back. I mean, to you join me if you want. <laughs> I don't know. Karina, you want to, like, Coco, you want to, like, expand on that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Lox is a no. brand of sunglasses. Okay. No, they're clip-ons. Again, I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't speak for NBC Universal Company of Brand, but I think J.K. Rowling is slowly losing control over what happens with the Wizard World. Well, I know, you know, they got rid of Johnny Depp because of the Amber Heard shit. I know the latest movie didn't do so well. You think this is a well, good move to have, like, uh... Well, I think uh, they did what's um, have wrong? a technical issue with her. That's why they got, like, free range now to kind of do a little bit what they want to do. Really? With her property and stuff? No, they don't. They're, they're, from what I understand, I don't think they do. No, I heard oh, they she's, don't? A, she's a big old no. stickler about shit. Yeah, because I yeah. heard that um because of what took place with her, they like even oh. Warner Brothers don't want to have nothing to do with her whatsoever. No, right. It's, it's I, still I, under contract though. Right. Okay. I, I think they're just not like having her in the forefront of shit too much anymore, but she still obviously controls everything. Okay. You know. And I don't know, Ooh. like what what's rumored is supposed to be uh Okay, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> uh, um, Tell us how you really feel. I have heard that. <laughs> I don't know. I okay. So based on what's rumored for Epic Universe, I, I'm loving if they do do it. Classic monsters, obviously. I'll yeah. be. I don't mind Mario. I think it's beautiful. I think it's colorful. Based on what I saw, yeah. But Epic don't you think? Like, come on, monsters. though. It, it, don't you think with Mario is a little outdated, though? You know what? You know what? When Mario was first announced. Or, like, getting to that point, even years before it was announced, I was, like, trepidatious about it. I'm like, who the fuck would want to go see Mario Land? But I've seen the way it's done. It's kind of cool. It's kind of timeless, which is what you need it's, for a land. It's just them trying to bring Mario back. They're using Universal to bring Mario back. And what's going to happen, in my opinion, is it's going to get outdated real quick. Well, that's the thing. I, mean, is, I was expecting more from the Mario um, Kart attraction. It, it, well, that's a little... more because it, it just looked like it's basic and well we we ain't it's riding really Mario not Kart. that basic the technology with those glasses is really really it's cool yeah you no know, i i mean i want it to be a little more extreme it's not extreme um, at all this is a race what do you want like, like a banana to hit you in the face or something he does like, think about the mario Kart. like <laughs> it's crazy it, it, it's extreme so it's the attraction should be Listen. extreme I think the queue for the ride, assuming it's going to be the same as Japan and maybe Hollywood, the queue for the ride is great. I think it's it's obviously not See, fat friendly. This is, this is what I'm seeing is, is I think that they're going to have to do something different. If we get it over here, we're going to have to do something different than the other two. Of like, course. We're going, to have, we're going to have to switch it. Do you think in terms of Mario Kart or in terms of like, well, I know they might include like. I should have um, sold the land. <laughs> I mean, that's just like with Disney. 
if everybody had to turn Space Mountain, it'd be I, like, I okay, <laughs> we've all been on the same thing, but every Space Mountain is different. Every Thunder Mountain is different. Yeah. Every Pirates is different. This is close Flash to home. Mountain, and, and, yeah. do that. Ian has actually experienced Super Nintendo World in Japan. He worked on it a little, uh, a lot. Uh, so this is hits home for him. He loves it. Disney was so quick to cut Johnny's rope and let him fall, and now he's won the case. They'll try to bribe it. Listen to me. If J- Johnny Depp says he wouldn't go back, but if he does, I hope he gets like fucking triple the amount because I love the Pirates movies with him. But he's gonna refuse because know. of that. He, he, he should come back. So yeah, he, he should. He should. He should refuse. Um, but yeah, um, I agree. They should add a little bit more to Epic Universe because it's so big. I'm hoping like maybe Pokemon, maybe Sonic. I don't know. Maybe down the line for extension. Pokemon. I, don't we have enough people playing Pokemon Go in the parks as it is? Come on. Let me tell you Pokemon. something. I could literally give oh, two shits go. about Pokemon. I don't give a shit <laughs> about Pokemon. But I realize, listen, it's made over like what nine hundred billion fucking merchandise. I think it would be good and helpful. I personally wouldn't care about it. But I, you know, I mean, listen, I don't care about Avatar. But I would go to Animal Kingdom and enjoy Avatar and go on the rides and stuff. Um, and listen, is Mario speaking to what you said, Danny? Is Mario any? I think Mario is more in the forefront of people's minds than Pan. What's uh, Pan? Um, Pandora, right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, well, and Pandora, I think Pandora is cool. Pandora, you know what it is? Is Pandora is outdated now too? It's an old news. Right. Not that, it, not that again, the rides are bad. It's just again, out- another IP situation. Yeah. Well, it only took yeah. fucking forty-five years to make the sequel, <laughs> <laughs> which doesn't even look that great. Look, and then Tron is going to open up for the sequel. No, the sequel is yeah. going to open up before Tron. Sequel. They're going to make another a... Tron movie before they open up Tron. I don't like Pokemon. I can give a shit about it. But I, just because I don't give a shit about it doesn't mean like I can shit on it. I respect it. I know it's a big franchise. I think it would bode well to have a little something of Pokemon. But, you know, it doesn't mean I have to like everything. Um, I haven't released... I haven't... What, for um, Pandora? That's fine. Yeah, you can take Lugo. That's fine. Pandora's coming, out. Pandora's coming out in uh, Yay, December. Yeah. Panera's coming out. Oh, I keep saying Panera. Yeah, Panera. Pandora. It might as well be Panera. Yeah, uh, the movie for <laughs> the Blade. next movie <laughs> for uh, Avatar is coming Once out by in Blade. December. <laughs> so, yeah, you're taking Lugo. Coco's taking uh, a theme park lifestyle. I'm assuming Danny's going to chill with me as a best friend because... We both don't give a shit about anything. Sure. Good night, Mike. Thank you. See? Someone who sound mine. Because I don't give a shit who the hell I hang out with. All right. All right. Great. <laughs> so next week on the stream, <laughs> gonna, in. me, Danny. <laughs> yeah, you always... Oh, shut up, Coco. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, any questions from the chat? Anything you want to bring up? Anything you want to shoot the shit? I will say I, I love the vibe of the chat. I, I I I can't wait to meet you know I haven't hey. met Mike and Steph in the room. You know, I haven't met you, but eventually I feel like when we meet it's gonna be really cool. Somebody yeah. somebody has a message for you guys if you can just share the screen over there. Who is it? Oh, oh, oh. this guy. Ah <laughs> First of all. That's so cool. that's so cool that you got him to do that because are, aren't they removing that too? Yeah, he's moving. So, he could Donkey himself confirmed it in my video that he is moving. Really? And he I didn't even ask him to do that. <laughs> he did that on his own. I wasn't even expecting that. Right. All right. Let's see. Let's I like see. his comment about it. It's like the rent is just but let me too bounce. high around here. <laughs> Mike says, "Let me bounce an idea off of you guys. What if Disney were to exchange, were change the Mexico Pavilion?" To include South America and make the pavilion Latin America so they can include in Canto somehow. And I'm going to go for a, a resident person on this. Benito, what do you think? I'm not Mexican. <laughs> I know, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, yes. I'm Puerto Rican. We oh, stereotype on this channel. <laughs> they say he's rookin'. Yeah, right. Coco, yeah, Simpsons is that universal. Donkey is a badass. He really is. 
Uh, so what do we think about that? What do we think about Mike's idea? I, mean, I think they should really cool. just keep it Mexico, honestly. Keep cool, Mexico. I think because, you know, I think each pavilion, they had to pay a certain amount of money to even have a pavilion. So I don't think that would ever happen. Yeah. Wow, look at this. My partner. Fuck. Brian. Wow, nice. Uh, <laughs> Wait, you're what? Which way are you taking that though? I mean, right. We'll talk about that in the after hours. Sorry, I'm passing <laughs> out from the hospital. What the fuck? What's wrong with you, Jay? What's going on? With yeah, you? what the hell, dude? And were you in a hospital last night for the chat? I'm. I hope you're okay. I hope it's, it wasn't anything that Maybe Lugo they're said. they're coming back from the hospital. Oh, they're, they're I know he finished. said. I know he said that. Um, my lights last night were putting him to sleep. So. Oh shit. You think <laughs> They put him into a, a deep induced coma. <laughs> no, but Jay, I, I hope you're doing well, buddy. Uh, uh, Jay, you okay? Yeah, we're all concerned about you. Yeah, for real. I mean, no one was concerned about me. I had a once in a lifetime oh, pandemic shut virus. Up. You're full yeah, of shit. Real. Shut up. You're full we, of we shit. We talk every day. <laughs> full we of talk shit. Every single day. Yeah, bring the home <laughs> test. Bring the home <laughs> test. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying we're full of shit with that. Like, uh, Jay, I understand you. Uh, my parents have been in the hospital the whole month, pretty much. So I understand. It's like it is exhausting and tiring. So I hope for a speedy recovery for your grandpa. <laughs> yeah, it is a large. Thing. You know, I should pro I should just set a whole fucking stream up one night of just looking out into the water here and just putting the uh, the microphone over there and just let it go. ASMR go. with the frogs. A frog ASMR. ASMR. I will say they're fucking loud. Do they have megaphones? I, dude, I don't fucking know. And I just I had to close the window too. Like I saw you. Know. I saw you do that. Are they invading your house? So I, say something. So, so might, might say something. I can't see. And based off that, do you think Disney would ever expand World Showcase to add whichever country? <sighs> I don't, I don't think I don't think, I don't so. think they have Cats room in Colombia anywhere to so, attack. I don't, I don't think gonna... so because Mike, this world showcase, each country has to put so much money in there. Mm -hmm. So that that's like Canada, they they purchased that. China, yep. they purchased that. Yeah. Each pavilion has to purchase something. So wherever Encanto and was located, they would have to purchase. There's no the room property. there to actually add anything else. Like they're they're done. You're at capacity. They could put a target there. <laughs> Anyways, Tim Tracker. Uh, oh, listen! Don't you ever put me in the same <laughs> sentence, okay? I'm not attending urban parties. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, I, I I think the improvements. I think they should stick to the improvements that they plan. Hopefully, they do that with coming off of uh, what do you call it there, Spaceship Earth, and the whole like Outlook and Overlook and the statue and everything with Moana. I think that's Listen, enough for now. I don't think they're planning on this. If none yeah. of these parks did anything else, none of you, you guys would all complain, but none of you would stop going. Oh, so no. Just true. let them let them do what true. they're going to do <sighs> and just but be I happy like, with it. I, I like to complain. That's it. I actually Too don't much. like to complain, so I, I think whatever yes, they did. Do. Yeah, yes, you do. Hold on. How do I mute him? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to complain. I actually, listen, I'm a realist. I love going to the parks. I love the atmosphere. I, I can literally go to the parks and ride nothing and give two shits. I can like, listen. Jess and I insane. go to the park and literally sit there and just people watch. I have no <laughs> problem with it. Or, oh, yeah, I love watching people. This See you in the fog, kids. Mike. Oh, but, but before. Their children is so funny. Mike, I hope you're listening. I, I you was telling. The, yeah. You know what the best thing to do in the parks is? What? I want to make videos on this too. I think I'm going to start introducing this to the channel. Is we just, we'll all sit there, and I'll do it by myself too. And you start making stories and conversations up for people as they pass by. Oh yeah, yeah. I just want to. I want to document families just fighting. Um, oh, all it. the time. It, I, I try to get it. I really do. I just want to have a whole blooper reel of of that. I hear you. I like doing I voice about stuff. what happened to me in Animal Kingdom. <laughs> When the father was upset because he couldn't find where he parked his car, yeah. <laughs> where he parked his car, and he was mad with his wife and children the whole time. But I, See, I, I before Mike goes, I want to tell Mike that I was talking to Benito and uh, Zarell last night. I wanted to get together with us three and you and uh, 
with Jess and Danny. It would be so cool to get together, even on Universal yep. property, and just hang and chill and, yep. you know, talk Something. about what we're doing. It would be great. It's been a while. 100%. You know. Snag some to. food or something. It's all yeah. about sitting down and grubbing with people. Yep. <laughs> oh, I am too. <laughs> I am too, bro. Well, That's how you really get to, you know, you know right. I'm not enjoy even time. Make a joke. That was too simple. I'm not even going to make a joke. Let's what? go and sit down like Margaritaville or something right there at City Walk. You know, you're good. I'm Margaret. not going to joke on being so today. I'm going to let it go. Do it. I don't give a shit. Danny would start our Universal and a Resort ASMR series. That's just people will find here. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Actually, I kind of have, though. I kind of have. Like, I look, um, do you have my channel up right now or no? Shows how much Mike has watched your channel, son. I know, right? Shit. Uh, what the fuck? I want to be a to Yeah, we're definitely going to HHN together as a group. We yes. have to. That'd be great. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm a big. Yes, you are. Stop oh. your shit. Stop your fucking shit. You're it's going. not a boat. It's not a boat. Really? I'm Listen, not going. Don't, <laughs> don't make me bring out the New York accent in you, okay? Right. Row, row with anything because I'm not going. Row, we're going to Circle K. Oh, I'm not going. Count me out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you know me very well. Does it involve a boat? I'm out. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't go to Circle K. There might be a crocodile and alligator in there waiting for That's me. That's right. Then why did you move to Florida, man? I had no Listen, choice. This is where my family there's is no there. fucking gators in Florida. I'm telling you right yes, now. There's right. no yes, fucking gators. gators. They sure are. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, over a year that I've been here, I haven't seen one outside of fucking uh, SeaWorld. So, I mean, you've, you've eaten some. You just haven't seen some. You that could have been one? from Louisiana, go, go as far as I know. Go go throw some fish or something in the water in the pond next to you. I'm pretty sure one will pop out. You got you to gotta open up a little, man. Cause I want to rent the pond. I, I want to rent the pontoon boat from one Ooh, of the that's Disney, fun. Disney properties. And no, yeah. no one's game for it. Wait, let's do what? it. Let's go. No I'm with game. you. I'm, I'm with you. Darrell on the other hand. Wait. Whoa, Batman yo. This is big from Mike. This is big from Mike. Yeah. I need to start unsubscribing from bigger channels or people I don't really watch or know and just support my close friends because then I'll be able to actually watch more of y'all's content. Yes. Can we name That's some of those I bigger channels? Let's name some of those bigger channels. Oh, here I'll we go. start. Wait. Listen, wait. stop being there. <laughs> no, we ain't, we ain't doing that. We're not doing that. Uh -uh. Not better, I know, we're better I know than you're that. Your feelings about okay. the channel. Your be image better. might not be messy, but I'm messy. Be okay, better. So, no. So we're gonna start. We're not doing gonna, that. Okay. We're not doing that. Be better. I'm gonna start with Lugo's exactly. channel, but whatever. Oh, yeah, because I'm so huge. Whoa, my <laughs> six ah. subscribers. Okay. Well, after <laughs> after tonight, he's done with my channel. I can tell you that much. So never. Who's done with your channel? I'm not done with your channel. Listen, we joined your... I, well, I'm going to be honest with people listening right now. Uh, yeah, like I, I joined your stream. I don't even know how I ended up in your stream. I'm going to be honest. But the day I did... Um, I don't even yeah. know how I ended up in my stream. It's okay. Listen, that's okay. I love your streams. They're off the rails, and I don't mean that in a shady way. I mean that in a cool way. Like, anything goes... Yeah. And it's cool. Yeah, it you know? It's lax. Yeah. Very relaxed. And it's sort of like one of those streams where you think you're ending it, and then someone mentions something, and it takes you in a totally different direction. And, they, you're and there then we for go for hour. another like hour. Right. Yeah. yeah, so that's cool. I like that. I like that. Um, I'd rather see that than you waiting on fucking people moving for the 18th time. That's why we stream from home, honestly. And then, honestly, our streams, when we do our streams, as like you can see, like you guys are witnesses that... We literally, it's more of a get, come and get to know us, and it's a, a personal thing. Like, right. I don't, no comment goes unturned in our, in our uh, right. stream. So. <laughs> Cheryl, you know what, though? No, Cheryl, it's not stirring the pot. It's just lessons learned the second time around. Like, the first Listen. time around, I was naive, got caught Listen, up in the FOMO. I was in the park, I was in the park with Brian, and yeah. I wanted to avoid... Um, Oh, certain someone. people, and I, I like did a three sixty on Brian. And Brian yeah, and the people are like, "Oh, I hear you're here with Theme Park <laughs> Lifestyle." And I turn to Darrell, I go, "Here he is," and he was like, "Feetstone Family." Now he had like ghost, he ghosted you. <laughs> Straight like, up right. ghosted you. <laughs> Listen, I don't. Uh, and 
my comment about unsubscribing from big youtubers had a second part to oh okay and go wait 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 <laughs> so, <laughs> so go ahead finish it i'm here, i'm all here for the sequel <laughs> go ahead mike i think i think we're on the same wavelength buddy it's like the terminator <laughs> right oh, oh just in mike. case you thought i was done i'm not <laughs> oh my god mike go Out ahead for you. Here for let's it. go it's too good but I think we all go through that. Like, you know, we, we have like, oh, shit, this is debuting today. I need to be in the park. But then you're like, you know what? <laughs> Look what Ian said. <laughs> Invite them now. <laughs> yeah, you want to give the info, the team. Listen, I would lo- like in this situation, I was telling Darrell and Benito, like, I would love to give the link to like Mike. If you're willing to come in here and chat, like, by all means, come in. Um, you do get burned, Cheryl, and you realize... You know, some people just don't gel with you, and it's okay. You know, uh, fuck them, man. Can, that's some what people you just are, do, and you're like, okay, later, I'm moving on, doing what I got to do, and screw yeah. you. You can't stop me. I, I can say, oh, this. it's a puff show's comment. Okay. My guy Orlando Sean said it best. A lot of these people we see on YouTube, they're not who you think you are. They are. They are a character. They're playing a character on yep. film for you. They're playing a character. Yep. That's not them. Yeah. But like yeah. you know, oh god, just look for the comment that makes us. No, 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 no. Hey, I'm uh, here for it. <laughs> go on, then. Yeah, go on. You it's, it's your channel, so <laughs> it's all. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. I, I'm not. <laughs> okay. I hey, Dev. Like... What's up? <laughs> hey. hey. You can come in. Listen. Listen, there's Linda. Linda, listen, Linda. Do you Linda. know? Do you know the channel Florida Resident Edits? Oh, I love him. Yeah, I love yeah, him. Yeah, they're pretty uh, on point. <laughs> I love him. Yeah. And we all know Darrell's behind that channel, right? Oh yeah. yeah. If I was, there would be a channel up there that that's not up there yet. I love that channel because. Uh, it gives them the come up instead. Some of them. I deserve. wish he would do something on my channel. I would want. I, I, you know what? Because you know what? You know what it is. He's helping them out. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. He's he's helping them well, out. I, 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 I think it's one of them doing so. it. Think so? That might be the case. You know. I think be. it's one of them doing it. It could be. Because Listen, look, we, you yeah. see one of those things up there, and. Now, all of a sudden, it's a such, like, you see the train wreck of a video that guy puts, and now you want to go to that channel. You hit subscribe yes. so you can watch it. Yeah. Right. And, you know, yeah, you might be hate. It's called, it's a hate watching, right? You're hate watching it. Um, you hate them, but you still, you know, you're still supporting yeah. them. In the, in it's, the but it's also, but, it's also free advertisement for them, too. Like, oh, I never knew that this channel was out there. They're a Disney channel. Oh, I'm a Disney fan. Let me go see what they're about. And, you know, you either you, you liked it or you hated it at that point. Yeah. So the person even clowned one of my friends that's a YouTuber in California. They clowned them, and my friend was like, "Oh, that was so funny." And even commented, "That was so funny." You know that yeah. that is me. You know, and that was it. Like there was no big deal. But then you have other YouTubers that they yep. did that to, and yep. it's a big frenzy. Yep. But 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 with them comes, and we don't speak about this a lot. Comes the moderators in these channels. And there are legit cool people, but a lot of them are like fanboys, cloud chasers, <laughs> right? And they're feeding into the whole like war between people. Holy shit! And we're like grown adults. I mean, don't tell your seventy-eight year old moderator. You're getting into like cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't. Yep, wow. you are so correct. <laughs> <laughs> so correct. That's why I like if you look at my channel. Yeah, I don't have many moderators. I think. Right. I think. I think right. you guys were the only ones who were in the chat last night who were really moderators. I feel honored, sir. No, but seriously, okay, you just I'm need not. a couple, right? You know, um, I don't need like honestly. I moderate my own shit. Like I don't need right people trying to look out for my shit. If you know, if I let if I see something and if I let it slide, then I'm gonna let it slide. Just because I got a sick and sick and twisted sense of humor too, and there's shit that I'll let slide. You know, I'm like, all right, right, cool, whatever. I find that funny, well, you know? Right. When you get a moderator, you got to make sure that they're on the same wavelength as you. Like, exactly. My moderators, I have I have Brian, I have Lugo, I have Manny, and I have Javi and Jaquetta. They come in and 
we all are on the same wavelength. Well, many is a little more, hey, you guys, let's 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 get it together. But <laughs> everyone else, we, we're clowns. We're fools. We, we're going to laugh. Mm-hmm. We're going to choke. We're going to act crazy, you know? Yeah. I mean, look, you know when somebody's coming in to, to do something, uh, compared to sitting in here and, you know, trying to have a fun conversation. You know what I mean? Like... Yes. I'm pretty sure some, you know, for some of your moderators, they see me come into your chat, you know, some of the things I was talking about and stuff, and they're, they're probably like, what the hell is this? You know, what, what's going on? You know? Right. I actually lost subscribers since you've been in here. Oh, good. No, I'm kidding. I'm, my mission is <laughs> accomplished. I feel like that was shade. You know uh, why? Because they just, came over to me. It was just, <laughs> hey, listen, I don't, you have a great channel. I don't blame them. Uh, I don't have a great channel. I have, a, I have a channel. And honestly, you know, like it, it I, I can't speak for Benito and uh, Darrell, but for me, I'm like Jesus. Like you're a guest on our channel, just chilling and hanging out. And for us, for me, I'm, I'm like, a regular damn. dude, man. I put oh, my yeah. freaking, I put my boxers on the same way as you, man. You sure about that? You want to watch? That, that's what I like about my moderators. They're they're regular people. All my moderators are <laughs> like, look, I, look, okay, like yeah, we're pushing almost. Um, like I'm like. At like uh, twenty seven ninety four right now for my subscribers, right? Like, right. Mm-hmm. Like, oh my god, you got a big show! I'm like, no, I, I, I just got a channel, man. Okay, so dispel the myth. When you get that a thousand, you know, after you get like a thousand and ten subs, you're officially a thousand. Does that change? Like, what is that? How does that feel like? What is that? Does it change your life? Does it change how you go about things? Does it change I'm, like how I'm you still see working? I'm still working full time. I mean, no, sure, sure. I don't mean like, oh my god, you hit it. <laughs> like, you get like, like cash flow. But what is it? What does it open up for you once you hit a thousand? You know, you know, you know what it opens up. Nothing else really. Like, you get a few pennies a month, and that's it. Yeah, I make I make maybe maybe ten dollars a month off of YouTube. Okay? okay, like what is it? What am I? What am I doing with it? Like, I'm just having fun. Like. It's awesome once you hit that one. When you hit a thousand, (laughs) it's awesome because you hit a thousand. Right. But after that moment, it's just what it is. It's just a moment. That moment comes and goes, and it kind of all it does is makes you want to push more to make more videos. But realistically, you should be doing that well before the thousand. So what do you what do you say to the people? Because there are people that will literally move here, quit their jobs to do this full time. I mean, they're stupid. That's insane. They're stupid. I Listen, I, I know of a YouTuber who's pretty big in the community, who yeah. I respect even more because I know he has a full time job. Right. Okay. Like Mike and Steph right there, they have more subscribers than me. And Mike, like, he doesn't want to be considered that, like, like as a bigger YouTuber. He's a, he's on, like almost at 6,000 subscribers right now and stuff. So. And he's just like me. He's, you know, he works at Universal with me. So like, he even says it to people. Like, I don't have no right. problem saying that because they know he says it. And he works at Universal, and he's making these videos, and then pulling in subscribers. You know, so like, coming down here to quit your job, you're stupid. You're stupid. If you're right. not coming down here for a jo- like, get a job down here, and then keep going at it. Right. It's like, pretty. Uh, rare if you're quitting a job just to make it on YouTube. It's rare that you're making it. And right, yeah. and I'll tell you this right now is, if I didn't have monetization coming down here before, like if I just moved down here and started the channel down here, yeah, <laughs> there's just like honestly, you get chewed up out here, man. You get chewed up. Nobody cares who you are, especially with a channel that's not monetized. You're not getting as much recognition anywhere. Like, unless you're in those parks, like, every day. But then again, it's how can you afford to be in those parks every day making videos and stuff. Um, I care, You, you can't. You can't, care. you know? What? <laughs> I oh care. Uh, care. Listen. Uh, no, I do. I want to speak to what Mike said. They support. Uh, I, I'm a little confused by what he said. They supported uh, us up until we took the power away, and they flipped on us. Who's they? Are you talking about the moderators? Uh, listen. Listen. Let's, let's 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 let that be. Let that be. Yes. Yeah, let's let let that. Why be. are they specifically I, talking I about people? I understand his comment. I don't know if they're talking about anybody or not, but I understand his comment. What he meant. Yeah. But I'm not well, going to dig into it. Because I don't. I'm a visual I learner. I need like, to know. 
I feel like personally, that's a conversation <laughs> you need to have personally with somebody. It's like I'm a visual learner. Well, I want to watch it grow. <laughs> what are we here for? Let's call him out. No, I'm kidding. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Um, you know, and Journey Awaits has. Listen, I'm not here. Like Journey Awaits, as you know, if you're you know, follow, you know, if you come in and chill with us, Journey Awaits is great. They just crossed the 900 mark, and they're like, you know, I feel like once you cross, that's awesome. Yeah, once you cross the plateau of like something you've been struggling with, I think yeah. sometimes it comes a little bit easier. Well, here's uh-huh. the thing. I'm going to tell you this to you guys right now. If at, no matter what number you're at, we always want more. It's a, yeah. it's, it's a it's a it's it's a thing in life that you always want more. And the, this YouTube thing is a game, okay? These numbers don't mean shit. Yes. I'll tell you that right. right. They don't mean shit. The uh, only thing they mean is something to you and that's it, okay? Now, if you got content and you're putting content out, that's all people care about. That's what means something. Your numbers don't mean nothing. I've seen people with, you know, 500 subscribers. Actually, I'm going to tell you this. is When we, got, when we had uh, Six Legs Media, we yeah. had... We had under a thousand subscribers. We weren't even monetized yet, and we got on media. That's because we've been pushing the videos out. They saw what we were pushing. It doesn't matter what you got; <clears throat> it's just what you're putting out. So, don't even look at your numbers. At the beginning of the uh, of this journey, I sat here and I compared numbers to other people. Why is this one doing this? Why is that one doing that? Right. Why Why is he copying me? This and that. You know what? Screw them. If you want to copy I, I me. Will- then that's an honor to me as I see it. But you can't be me, so I don't understand why you want to try to do it because I have I a certain style. Yeah. Oh, I, know, I, I know a friend. I have a friend, a friend friend, close friend, that's a yep. major YouTuber. They don't do theme parks, but they are major YouTuber. And they're stressing all the time because right. their members ain't looking right. Oh, my God, what am I going to do? I right. got to make sure I'm making enough videos to get paid. And here I am. I, I work a full time job, but I have no stress, and I'm not going to stress over it because right. my, my job is very, you know, you know, Brian. Like I do whatever I want. If I feel like working today, I work. If I right. don't work, I don't work. <laughs> right. But yeah, to have a plan B and a backup plan, I think is the best way to go. You know. Right. Uh, yeah. So we have some comments here. I feel they're very personal, so I'm not going to elaborate on them. <laughs> I start a game on a certain night, invite all YouTubers and call them celebrities and ask subs to act as consistent. I am not going there, Jaquita. Um, I don't know. <laughs> and when YouTubers bring their subs to your channel, you can post this. Oh, damn, Jaquita is not playing. <laughs> so, um, so sorry. Yes, yeah, Steph and I at one point had more mods than viewers. So we yes. So we decided to cut the mods, and the ones we cut for whatever reason. Oh, uh, gotcha. I got mad at you. And yeah. You know, yeah. Well, yeah, you know what? You're going to always have people get mad. mad. Yeah. And that's when you turn stupid. around. It's like, you want that back. You got to prove yourself oh, back. I mean, oh, sorry. I like, I like when people get mad with me because I'll tell you real quick. I'm good, bud. Listen, there's two things on my channel that I like more than normal viewers are my haters and my trolls. Mm. I hate you. No, I'm kidding. I, I love it. I, love no, you. I mean, those ones that want to come in and leave those yes. weird comments yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, cool. Guess what? You left a comment. YouTube don't care what the hell the comment right. is. So, exactly. you know what? You hit the thumbs down. That's even better. You hit something on the way in here. So, it's even better for the algorithm. So, thanks. Right. You know, right. you don't like my video. <laughs> Guess what? Okay, cool. Keep. I'll see you the next time. <sighs> yeah. That's just yeah. like with Journey Awaits. I love what they've been doing lately. Love it. Live streaming for a little bit, but then they come back and she does the recipes of what she cooks that day. And well, listen, Journey, Journey Awaits, I met them through Florida Park Explorers, and they would go to theme parks and stuff, and life took them briefly in a different direction, and they're in Atlanta, and they're vlogging their everyday life there, and I think that's fucking excellent, because they didn't yeah. pigeonhole themselves to theme parks, right? Yeah. They allowed themselves to expand and explore. You know, they did a whole series oh, where they spent 21... I DC Michelle. They spent That's 20... what we go back. Like, this goes back to what we were saying earlier. Is you know, you just, once you name something. Oh my God! Hi. Uh, um, um, what's um, going um, on? Two real geeks. Do you know DC and Michelle? Do I don't think so. Oh, okay. They're very cool people. Hi, they, they're just the How best are you people. Guys? And it's been so long since I kind of communicated with them. Um, but yeah, they're the best. Um, but yeah, like Journey awaits. They and how are you guys? 
DC and Michelle, how are you? It's been so long, and I'm so glad you're coming in. How I was Kelly? It. Yes, they just came from we do my... know We do know them now. I just described to them. Oh, so. awesome. Very cool. They, I, you won't regret it. Like, I, you know, with I, seeing yeah, Lego great. stuff there, that's awesome. Yeah, oh, no, they great. just came back yeah, from Cali where they did like, um, what was going on there? Star, Star Wars to, Celebration. Oh, Star, Wars. Star Wars Celebration. They were and you that. even got a bell click from me. <laughs> no, very cool. I appreciate that. <laughs> listen, and you know what I appreciate too is anyone coming in here. I listen. I would not. It's not like sub for sub, but I wouldn't say, "Oh, go check these guys out," mm-hmm. just because. Listen, check those. Everyone that we suggest, check them out. See if it's a fit for you. If it's fit for you, follow them. You know. And, and so if it's not, we're doing you know. we're doing YouTube for almost three years, over three years now. I'm going to tell you this, guys. What actually is better for channels is sharing videos out like a hundred percent is better than hitting the like and it's better than commenting once you share it out like everywhere that's what means more because now youtube is looking at it as you watch the video and you're sharing it out for other people to see because now not even though you didn't hit the like you basically are liking that video because you want other people to see this video so now YouTube is going to take it and share, like you're sharing it out, but now YouTube is going to start pushing it out a little more because, well, they think that there should be viewed more. So that's why we changed our channel to, and you know, and that's why when you did that video, Danny, about uh, Monsters Cafe, I've never seen the inside of it. And you yeah. know, it's, it's sort of like you take <clears throat> things for granted until they're gone. And I'm like, shit, yeah. you know, I really wish I was there to experience the same thing with Kite Tales. I know it's silly. But they changed it and they're getting rid of it. And I really wish I just experienced it. So I'm hopeful that oh, we'll see Monsters Cafe come back in another form. But yeah, it was cool to see the inside of it. And you said in yourself in the video, it would help if you share it out. And that's the first thing I did once you said it. Share and I don't it out. Say, and I don't say that at all in my videos. I don't, I'm not a channel. I don't believe in like subscribe comment right. share because it's right. at this point everybody says it in all their vi- mm-hmm. it doesn't matter if it's theme parks or whatever right. everybody says it we all know it and that's the thing is we all know it i don't really? have to sit yeah, here and, and, and drill this to you <laughs> yeah what? you know when you're a team member they ask you to kind of like um you know once in a while like take on the role of someone in the park and you know he would do different things oh okay uh, that's cool um, I just want to go back to what Mike and Steph, the Mike stuff, uh, yeah. Mike said. That's why we changed our channel name to Adventures of Mike and Steph because we don't want to limit ourselves. Yeah, it's Disney Universal. Yeah, right. You know, there's so much more out there. Whether it's local Florida stuff, Central Florida stuff, just the world. Which, yeah, yeah, which is what I want to get into. Um, like what he just said here. I mean, there's more to Orlando I mean, and Florida than just like, Disney. Silver Spring State Park. Up Brian, here in your channel, Brian and Ed, you guys are willing to so do a video. Disclose, you know, different things that you guys do. Like with me, my thing is theme park lifestyle, but it's not pertaining to my personal life because my personal life, you guys would be like, oh my God, this is what you deal with? It's crazy. <laughs> it, it would be a talk show. Like it would be a lot. Yeah, he deals with us. And I. <laughs> Me personally, I don't want my personal life out there like that, but I do want to share what I do like doing, which is theme right. parks. So that's why right. I label my but, theme but, park but, but even yeah. the way you name the channel, theme parks, there's so much to cover in Orlando. Right. You know, it's oh, not just Disney. Yeah, that's, that's related to entertainment. Um, and also, and it's also the dinner. theme park lifestyle. So not only are right. you at the theme parks, but it's the lifestyle of somebody going to the theme park. So it covers exactly. other places that you could, that are of interest. That's it's a exactly. very broad term. Very yeah. broad term, so that's good. Yeah, you're not singling yourself out to one thing. Yes, Gator, Gatorland. I, I, I actually I want to go do there. that, but I'm afraid to do it. But I want to do it. Do you want to go and I'll hold? Do you want to go and I'll hold your hand? Like I'm not that far, so. <laughs> I'm just saying. Come on, man! I'm I'll meet you there because you know alligators. They see me and they might. You and I, you and I are gonna go on the zip line. Oh, uh. Uh-uh. Oh, <laughs> not zip over line? no alligators. Oh, hell, I don't no. think so. Where's their zip line? Over hell. the Gators? Gatorland, yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah. think I remember that. I'm not that. doing it. I'm oh, not yeah. doing it. Fuck no. I'll do it. You'll do it because you're fucking you skinny. It. Listen, I'm not doing it because of that. I'm just. I, I, yeah, I, I'm and just... you can have fun. And uh, listen, I have no problems going over the zip line, but I'm gonna go on it, and it's gonna go straight down the fucking pit. No. 
My fat it's like, ass. you know what I want to do? You know what I want to do is I want to do one of those helicopter tours, but Jess won't let me. I, I agree with Jess, man. Those things are like, like, I, <laughs> listen. They look like toys, those helicopters. look like they made those helicopters there and, at the Oh, come on, man. Those things are <laughs> no. down in the air all day long, man. It's oh, Really? Damn, what about the tour copters that keep crashing into the fucking Hudson River in New York City? No. No, those are freaking New York helicopter pilots. Where do you find a helicopter pilot in New York City? Come on. I, I don't know. I and point. and here, and here, there's a bigger area that you can land instead of on one of those uh, uh, helipads on a dock in, the, in New York. Come on. Yeah. And there's no tall buildings like over there. Either. You know, I mean, really, come on, man. No, no. Listen. So Mike, to your, your question, like, so this year, I looked at it, right? <laughs> so an uh, annual pass at Disney, I can get one at Universal and SeaWorld. Mm -hmm. SeaWorld, I could do Busch Gardens and all the other SeaWorld chains for the yeah. price of what Disney And wants. you get hey, Busch Gardens in Virginia. Right, yeah. Virginia, so, and you get you get six fucking passes. You get 50% off merchandise. What's yeah, that the I, love? I get, I get extra passes. Right. Okay, so when are we scheduled going? <laughs> I, 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 my next thing, you know, once I get a little money coming in, I want to get a season pass for SeaWorld. Yeah. Let's go. Let me know when you're going. I'll meet you there. I, I really, really want to go soon. Really? Yeah. I yeah, I'm there. Drive like, down. I, well, I have, you know, take that hour and a half. I, 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 so <laughs> I think my uh, my video kind of inspired you guys for that, huh? For the last. Well, listen, I, I, I want to. Well, it's been 30 years since I've been there. So. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, dating yourself. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Coco, is not there a SeaWorld out there where you are in, in Texas? Yeah. Yeah, it's called SeaWorld Texas. SeaWorld Texas? San Antonio. San Antonio. SeaWorld Texas. What, what, sea World Texas. what the hell is <laughs> Okay, well, isn't it called Six Flags Texas? Six Flags over Texas. Over Texas, okay. Whatever. Whatever. Bro, yes, Seven Eye. I, I agree. Yeah. This is Six Legs Adventures. Let me tell you something. I've been wanting yeah, right? to meet Damn. Mike and Steph for... I, I tell Benito and uh, Darrell this all the time. I've wanted to meet Mike and Steph forever. We need to make this happen in 2022. And... I, I, was, I hung out with Steph at uh, HHN. Uh, uh, Mike with HHN last year. Yeah. See? Yeah. We're at opening night together. Well, way to rub I mean, it in. You know, August is around the corner and someone's birthday. Oh, here we go. Hyping up your it's birthday. It's Jess's man. birthday. Thank you for acknowledging. When is Jess's birthday? The 14th. Of? Of. August. Oh, I'm the 18th. Ha ha ha. Listen to me. I don't, I don't acknowledge people born in August. Only October. Thank you. Thank you. Libras unite. Oh, but speaking of what Mike and Steph right said. Oh, yeah? You're a Libra? <laughs> when? October what? 21st. <gasps> I'm the 22nd. <gasps> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it sounds great. Um, Libras but, are unbalanced people. No, we're not. We're kind and caring people. Right? Yeah, I'm balanced. I'm I'll trying. show you I'm balanced. You're the, balance. Stand you're on the, the side of a dock. You're the two schmucks you. wearing sunglasses indoors. And? And? and hey, I Only was too, two but... Types where of people, is your wand? Two types of people wear sunglasses where in the store. Wand? Blind people and assholes. You're, uh, where is your wand? Harry? So I got to keep him uh, on, then. Where is it? Where is your wand? <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Thank you. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Because I'm the that. asshole, so that's all right. <laughs> we have Mr. Fulton Mraz. My grandmother, Renee, she, aw, she passed away on Monday morning. She had lung cancer. I'm she was so very sorry sick. sorry about that. Uh, we're keeping sorry you and that. your family in your prayers. Uh, we're keeping Renee and you in, you know, in our prayers. And to follow that up, great. I mean, screw I'm you, mean. Coco. I'm an asshole. Yeah, we're pretty much assholes. We're four yeah, assholes. Yeah, definitely. And I, I can't wait to meet up together so we can like have our <laughs> asshole energy unite. Well, so I'm gonna tell you guys right that this right here is the new world. Universal um, theme park community. Right. So I, you know that was, that was one of the topics too, Danny. Like you know, I think yeah. the I think Universal slowly but surely, and then you add the chaser of Epic Universe. Like Universal is gonna be the shit. You know, I, yeah. I really believe so. You know, here the problem is is the Disney people are going to try to come over and impede on our land. Wait, what? The Disney YouTubers oh, are going to yeah. try to come over and of impede course. on the land. Of course. And they... Because oh, it's something new. Oh, it's, it's, that, it's, that it's in Orlando. When we cover Disney, <laughs> we need to cover it. So, Because there's only so much time you could cover the people mover for the 18th fucking time in a day. Right. I'm sorry. I'm bitter. 
I know, I like people more. <laughs> and people more is one of my favorite rides, but like, how yes. many fucking times can I see on the people more? Oh, okay. Every stream. Oh, look, here's the Tron update. Right, it's still not up. It's still mm. not open. The train's still not running. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm coming Meanwhile, it would be me up there saying, hey, look at that person down there walking. <laughs> right. <laughs> and people watch. <laughs> but that's a different thing, though. Like, that's awesome, you know? Like, yeah. That's that's a great app hey, value. It's like a it's a different a point of view on it. Like I'm, and the I'm problem is, is everybody's just as these parks cookie cutter rides. There's cookie cutter YouTubers in, in the Disney parks. Brian, I'm sorry to say, it. There, huh? say, there's are cookie you cutter there? YouTubers. Yeah, in you know, the park. And, and I always thought to myself, and I expressed it to these guys even yet, like this thousand people like fucking streaming enchantment. Why am I going to be a thousand and one doing it? Like, what am I doing? And, like, Disney, and Disney started hitting people with copyrights on Enchantment yeah. now, too. And so like, you, they're yeah. going to be doing that now with a lot of their stuff. All their rides and things like that are starting to get copyrights. I've heard a couple people getting copyright on uh, Guardians already. Yeah. Well, so Guardians, <laughs> Guardians also have, like, real music on yeah. the attraction. Guardians so, also has a message before you get on the ride that says no, no filming on, or photos on the ride, so... It also yeah, says, you know. um, but, there you go. There's Lugo socials if you're interested. Lugoman78 on Thank Instagram you, and Lugo on YouTube. I figured that would be easier than typing Listen, it Listen, I tried to find Lugo on YouTube. Let me tell you something. Like, DC and Michelle Lugo just... Lugo. It's Lugoman78. <laughs> Whatever. I don't DC and Michelle literally <laughs> just gave me the biggest compliment or gave us. We need a disguise. You have DC laughing out loud. How cool is that? That's awesome. To be able to make DC laugh. That's great. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's all my doing. I appreciate it so much. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to uh, my stream takeover. <laughs> Listen, and we we completely lay down and allowed it because we trust you, my friend. You are, you know, we've endured. We've endured. Yeah, I know you stressed. You stressed having me coming on. You're like, what the fuck Thank is going to happen? I didn't. I didn't stress one bit. Ask these fools. <laughs> I didn't stress one bit because you know when we join you on your streams, it's kind of the same. But Steve. Steve, what's up, Steve? <laughs> Why the fuck do you need to show up, man? I don't know, man. That's the same way. I hope Steve get his own channel. Right. Steve. Don't Steve. encourage Steve. Please don't. Steve's world is taken. <laughs> so if you don't, I, obviously no one knows. On last night's stream, Steve made his debut. <laughs> and it's kind of taken off and becoming a thing. You know, yeah. he might get his own account and uh, I don't know. I'm viral. Um, <laughs> wait, you guys trust Danny? I I completely trust Danny. I'm feeling his vibes. And now that I know he's a Libra, fuck yeah. I just messaged <laughs> you the stream of me feeding gators. We should all go. Yes, Mike, I agree. I, Mike. I've been I agree, Mike. Yes. for a year and a half. I've been trying to get together, you know. Um, I know you've Listen. been through some shit this year, but let's let's, let's hang go. out. Let's go. Yeah. Listen, um, I will go, time, but I'm not feeding hard. gators. I'm not getting no, feed no gators. gators. I'm not I'll getting no gators. Uh, and I'm not ziplining. Snowflakes. You can record me ziplining. That's fine. No I'll one asked you. you. I'll take to one for the team. That. I'm <laughs> no one asked you to do any of that. Hey, hey, they got a train. Will you get on the train? No. What is this thing? Gators? Gators the train. What the fuck you think? Gator land. All right. Good night, Mike. Later, brother. Thank you so Bye, much, Mike. my friend. Yes, he still scares the crap out of me. Think, I, I stairs. So. <laughs> yes, I saw. I saw that stream. Mike was very good. You braver than me. I, listen, um, I'm all for shit. I just need to lose weight, man. I mean, real talk. Like, I cannot let. I, I forbid myself. I cannot let uh, Epic Universe open, and I cannot ride shit. I need to ride shit, and that honestly. Universal is not known for being like poo fat friendly, but if I could eventually get to that point, I would love fucking Universal like forty times more. Like I can't wait, so it's a good goal. Anyway, off topic. Oh shit! Okay, the purge. <laughs> the purge is the purge is in the house. I love it. Oh, Danny. By the way, I wanted to pick your brain. Like you're into horror. What are your top horror movies? Like what do you like franchise wise? Top horror movies. Yeah, come on, lay it to me. You had to pick. Um. I'm a huge, 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 huge Universal Monster fanboy. Really? Oh yeah. So, you, so you're not I'm into going black creature, shit. creature from the Black Lagoon, and um, like fr the fr the original Frankenstein's, 
uh, stuff like that. So yeah, a hundred percent. Like, that's that's my thing. I like good cheesy B horror movies too. Okay. So uh, fun fact about Creature from the Black Lagoon was filmed like a couple miles from me. Yeah. Right yep. here in Silver Spring State Park. Exactly. Mm-hmm. If we have to hear yeah. about Silver Spring State Park anymore tonight, I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> this is the only thing to do around here. What is Silver Spring State Park? What is that? Uh, it's a bottom boat. boat. Is it it's scary? a state right park. Last bottom boat. Wow, Danny. Thank you for elaborating. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's in the name. I get it's in the name, but is it known for being like spooky and scary as shit? Or a no? lot of movies were filmed there. Uh, oh, okay. Really, really. When you take that glass bottom boat tour, the the ah. captain will tell you everything. You know, it's really nice, man. It's a really good time. I do like Silent Hill. Bye, Silent Coco. Hill was, was awesome. See you later. Bye, Coco. Um, okay. So you're not a fan, I, I'm assuming, then, of like, well, maybe I it shouldn't be presumptuous. But what about like Scream, Halloween, all that shit? Purge. Scream, no. Incident. Halloween, I what like what Halloween are we talking though? Like Halloween, no, yeah, original? I do like, yeah, original, yeah, a hundred percent. I'll I'll sit there and watch that. Um, like a lot of okay. the stuff. The problem is a lot of the stuff now. Yeah. There's a lot of remakes of a lot of things. Right. Like like yeah. Stranger Things. I'm huge into Stranger Things. You know things like that. Like yeah. Did you I see mean, the there's... latest season? Oh, of course I have. Oh, fuck, okay, I haven't crazy. seen it. I gotta catch up. How many episodes on the new season? Six? It's not that many. It's like six seven. seven. It's like right, seven. I, I know it's split into two, right? I gotta um, watch it. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's, like, it's gonna come out later on. There's another seven coming out. So. Oh wait. Um, <laughs> like I've been up to like when we were in Georgia. We went to like the uh, Walking Dead filming location of Woodbury. Um, we have a video on the channel for that. We actually showed the house where Carl was eating the pudding out on the on the roof and stuff, and you know things like that. So yeah, I mean, so like we're let there. Let me ask you this question: Would you do the haunted house? There's a haunted house where they like really scare the the crap out of you. Like they chain you up and. That's not a haunted house, brother. That that's called Friday nights in my house. Um, <laughs> um, but I was. I know. What you, are you talking about McKinney Manor? Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, that's not a haunted house. So, I mean, you want to start, like, being that I work the haunted industry, Yeah, he's not wanted in states. And, well, he's actually wanted in states. I could tell you that um, because of that haunted house. He that's is considered, stuff. he's considered <laughs> torture. That's not, he kidnaps people. He tortures people. What he does is not a haunted house, man. He doesn't even yeah, let you that's... out. He does, there's no escaping it and... No, no, dude. What he does, nobody in the haunted community. I don't think Brian this, knows dude. what we're talking about. I, I listen. I don't know what you're talking about, but I like it. He sounds like my. Uh, no, he, no. Like this they, they dude will come and like he situation. tells you. Here, this is what it is. Okay, this dude tells you to meet him in a location. This white van comes, pulls up, puts a bag over your head, kidnaps Ooh. you basically, and puts you into the back of this van. You don't have no fucking clue where the hell you're going. And that's then, how I met Ian. I'm sure it is. Ah. Strips you basically strips you down and humiliates you. Well, have he has a whole crew? Yeah, I know. Like his crew will literally come and like shit and piss on you, and like yeah, you, they're bad. They, yeah, they do all of that. Yeah. Feed you like dog food and you know things what? like that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's bad. If you used to it, you'll see what we're talking about. It's something serious. McKinney, that, that, McKinney okay. matter. Well, people actually That's a little pay. serious. People yeah. actually pay to go do this. Well, I know there's haunted houses, especially on the East Coast, penitentiary, I think Pennsylvania, penitentiary, something like that, where uh, you, you opt into being, like, touched and yeah. separated from your party. The jail, I think the that's jail cool. one. Yeah, the jail. Well, cool. then also, you know, you lived in New York, too. It's like, you know that we had Blood Manor and things like yes. that up there. And Yes. What's up, Anthony? How are you? You know, like, like, but you sign a waiver and then you know, but they're not going to go and all that waiver is so they can touch you. That's all it is. Ooh. Yes, you stop. Wait, you live, you live near, wait, you live where? Wait, yeah, so we have a couple things to unpack here. So I have bad experience of Halloween haunts and scare actors, but I'm trying to enjoy Halloween and haunts. Did you, like, punch someone or something? Or are you, like, one of those guys <laughs> yeah, that, that flinch? Because I know that happens a lot in uh, HHN. You know, those people who are flinching and kind of, like, punch or... It uh, happened to and, me many times when I was working at the haunted house. I gotta imagine that's fun to do, man. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I wouldn't be going near that house. Yeah, we know, Darrell. 
You want like I mean, it's a I've small been, little house. I've been out to Actually, I won't. I won't do the Long small Island house. to the Avenueville house many times. Me too. And, yeah. Me too. So and, I, and I was telling <laughs> these guys, when did I tell you guys? Did I tell you guys? Like I in Staten Island I used to go to like abandoned mental like hospitals. Oh, the the one yeah, right over yeah. the bridge. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. A lot of them in Jersey. A lot, a lot of them in Jersey. Guys. Yep. It explains a lot. What's up, Anthony? Yeah, I'm old, man. Jaquita said, I used to live in the next neighborhood to the house of the exorcist. Shit, nice. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That is cool. But I remember driving by the Amityville Horror House a lot of times. Do you guys know that, Benito and uh, Darrell? The story of Amityville? Yes. I Very know nice. about the story of Amityville, but I've I, been there. I would, you know, I would Do you know the story of Amityville in space? No, okay. Let me get it. <laughs> <laughs> Jay said, I flinch a lot and just can't have someone up in my personal bowl. Okay. But it's that crazy stuff. Okay. That makes sense. I'm, I'm a yeah. hard guy to scare as I get older. My horror movies need to be more disturbing than, like, jump out and scare you. Yeah. <clears throat> but I love I love horror. Like I all mean, let me give you an example. Like, Jess and I, we would fall asleep to watching The Exorcist, like, for right. a while. Like, okay, cool. Right. Whatever. I mean, the you movie respect where it. she turns her head around and she spits out the green peas. Yeah. Yes, that's I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> we put it on to go to sleep. I mean, yeah, okay, cool. You know Whatever. what? A movie that always gets me in the chills is Misery. You like Misery? I love Misery. Oof. That's a great okay. horror movie. Ryan, you should be very afraid, especially the okay. hobbling part of Misery. Ah, oh, there's nothing yeah, more. Do you story. have your um your hammer ready? Listen, I'm gonna ask Mike. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask Danny one more question. If he's into this, then I know it's meant to be. Oh shit! <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. <clears throat> I have a question to ask you, Danny, and this is off topic, but are you into Twin Peaks at all? Yes. 100%. Oh shit. Okay, Twin Peaks. Wait, is like... what Twin Peaks? The restaurant? No, Twin Peaks no. is no. A we're not. Oh my god. Oh. It's okay, hold on. I'm using my. Of course, he would bring it to Twin Peaks, the restaurant. Yeah. Now, I mean, like their wings. Their wings are good. They're better than Hooters. They are. Jaquita, you're my number one fan. I love you. I'm your number one fan. Are their wings better or something else better? Misery is that rare movie I will rewatch and get the same feels. Like, I get very nervous watching it. No, I I like the movie Misery. Yeah. I think the movie Misery is funny, especially cool. when she took that hammer and she um, broke his legs. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Wait, what? I thought, it, I thought it was hilarious. I mean, it's not it's not a horror movie. It's more like right, right, but it's a disturbing. Mind, a mind fuck, you know. It is. It is, and it's like it, it builds up that tension, and I love that. That affects yeah. me more than like, and, and you know, I love my like everyday slashers, and that's cool and all, but that's cool. But, I mean, look, oh. there's like. What? Danny, I wanted to mention you've been to MegaCon. You had your video on MegaCon. Yeah. At the end of MegaCon, you said you don't foresee oh, yourself going. Epic. Hold on, you don't foresee yourself going back to MegaCon. Why? <sighs> Look, I mean, MegaCon was good. Yeah. But I think I've hit a point in life where I think I'm just done with cons. Like, it's not. It wasn't necessarily MegaCon. It was more so like me and like. Why am I putting myself through this shit? You know okay. what I mean? It's like, it's like it comes to a point where it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I would do Megacon. I think maybe something like Spooky Empire I would I would do or something. But Megacon was just, it was just a little overwhelming for me. And it was just like, yes, I'm I trying to see Castle Rock. Stand there and and look at things and you know it's just it's just so much stuff at these comic conventions that never changes and stuff like that. Maybe not. not I don't think I would say I won't go back necessarily, but mm-hmm. I think it needs like a good couple, few or longer years before I, you know, decide that. Yeah. Maybe some new things need to come out in in the in the geeky nerdy world and. Stuff like that, so okay, yeah, maybe just taking a break from it. I used to love yeah. going on the East Coast, the Chiller Theater, and like, yeah. and I used to go back in the day with my older brothers to like Star Trek cons. Eventually, mm-hmm. the kind of melt like, all melded together because a lot of the cons would have a mixture of each, like comic books, horror, the, right. even re- even wrestling, you know, right. WWF, and like 
Well, this uh, one, the old MegaCon had wrestlers there too. TN, uh, TNT wrestlers and TNA, like you name it, they were there too. And right. It was just like, see, you understand what I'm saying? It's like everything just kind of melted into one, and it's like yeah. you go to one convention, and all the vendors are they just follow each other around the the, the country, and that's all it is. It's the same loop of, of vendors at all these conventions. So. I all right, Jay. I'm more I I into get. like the theme parks and stuff right now, so like you know maybe IAPA would is definitely going to be one that I'll be looking into trying to get into you know coming up like you know like I think I would enjoy IAPA as a convention more than I would a Comic Con right now. Right, IAPA or... IAPA is what the theme park like yeah. really how cool yeah. I, I originally saw that on Tim Tracker channel, yeah. and I I was actually gifted tickets to go last year. Um, Were you really? And, yes, and I, I, you know, I couldn't just go, but next year I'm dying to go. Like I love. Yeah, that. I am too. I am too. How are you gifted tickets for that? That's crazy. Um, uh, it's, you know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. Actually, I just know somebody. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So next time, yeah, yeah I, 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 can, I, I, I need to, I need to find a connection for that one too. Because <laughs> oh, okay, those... so then I have that connection. Let's go. All right, cool. Cool. I want to go. No, it's okay. Year, you just but... shaded my ass. Fuck you. I didn't. No. Shade you. Actually, that's a thing. When you know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody, that's a thing. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. But I forgot. You're not seasoned enough yet. Is that no, you? He's, like, he doesn't need to be seasoned. He's <laughs> marinated. It's all right. This is a Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> marinated, vacuum sealed. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. He's just calling me out for being Caucasian, like he always does weekly. <laughs> okay, he thinks I like marinate everything with salt and pepper. I expand. We my use horizon. a dobo too, all right? Right. I, I season my chef Boyardee. <laughs> Bitch. Thank you. I season my popcorn. <laughs> right. Fuck you and your seasoning. But uh. <laughs> I really do. I got seasoned salt for popcorn. I mean, really, I'm good. I knew this was gonna be a chaotic stream. I knew it was gonna be a long stream, but I'm what the I'm fuck's here wrong for it. seasoned popcorn. Well, ask Darrell. The fuck's wrong? With it? No, you're the one that said it. What the fuck's wrong with seasoned popcorn, huh? Oh me? No, nothing. Yeah. I, love I love things seasoned. Darrell's face right now is just like he's like, "Why are we talking about seasoned popcorn?" That's his face all the time. <laughs> no, uh, that's my face all the time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, but um, yeah, just to give a little backstory, Danny. Like we met like physically in person during the holiday season, and we just okay. kicked it off at Disney Springs. We we just... Yeah, we, didn't we? Disney Springs. Oh, all three of us. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah we did. It was during uh, One, Thanksgiving two. week. There's actually four of us. Yes. Once you yeah, meet me, or with me, me or Je me and Jess, or you know, or me alone, it's it, your guys are in trouble. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so, DC and Michelle did make a comment about misery. Um, that there was a backstory, there was, yeah, and I Castle do remember Rock. that. I haven't That's watched right. it, I should. I also should watch uh, like Bates Motel. There's so much horror, like even the TV, I need to catch up on. There's um, just so much horror out there, it's just hard to watch, catch up on it. Oh, so, uh, by the way, HHN houses, we know, like, um, what do we know? What the just hell? The one. No, we know. Whoa. We know. Whoa. Oh my Whoa. god. Whoa. We know. <laughs> Did you see the head roll? We yes. got the whole head roll. He went all <laughs> out on us. The head roll and everything. The New York head we roll. Know. <laughs> we know that the first My thing boys. Is right? Legends collide. I think this is gonna be cool. I think these guys need more representation besides they Monsters do. Cafe in the parks. They should be walking around scaring the shit out of people. You know, I think. Did you see in my video they were actually out? They had. Yes. Um, yes. We need I to mean, talk about that Frankenstein. If you've seen that video, oh, he looks like what Frankenstein he would like, looking man. like he's from a fucking rock band and shit. Yeah, like grunge like a band. 90s, yeah. Like a 90s grunge band. Yeah. I was right. like, what I, is I'm thinking Vidal Sassoon commercial with the fucking long <laughs> hair. He looked like Wolf fucking Super Fabio. Hair, like, what the fuck? fuck? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that 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 was weird to me. <laughs> that was like weird Fabio. to me. Like all I needed him to do was like take his hair, go yes. No, no, I don't need that. I want Frankenstein. To get the shit. Out yep. of me. And, and he like, looked depressed. Like the bride was like, hi, ah, you know, she was uh, like reaching out to my camera. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, what's up? 
Right. And he was he was you like know, very okay. emo. <laughs> yeah, he was using a filter on Instagram. <laughs> like woe is me. Oh, but when I visited the parks the in store. nineteen <laughs> when I went in nineteen eighty nine what was it, nineteen ninety? Universal, they had the Flintstones out, the Blues Brothers. They had yep. Frankenstein, like scaring the yep. shit out of people, like legit oh, yeah. Frankenstein. I think they should bring that back to the parks to so eventually. All, all we have, right? We don't even have much right now, honestly. No. Like shit. I mean, you got Shrek, you got Donkey, um, you got okay. you got um, Beetlejuice. Um, <laughs> you have. Uh, Homer, Marge, you have the whole, like, all the Simpsons people. Yeah. Right now. Um, you don't even have any minions running around there right now. But I think, more importantly, they should have the Universal Classic Monsters to lay the groundwork. I think so, too. They do in Hollywood. Epic, Why don't for, we have them here? Right. And, like, get in these youngins' mind about, like, okay, this is coming to Epic, oh, potentially. Yeah, but they know it. The monsters go generation to generation. People know the monsters, okay? I don't you know. put Frankenstein out there, a, a kid's going to know that that's Frankenstein, okay? It don't matter. I hope so. I hope so. I know who Frankenstein is and the mummy. Yeah. What about the creature? The creature from what? What creature? The Black the creature Lagoon, you fool. From Central Florida, from Ocala. <laughs> I think that was before my time. Uh, well, they all were, honestly. Yeah, they all were. Frankenstein was definitely well before the time. Frankenstein was the original. He's OG. Frankenstein was always a reference in something cartoons like Scooby Doo and something else. Well, here we always go. Back a reference. To Scooby Doo. Here we go. Just saying. Yeah, so was, so was, it was always a reference. Creature right there. Yeah, Dracula. Yeah. That's the creature. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's not. Well, you call him Dracula. Darrell's on the press. He's like, okay. Whatever. Where'd you get that photo from? Uh, just stream. What is it? Uh, Can- Canva. Canva. It's in Canva. You stole it. Oh, Canva. Okay. You made it. Okay. I, I somebody stole else. it. I made it. Okay. I spent five fucking minutes making that slide. Respected, okay. Darrell. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> but how did the announcement? How did the announcement of saying goodbye to Monsters Cafe get you? Was it out of the blue? Do you um? Have, did you have like um did you visit it a lot prior i did i did if you looked at we're watching the video is like jess and i had the table and that we used to sit at in there i also wanted to say are you uh is it um because i looked at some of your videos i was watching the water park videos last night um i That's see this from... i see yeah i was just like doing a deep dive but i see yeah. Dis- i see disney on there but not so much is it so much that is it like an annual pass thing or is it just it is. like Oh, okay. No, okay. it's an annual pass thing. That's all it is for me. It's just an annual pass thing. Like, if somebody came up to me and said, "Hey, I, I'm a Disney employee. I had two passes for Disney. You go, you know, you can use whenever. I'll go. I'll right. go. I have no problem with with Disney at all. It's just just an annual pass thing right now. Where, I mean, you can see right now. It's like you know, I'm off on the weekend. It's like, well, I'm work. I work on the weekday. It's like, the, right. and then when I'm off, GS is working. So it's like. We have, well, I mean, we do have days that we do overlap, but there's more, the overlapping days that we're off are more on, you know, the weekends, right, that we can do. So the weekday pass is is good, but it's not good, you know? Like, she's off the rest of the week. She can go to Disney, but I'm at work, you know? Right, right. So it's one of those things, you know? But when push comes to show, though, Universal is your, your thing? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. not even anything pers. It's well, I mean, I, I I guess it is personal, but it's more. Universal is more about the movies. To right. us, like we're movie people. Like you, you know that. Like we're movie people. Like you know, like you look at the openings of our streams and stuff. Like last night, I'm pulling in the the the, the remix to Jurassic Park. You know, and like we're just movie people. I like, need to. I can't wait to watch. I need to watch that movie. Which what? one? Jurassic Park, the new one. It's not out yet. It comes out on the table. I know. I know. But I'm but saying, you I just said you need it. to watch it. Did you watch the no. past two? I watched all of them. Oh, okay. I'm sure. Yeah, Jurassic Park is pretty damn awesome, man. Like, I, I enjoy I Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. Love but it. But I said I need to watch it. I'm not going to the movie yeah. theater to watch it. You know? I'm, I'm... Oh, I ain't either. Don't worry, bro. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> well, Don't worry. actually, I did find a movie theater over here in Orlando that actually has $9 movies. Whoa. Oh, 
That's but you fun. go in, but you go in there, and it's um nothing but. Uh, <laughs> it's one of these movie theaters where they actually serve food and everything. But yeah. there's tables and office chairs. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dude, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I, I like where it nowadays where you can, like, I will go see Jurassic Park in the theater. I have to. I but think I, I will too, maybe. Honestly. And Halloween ends coming out in October. I have to. I I, have I'm to over see. the Halloween movies because oh, I are just you? feel like, yes, I am. I just feel like they should have just left it alone. Okay. Because how many times she got to try to kill Michael? Okay, and how many times and can dinos- I and dinosaurs escape the fucking park? But you're going to go see it. <laughs> listen, Wait, I'm listen. Not going to see Let, it at the movie theaters. Oh, this God, one, this, house. this one coming out. I have a, I, I have a feeling it's more of a redo to the last one when they got into the city. Oh yeah. Because oh, last time, the last time that we had dinosaurs escape Jurassic Park and into the city was just a bad movie. Oh, Lost yeah. World. <laughs> yeah, that was terrible. It was. I'm hoping they do it with a little bit more. Obviously, you have to suspend your imagination, but I hope it's a little bit more realistic. But let's right. see. You have that. But at least we're bra- I think like this is a good setup to close the whole series out with having mm-hmm. all, you know, six cast members in the one movie. Right. And then when they reboot it in ten years, Who- Who- Whoopi Goldberg, it'll be great. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. No, but seriously, she's, well, it's it's not going to be the end. But that lady is like freaking animatronic as it is. I swear to God, Whoopi. I'm still waiting on Sister Act three. But <laughs> yeah, I think it would be cool. I mean, um, and um, uh, Halloween oh, Horror Night houses. So Benito, this is going to be the first year in Horror Horror Nights. Uh, I know Darrell, you're a little scaredy. Don't be there. there. Actually, I'm not scared because I went last year and the year before that. Well, not the year before that. The year did before any, COVID. So did you go through the houses Calm Clown collected, or did anything scare you? They don't scare me. Whatever. Um, I'm so scared any, of them. <laughs> no, it's not even that because I even remember <laughs> when when I went in the one with Michael Myers. Yeah, this was some. This maybe this was twenty nineteen. Right, with Michael Myers. Yeah, Michael Myers kept trying to threaten me though that he was gonna get me. I, well, I will like, say hey, this. What's up? <laughs> I love that they had Michael Myers. It was, Come I think at me, it was, bro. Right, exactly. What's up? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Halloween four. They got it down. It was kind of. I wasn't afraid by it or scared or by anything, but it was kind of cool to see. You know, there are some houses where it's like, okay, this is like, it's not scary, but it's cool to see the way they set it up. You know, I will say this with Universal Orlando, I don't like how they do their Halloween Horror Nights because you can see what's about to happen. Yeah, like, well, in front of you. that's when you get me as a person, I try to slow it down. You know, yeah, I do too, but then they keep pushing you forward. But here's the thing is with the amount of people that they have going through those haunted houses each year. Yeah. It's hard to not have a basically right. a cattle line coming through. California can get away with it a little more because their parks are more, you know, annual pass holders. It's like Disneyland out there. It's mm-hmm. not like over here in Orlando where there's actual tourists coming in constantly. Right. Have so, you been? No, I haven't been out there. Me neither. I have no desire to go out there because, really? of the, you know, it's just, it's smaller, man. It's just way too small for me. I heard scenic got... wise, obviously it's on a mountain, so it's kind of like cooler looking, but I heard it's ours cool is just cause better. you got the back lot and all that, but yes. I mean, I want to go on that, but that's not enough for me to go out there though. No, I know. I know, but I need to, <laughs> by the way, I just wanted to show you, we usually do pin of the week. Uh, in our stream, I don't pin up of the week. What pin? pin. Yeah, pin up. Pin up. Pin up. Is, yeah. Oh, you can't see it. Fuck me. I gotta put all this shit. I love this pin. This is from actually. <laughs> this is from the hard <laughs> when I stayed at the Hard Rock Hotel. Uh huh. Like I just loved it. I love this pin, man. That's cool. It's That's just great. Awesome pin. Now you don't go like pin trading at Universal like you do at a uh, Disney. You can with though. The, you can, yeah, but it's not as like prevalent. And this is one of my other ones. I stayed, I stayed here for my birthday, and I swear by this resort, the Endless Summer Resort. Endless summer. Mm. Have you stayed, anyone? No. 
Oh my god! Like I, I, I've been to all the resorts, bro. I'm only like, ten minutes away from the from from the park. I don't need to stay at the resorts. <laughs> no, I get that. Same here, but I did a first vacation for my birthday, just for like two days. I can't That's even crazy. with my yeah. even with my annual my with my my um, team member discounts and all that. I can't yeah. justify staying there. That's how close I am. Really, I I, I, I stayed I, in um, Royal Pacific and what's the other the Banana Bay. I stayed yeah. in those yeah. two. Oh, and Portofino, I stayed in there. Portofino, yeah, I, I, I enjoyed. I've been, I, I've been doing videos on all these resorts too. Like we've been going to visit and like staying, eating at one of the restaurants at the resorts, and then doing yes. walk around video of the other property and stuff. So now I will say I like the transportation, the boats. I like all that shit. But I, I did like endless, endless resort, uh, Surfside. Dockside is more family friendly. Surfside was more quiet, so I like that. But uh, yeah, all the results are cool. I, I I like the boats better than Disney, like the ones that come from uh, City Walk. I think. Now, I just want you all in chat to know if you actually plan on going to visit these resorts, if you're not going to eat at the resorts, do not drive your car to the resorts because they're going to charge you forty five dollars just to park there. Um, Shit. If you're going to want to visit the resorts, take one of the City Walk uh, transportations yes. over. Now I, I do that actually to go and to if Puerto. You want free parking? Go after six. At City Walk, not the resorts. The City Walk. If you're right. going to the resorts to eat, then you can get your parking validated at the resorts. <laughs> if you eat at one of the uh, at one of the restaurants. What? Um, oh, that's yeah. a good tip. It is. That is a very good tip. I didn't know that. Because I like yeah. to take the boat to Portofino, and Portofino is like, um, I stayed at Portofino. I liked it. But even just visiting for a drink on the promenade or whatever you want to kind of call it, it's pretty yeah. cool. It's yeah. not crazy crowded or anything. And I think it's cool, especially around Christmas time. I loved it. Um, didn't, they, I, uh, didn't they dress it all up for Christmas over there too at Portofino? They did. And last year I actually caught um, on a video short, like they were doing the opera from the balcony. Yeah. I love that. Really cool. Nice touch. I'm trying to get all my videos before the holidays and stuff roll in from the, the resorts, and I want to go back and do <coughs> holiday videos from there too. So when you generally edit your vlog, like how long does it take? Is it like tedious? Long? No, it's not, not that long. Tedious. No. What do you use? I, uh, what am I using right now? I'm using a uh, video pad. Video pad. Okay. So do you I use can... a? Do you use your phone or do you use an actual camera? No, I'm on. I'm. Using an actual camera. Hold on. Let me. Okay. That's cool. Hold on a second. See, things are, these are some of the things that I need to know. Because I need to get back into, well. Let me do this. Yeah, back into vlogging. So, that's the camera I'm using. Okay. Right, right there. Oh, okay. Very cool. The uh, this is Sony Handycam. The only reason I swap cameras over because it's actually the one I'm using for this as well. I like that because um, you have the viewfinder in it. Yeah, um, yeah, and it rotates. So here, you were asking about what I'm using for editing. This is what I'm using. Yeah, I'm being all nosy. No, uh, you're good. <laughs> you're good. I don't mind letting people know what I'm using. That screen right there will show you what I'm using right there so basically just import the videos drop them in they all go down here is this is free? free this is a paid version it's um okay. one price it was it's basically the same equivalent of Adobe mm. but user friendly it's so much uh friendlier so I can go in here let's just say this one with donkey I can drop it in there donkey. close that it's just one clip for right now, but just so you have an idea of what it does, I can drop it down here. I can do whatever I want now. Once it decides to load everything, that's the only problem. It's just, it, it's not even a problem. It takes a little time to load and mm -hmm. well, there it goes. So now I can just, you know, split it. You see how quick I'm doing it. So then I can yeah, go yeah. here. And put a fade in there you know whatever whatever you want to do that's usually what we do right there like that and then it'll put the fade in i know what to do bro all right guys you know things like that <laughs> and then 
I'm That's glad cool. Donkey cool. knows what to do. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> um, okay. I can go Ooh. add text, you know, and just whatever. And then I could put it wherever. I can make it as long as I want, wherever. And then I can put, uh, you know, effects into the video and, you know, things like that. So. <clears throat> That's cool, basically, that's cool. you see how quick I'm doing all that, and that's how quick I get things done on this program. Like, that's cool. It doesn't take long to render or anything at all either. So, that's awesome. Yeah, so that's why what? I say whenever I film something, I can get it up by the next morning. I forgot to add this. I have one last thing uh, before I guess we end it. Did you guys hear about this? This is along the rumored. Yeah, I'm gonna hold my breath on this one and see what happens. Uh oh, no, I can't no, no. Uh -oh. I'm it's just it, it's just I don't know. Like, it, there's just a lot of things talked about City Walk and. Yes. <clears throat> do you like City Walk? Oh, I love City Walk. How do you I compare it to like Disney Springs? I really wish it was more like Disney Springs. I wish really? there was more to do in City Walk. Mm. Um, like. The restaurants are amazing at City Walk. I love the restaurants there. I, like we, we love Cowfish. We love actually one of my go-to spots at City Walk is Margaritaville. Oh, okay, one hundred percent. Never been. Um, I gotta try it. Margaritaville is it's like every other Margaritaville, but it's just right there. I mean, I'm only ten minutes away from the park and the whole area, so for me to go to Margaritaville, it's it's just convenient. You know, right. go there, get your margaritas, and you're not that far away from home. You know. So, right, I like the grill. I like an MCU grill. I like that. I haven't yeah, ate, ate there because I haven't ate there at all. Um, it's just I don't know. I'm not a sports person. I don't want to be surrounded by a sports crowd. Me neither. Uh, hey, we, when we ate there, we were some, surrounded by sports people. Some is amazing. Go to Tootsum. Yes. Yeah, MBC grill. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when we went upstairs? We ate. Yeah. Man, that that was was, yeah I had a good time there. That pretzel yeah. was huge. <laughs> was it? Right. Besides me. It also, it also reminds me of, you know, like Jess's job. So I can go to Miller's probably for cheaper and eat the same stuff that NBC Grill has, you know? Yeah. I mean, besides being surrounded by Darrell and Benny, I had a good time at NBC Grill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I love that it. was my first time at Universal. But I, I wish that um they would have more shops and things around um City Walk. Yeah, that would be cool. But I, I still, I you know what? In, did you experience the the holidays when they had the little holiday markets out there? Yeah, of course I have. So cool! Like I, I loved it. Yeah, I just, I just love the vibe there. Yeah, and Disney Disney Springs had a lot of shit going on too for the holidays. I just around the holidays, my favorite time. Uh, Halloween, Halloween to like the holidays. I love it. They don't we do much for Halloween out there. It's because no. they no. do sell the merch out there, but a Halloween, you know what it is? It's more of an overflow. It's it's that decompression stage after you leave HHN. They want they don't want you to be so much hyped up seeing things leaving there or going in because you're going. Your people are crazy enough, you know. So they need that. They need that decompression normalcy oh, yeah. coming out. So yeah. Oh. Well. This is our longer stream, guys. Really? It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't have a three hours. Like past, through us. <laughs> past Benny's I've uh, gone, bedtime. I've gone six to eight hours on a stream before I don't, on a weekly basis. Home stream or like? Me me, and uh, another dude. We, uh, Tony from Phantasmic Chronicles. We used to oh, go yes. every, every Wednesday. Right. On, yeah, every Wednesday. It used to turn into about an eight-hour stream. And we, it was just basically, we called it the world of randomness. And basically all it was, it was just he and I, like, we didn't have any discussion on anything right. going into the stream. We knew nothing. We, we didn't bring any topics or anything. And right. we just were going with it off the, off the cusp. Like, whatever we want, whatever we thought of at the moment is what we did. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I, like I would that. love to bring that back, though. Bring it back. I need people to do it with, though. Well, it's not fun to do it with yourself. Well, well, I mean, there's a lot of things. <laughs> Never mind. What was that? What was that thing you That's said? That's a different story. You DC said something. Just made a comment, um, Brian. Who? DC. DC oh, okay, Michelle. hold on. What, uh, what? What story are we talking here? 
DC and Michelle do fine. Folks, glad to find. Yeah, DC. It's been a while, you know. And sure, I, no I just, problem. We'll, we'll definitely hit you up um, when we get a chance. Definitely, for sure, sure. Not yeah. Lugo. We don't care about Lugo. Oh, thank you, thank you <laughs> so much, Brian. I love you too. That freaking hurts. <laughs> How's that hurt? No, it's expected from him. So, but uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, 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 well. You have three people here that will join your random streams. I'm gonna for it. We would, we wouldn't do it. Uh, you know, freaking eight to six hours. But I'm thinking maybe one day during yeah. the week we can. Uh, we can get something together. That'd be cool. Let's yeah. get a couple. Yeah. Uh, let's like get, on a Tuesday or something. Let's get this Tony together. Let's get some and Mike I'm and off Steph. On Tuesday. <laughs> You're off on Who's Tuesday? Tony? Yes. Tony Who's is Tony? a friend of uh, Danny's that he used to stream with. Uh, yeah. he, Tony's, Tony's oh, busy okay. doing stuff. Tony, Fantasmic Chronicle, on. brother. You know yes. Fantasmic Chronicle. He does I subscribe. I subbed sub last night. To, to, to Gaston's channel. Yes, it that's... Is. That's Benito Lugo. That's Benny Lugo. You can't tell from the sunglasses, but that's him. I mean, it's like, you know, not many people know my face. <laughs> you can't tell from the sunglasses and the mischievous mischievous uh, mustache, but that's him. So here's a question. Outside of uh, theme park stuff, what are you guys watching on YouTube right now? Oh. Oh, I watch I Porno. Oh. Video game. Um, I'm a huge video game nerd. Like what, what, what kind of video game stuff are you watching? Uh, first person shooters, okay. uh, sports games, story driven games. I I have friends on Twitch who are partner streamers okay. on Twitch, and so and I'm gonna say right now them. my go to my go to other than theme park stuff is actually the bestiality um, RPG. Oh. Yeah, bestiality too. You know, whatever. <laughs> um, is the RPG uh, the role playing of uh, Grand Theft Auto? Right? Oh, that's yeah, cool. My, is, is my, my friend is actually a. Uh, a really big streamer on no pixel. Oh yeah, oh, I yes. gotta check it out. That's cool. <laughs> well, I guess yeah. that leaves me and Rel out. <laughs> no, they said bestiality, so you're in there. I watch well, RP living <laughs> and um, small house living. What'd you say? DC, living it's all good, DC. <laughs> Health? You said small house living, like small house living. Oh, yeah. I watched that's awesome. Living. They change yeah. everything about their life and they live in yep. a band or that's what it's got. The uh, fan life videos also are really catchy yes. too. I get yeah. sucked in with those. Yeah. You know what I've been watching lately? It, 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 it's gonna seem weird. Golden people Girl? do food challenges. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? I just uh, watching people stuff their face with food is so funny. Like <laughs> have you watched the lady with muck the crab banging. legs with the long nails? Oh god, the mukbanger no. one. <laughs> yeah, oh. dude. I gotta like for that. <laughs> I watch Obviously. Van, like camping and van life videos. Yeah. I also watch. Um, I know it sounds weird, but first person point of view of like different subway systems around the country, like Chicago, New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's relaxing, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah, I, I do it watch is. stuff like that. I watch where someone took a train from Florida all the way to California yeah. and what they yeah. did and how they. Okay. I love those. Stuff like that. It's fun. <laughs> It kind of, like little yeah. things outside, like say those videos outside of the box like that, give yeah. me better ideas on what to do here. You know, yes. like it, it might, yes. like it's, you know, like it's, it's, it's bringing other things like how to how, like, what are they doing? Why are they getting all these views and sucking out from their points of views and bringing it into what you're doing too. Glad so. you brought this up. There's a guy called action kid. He does, uh, just live streams from walking in different cities. Okay. New York, blah blah blah. Four thousand people in his streams. Is that that okay. one that it is actually? Is he the one that did the the blizzard in New York that one time? I'm just sure. Walking? I, I am I sure. He he did. I think that's who he's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Action kid. Okay. Man. Holy fucking shit! First of all, the super chats he gets, the fault, like yep. the people live, and and he's yep. just walking around, and he yep. he is he is conversing and talking, but Jesus Christ! I I take um, I take uh, what do you call it? Like uh, like. I take energy from him, like like yeah. shit. If you could, it, it's simple in its concept, but there's a lot to, that goes into it. Exactly, you know it's, it's basically do? a spot that nobody else is going to be in yes. and experiencing it at that time. You know, see live streams and like in that aspect, I agree with because if I'm going to like just walk around New York City, I can just go and put the phone like on a clip on me and just just walk, you know, and, yeah. and not worry about anything and just bring people along. Like like they're the ones walking along the city, and that's awesome. I like that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I want to do? I want to do a cross country trip, but I want 
the camera to come along with me and people to see what I'm actually going through. So you want a camera a cameraman with you? I mean, you don't. Yeah, I don't want to carry the camera. I volunteer, Benito. No. Nope. Can you imagine the four of us nope. getting a show like that? That would be great. Good. Like the Travel Channel and Discovery Channel, and just give. Hey, you four right there, come with us. <laughs> I do watch a lot of uh, like RV videos too, and like camping and yeah. camping, camping and like snowstorms and thunderstorms. Well, I'm not, I'm not going that. camping. I, I wouldn't watch. <sighs> not my yeah, you might sink. Damn. <laughs> no, they, me and nature don't agree. You know what I watch a lot too is um, geocaching you videos. Agree. What's that? Geocaching. Now, what is that? Uh, Jess and I used to do it up in Georgia a lot. We have videos of it on our thing, but it's basically okay. scavenger hunting in the woods uh, and stuff like that. Like it doesn't really? have to be the woods. It could be it could be within the city and stuff like that too, Jarrell. Don't worry. Don't you don't it like so? There's an app you can do download couponing. on your phone. I could do couponing. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you could. I got a story about couponing. couponing. I got a story listen, about couponing. I'll get to after this. I've learned a lot of tricks from these people that that go. I got a st- listen, listen, listen. I have a story about couponing. I'll get to. Trust me. I want to hear that. So, um, the the geocaching is you got a, you got an app that you go and like. There's different spots and wall that people would hide things in, like these caches. Some of them are just logs. You just log in that you were there, or some of them are actually like things inside, like little little trinkets that you go and find and stuff. Every like places and stuff. It's 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 really cool. Hmm. It's just a way to get out and about. That's all. Right, right. But the couponing. When we moved here, oh my god, Jess used to collect all the coupons. Like every any coupon that she used to find, she used to put in this one binder. She had a whole like sleeve and like sleeves in this binder. And we found this binder when we moved here. Oh my God! We we're like, "What the hell were you thinking?" <laughs> like there was there was coupons in there for things that we don't. Have. Oh my God, bro! Oh, wow, yeah, I bet Publix loves you. <laughs> you like that? You like that old lady at the checkout, man? Well, I mean, I've watched those shows where they've used the coupons, and they're like, oh, sometimes the company owes them back. Yeah, yeah. that's and, right. And, that's what I'm trying to get to that point. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to get. To. I know the loopholes to this. <laughs> so that geo, that what's it called? Geo tracking. Geo caching. Geo caching. Geo caching. Is that sort of like a like a, a super version <laughs> of like like scavenger hunt and like just yeah? Like, but cool. you do it on your own and on your own time and you know it's it's it's. <laughs> 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 like you don't necessarily you don't need to go into the woods to do it there's inner like you can go into downtown Orlando, Orlando here and actually do it too like there's spots down there and what's like, going on coast to hour how what's up coast today? to hour coast to hour hello, what's up hello. brother thanks for joining us over here man appreciate it i saw some channel there too i was gonna say coast to hour is someone from your neck of the woods yeah right? yeah that's very cool we gotta give them uh a sub because I am into co- like there's the surf coaster right coming to, and mm-hmm. I know they Intamin like they started with uh, how to train your dragon in Epic Universe. So I know how to train dragons. Are you a bit? Are you a big coaster guy? <laughs> Have you ridden Velocicoaster? Who me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I he say it's one of his favorite. What's your rides? count? What's your count? <laughs> Damn, really? Oh, so is that better than Hagrid's? Is that up there on your list? I mean, you're a coaster. I'm sure. I'm sure. With the Six Flags, uh, we'll yeah, experience your coaster It's definitely guy. out there, brother. Yeah, Six Flags parks have lots of coasters. <laughs> you speaking? Well, of... yeah, they do, right? <laughs> yeah, don't they? Yeah, they do. They. Do. I remember when I was a young bloke, growing up. A and, young bloke. Uh, What's a bloke? A, 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 a bloke uh, 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 growing up in Here. Six Flags Great Adventure. Right early 1900s. Rolling Thunder and Lightning look, Loops. Look, which had the Rolling Thunder's no more. Times. I know. It's been gone for years. And uh, the Great Scream American Machine's Scream Machine. Too. That's that Shockwave. That, and Ultra Twister. So yeah. Here. All those, I got oh, something for you. Share it. Scream Machine Go. was my first looping roller coaster I ever went on. Scream Machine? Really? Mm-hmm. Did you scream like a little bit? No. You screamed like a machine. <laughs> it was fun. Then I rode it in the rain. <laughs> oh, the God. <laughs> I rode that thing during HHN one year, and it was so cold. 99 cross. It hurt. Do you, do you guys know that guy? I, I, have, Park- um, I want to say I have about 176 credits. 
I have two, two and a half. Okay. <laughs> I've ridden fucking Slinky Dog twice. <laughs> that doesn't count. What do you mean that doesn't count? Also, that doesn't I don't count. keep track of one. I don't keep track of my credits. Hold a second. Uh, so, Coaster, are you in that? Are you in like a roller coaster a club? Credit. That kind of does that, or are you just doing your own thing? Here, I got I the video to share with you. Okay, where is it? Sounds it's right there on my computer. Oh! oh. This sounds, sounds serious. serious. It's SeaWorld, of course it's serious. He's in the fish. Is Sea World the capital coaster? Coaster capital. In Orlando, oh, yeah. I didn't know that. In Orlando, shit. yes, it is. Slept yep. on that. Damn. It's gonna be. They have six right now. That's gonna be the seventh one, bro. It's Sea World in Bush Gardens. They are. They're. They're picking their game up. Okay, so um, I saw the preview. You just what is so special about this coaster? It's a stand-up coaster that the oh. seats actually like air ride almost and. Mm-hmm. It's a launch stand up at the same time. Oh, okay. First to first of its Oh, so that's what you were talking about yesterday. Stand up. Yeah. Yeah. With a launch. So it's nothing like crazy new, but combined together, it's kind of new. Yeah, basically. That's cool. Basically. That's cool. Hey. Did you notice on that clip when they showed the picture of SeaWorld, it looks like Cedar Fair? A little bit, yeah. I think they made that before when they were trying to buy Cedar Fair. Okay. Because we all know that that was trying to happen, so. Oh, really? Oh, Zero was trying yeah, to buy out that all the Cedar shady. Fair parks. So basically, Knoxbury like Farms shady, and everything yeah. would have been SeaWorld. Hmm. Interesting. I felt like he threw a little shade. That was cute. I've been sleeping on SeaWorld. I need to get a pass there. Oh, dude, you are. <laughs> you're, you're freaking missing out, man. Yeah, I am, because they ha- how I know. Often, you see how often I go to SeaWorld? Yeah. Because you, you were there just for the... I guess the seasonal debut of Electric Ocean, right? Yeah, the 20. opening weekend for that. We weren't there opening night, but we were there that the next night for that. And surprisingly, night, nobody really covered that that either. Good night, DC and Michelle. Later, DC and Michelle. Mystery man is two real geeks, Danny. Thank you so much for coming by, DC and Michelle. So great to see you. I'm glad you had a great time in uh, on the West Coast, the West Side. I'm That's cool. will be hitting you guys I am up. far from a mystery man. I am open like a book. <laughs> Benito's the mystery man in this bunch. What you mean? <laughs> you look like the Unabomber man. It's <laughs> definitely. With the glass. It's the mustache. It's the glasses and the mustache. The no, shoe bomber. The or the... Oh, okay. I love it. <laughs> <He's a shoe laughs> Jaguita is still in the house. In the fake, in the fake teeth. Okay, see, I wasn't going to go there, but you went there. I already went there. I was opening up about that. I had to I get all my teeth removed. Yeah. I know. Well, you have fake teeth. I have fake breasts. So you know, it, it even out. The, um, when he mentioned the the dinner thing, I was gonna say, "What are you gonna do? Drink soup?" <laughs> oh damn! That's shade. He wants to kill you. No, nah, we're gonna go on a boat. Oh, well, that's okay. fine. Well, you two take that's this fine. off. Take this to Instagram, okay? <laughs> take this to MySpace. <laughs> Take it to MySpace. Nobody take watches to, that shit. Right. Take it to Prodigy <laughs> and AOL. I wonder if my music will still play on my MySpace page. <laughs> I want to know if that is my music still playing. I never I had a MySpace, true. okay? I mean, you were kind of in my show, <laughs> Yeah, he was already too old for it. <laughs> Tom's not his friend. Are you talking to me? <laughs> How am I that old when this motherfucker is right behind me? I'm dragging him down with me. Lugo is like 41. We're was dragging in, each other. But he was in a generation when he was able to do my I'll tell you something. I'm not ashamed of my age. I grow old gracefully. Thank you. Fuck off. Listen, man, I'll be 39 this year, so I'm, you know. 39? Know. You don't have to brag. Yeah, you don't have to brag. 39? Fuck off with your 30s. Jesus. Shit. I'm be 44 in August. I, I, I literally thought Jess she was right younger there than too. 39. I mean, Darrell's 53, but you know what? We don't throw around his age. You wish. <laughs> Jesus. I was 53. What I need, we need to coordinate 
a sit down breaking of the bread no, lunch with the youngest all of us. Y'all. See, now he's I've been himself. saying that to you guys for the longest time, but you guys blow me off, so I'm like, you know, that's because you want to sit down in Panera. Okay, I want to go to Panera. <laughs> I want real food. Yeah, <laughs> so theme park food. That's real. I'm, think, food. I'm thinking ah. us four with Jess and Mike yeah. and Steph, and maybe for the love of Disney. Oh, and of course. Florida. I should be able to eat some food know them, know them Danny <laughs> Don't know even. Danny. No. 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 <laughs> I meant Danny, I said Florida Park lovers. Florida love Thank of Disney. Definitely go and check Good it night, out. Good night, everybody. Cool. Good night, Danny. <laughs> Good night, Danny. <laughs> he's leaving us. He's leaving us with the frogs. <laughs> Wait, what? You know, I didn't hear the Enjoy frogs the last night, but I hear them tonight. You didn't hear them last night? No, not at all. I, I missed it. What happened? <laughs> Oh, hey, what's up, Steve? Steve, right? Steve. Steve. So, Steve, what do you think about the, um, you know, YouTubers in Florida? What do you think about them? Wait, what happened? What did I Steve miss? Steve doesn't right. like them. Right. Oh, he doesn't right. like them. Steve, okay. So, you're right. on the same wavelength. Steve, you need to come hang out when we break bread at Panera. What? Yeah, I'll um, send him and not me. How about that? A bread that? bowl? A bread bowl? <laughs> Yo, Panera is just like upscale hospital food. Uh, <laughs> if, if you want to look like Steve, eat Panera. Izzy, good night. I hope you have um, a good night, great Izzy. sleep, and I hope you start your week off on a great note. I hope your week goes well. Thank you for joining us, even if you come in and say hi or if you're a ninja watching. Um, I don't know what's going on. I'm lost. What do you mean, what's going on? Obviously, Steve is in a rave. Look at him. I look at the background. Just... I can I can literally see. Whoa! Like, what? Geez. What is this? What the fuck? What is go- it's, hey. a, it's a Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, I wish DC and Michelle was here. They would love that. Ah, it's Christmas tree <laughs> with he's cross-eyed though. But I'll take it. <laughs> is that like a Muppet? That's pretty cool. I love that. No, it's not a Muppet. It's actual like. I like how Danny's point. getting offended. No, it's not a fucking Muppet. <laughs> What restaurant is that? Um, it's like a Mexican restaurant. City Walk. What is that? They're looking like superstars. They're looking like blind people. Anahitos. Yeah, I want to eat there. I never Are ate you there. talking about Rocco's Tacos? I did a review. It's awesome. Are they good? Okay. Dude. Dude. You want to get messed up? Go to Anahitos. Okay. Oh, their margaritas will get you on your ass. Mm, I'm not. Yeah. Ugh, tequila. I, Ugh. I need to be got on my ass, so I'm going to go there. <laughs> What? What? He just said it'll get you on your ass. Yeah, say that I, I, I what you just that. said. Rocco just Tacos like, is also a great place. What? I just feel like what you just said was was I don't Thank know. you, Ralph. Thank you. Thank you. I'm that's gonna, why, that's why we have disclaimers on this on this stream. It's okay. We'll have, okay. Yeah, if, you, right. if you want if you want to talk fucking Walt Disney quotes and like what Walt would like and not like, go to another channel. All right? <laughs> What, what do you mean? What? I'm just saying. Our, our our stream is like who we are. It's a hot mess. I'm not. Wait, I'm, I'm I'm lost and confused. Yeah, now yeah, yeah now I'm lost. Now. Like, what you, <laughs> you two are lost and about? confused. Maybe, maybe I don't know. I don't know. Just, well, you, you, we were talking maybe, about what you said. Maybe it's been building up in like my you heart. Didn't and understand what you just said. That's why I'm telling you guys. Look, look you know what? We oh need, we need, you know you what? need to have the Universal slash Sea World community. Yeah, and we need to be the movement of it yeah. because those parks are too much fun to not have a movement on. Like yeah. Disney I'll... has their own movement. Let them like it's established. It's it's it, you know everybody wants that. But you know what? Now with things moving over here, you got a new coaster at Sea World coming. You got the new park Epic Universe coming. There's awesomeness just happening at Universal already. Like you need to gardens. you know. Right, you know, they like just I'm not even saying Bush Gardens, just in this area right here alone. Like, even Legoland has awesome stuff going on, too. Man, fun like, spot is the spot. I don't know what y'all talking it's about. It's huge. Nice. Yeah. Sorry. Wait, what? Fun spot? <laughs> it's yeah, huge. That's, that's the place. What's you talking about? Nine Kissimmee. <laughs> I think it's no. cool. Listen, on Sundays, those food trucks, yes, they are. Uh, across the street? Yeah. Listen, that's all fun spots to me. That's not. That's no. that's actually Old Town, also connected to Fun Spot. So <laughs> yeah. thank you. whatever. No, I'm talking oh, about. He's talking about across the highway. 
across the road yeah. from yeah from on 192 there. right there that yeah. yeah yeah oh we need to we go and do a vlog over there real good food that food yeah. over there is like it's, it's food like a bunch that of Spanish, food my mom Spanish used trucks. to make yes. yeah yes, yes coaster hour a lot of people are getting fed up with this that's why if we're starting the movement on, on the universal again, movement I'll, here I promise you, if they hike their prices up again, I'm not getting that another annual pass. I'm just going to go yes, to the will. spot. It's you! Uh, <laughs> Listen, I'm against Lightning Lane, but I will do it. Uh, I will do it to get on that fucking <laughs> Look, ride. Here's the thing. Even with, like, you know, the Express Pass here at Universal, I won't do it. <laughs> Anyways, it, um, like Express Pass and stuff. I don't. I won't do it here at Universal. Like right. even even I, if I go to I do, like Disney, I, do I don't. Passes. See, listen. I have I have an annual pass where. Yep. At the five p.m. It's Express. That's when I go. Is okay. that pass really worth it for you though? Yeah. I don't have to Why? What the after four like express? No, yeah, I'm just saying a joke. Cause, all right, all right, yeah. With that, you get the valet parking also. Yeah, that too. But then you still got a tip for that because it's really you know realistically it's not you know free. You say no, but you're supposed to. You cheap bastard. Well. <laughs> um. Ah. But is it is it really worth it though? Because you're getting the same discount as everybody else. I mean, I don't really care about the discount part. I just want to be able to skip the line. I don't want to. Okay, like I, I'm, I'm not bashing it. I'm just asking because I know a lot of people get it just for that, and then you also get the one free HHN ticket too. Yeah, that too. Yeah. So is the Express Pass at the four? Is it like legit, really, really, really shorter line or no? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, done and done. There we go. And, and with Universal, it's a continuous thing. It's not like Disney. Oh, we only gonna sell right ten, and that's it. Universal. Right. It's... Well, do you think Universal will get to that point? No. No. Because I think they make more money with Express passes because Express passes can range from eighty five dollars to almost. Did I tell you this bucks. honestly. Sometimes the Express lines are as just as long as the regular. Do you, do you get yeah, that? For, you get that for HSN Express Pass. To the yes. No, yeah. you don't, you, not with his pass, but he has to buy it. Yeah, I will buy it. Like I wouldn't. So, Danny, what do you do for HSN usually? What's I your just, I since I get the um, frequent fear pass, mm. I just go and stand in line, and whatever I get done in a night, I get done. Because I don't um, know of that. How there, much is that usually? Um, there's so much. What the frequent fear pass? Yeah, how much does that go for usually? Um, I know it probably like, goes what, up a 80, little. Eighty bucks or something like that. Really? Dude, it's yeah, it's not it's like expensive. as much as a ticket, I think. A regular yeah, ticket. it's not it's not much at all. It's worth it. Really? Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It just the basic <laughs> one, like that one I got last year was like eighty bucks, and I got me every day except um, Friday and Saturday, and like okay. days in October, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. cool. That's I, need yeah. I would say this. Um, I would get the Express Pass because. I yeah. probably won't go more than once, and I need to do everything at one time while I have a ticket. And that's like most people. But yeah. like you say, if, if I'm there and I'm going all the time or during that whole period, then I wouldn't get it, no. Hmm. All right, cool. I want to try it out this year. I want to pace myself and enjoy everything. That's why I'm saying, dude, if you did it, then definitely do the fear pass, and then you can really enjoy yourself, and then eat the food and stuff like if you know that you want to go multiple weekends yeah like me i'm there like every weekend like it's just where i'm i live there at that point you know so do you do anything more than that do you do vip do you do like i think they have that thing where you see all the houses with the lights on or some shit yeah no don't do it no of that no because okay. i mean look for that extra is a lot it's it's a lot it costs a lot to do that and yeah i'm not made of money like that you know no i hear you and well, like honestly, listen, all the ones we, that you see doing it, Universal basically handed all these bigger channels that opportunity just to try to promote it. That's all. Yeah, that right, is. right. But when you vlog, um, like, what does like Universal have single rider or not? Uh, I yeah, think they on do. Certain attractions. Yeah, yeah okay. they do. 
I did a whole video on single lighter rides. Okay. So I guess you didn't watch it, Rel? No, I didn't watch it. Yeah, I did. Watch. I did a video on it. Um. So when you I vlog gotta... or even live stream in Universal, do you find it hard with like the 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 copyright shit? Because that's something no. I'm afraid of. Really? No. It depends on what you're doing, Brian. It's only copyrights if you're. First of all, don't use my music. government name. <laughs> you look haggard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. Um, the only spot that I ever really run into an issue with copyright stuff yeah. is more in Harry Potter areas. Mm. But that's when I start trying to talk more over the, the music or you try okay, you know, you find corners and stuff. Like you can angle yourself in quieter corners of the park and get the shot that you want. So Okay. But that Harry Potter is usually the only area where you really come across stuff in there. It's not that much. Um, I usually tend to, you know, get multiple sh angles and shots of what I'm filming just because of the music and stuff in the background. I also tend to realize now what music in there kind of gets you the copyright. Just by, like, you can kind of hear it. Like, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, okay. I know exactly where that's from. I'm not really going to, you know, use that right. now and... And uh, you can also fight them too, and then mute them out most times too. So then again, we're also the channel where you know we make music videos on our channel with old clips of stuff that we've done. So right, I gotta get to it. I haven't really live live stream or vlogged from Universal, so that's on my agenda once I'm free from this pandemic virus. <laughs> oh, close to keep telling them to come out with me. They don't listen. Ooh. You guys. Well, I'm gonna get you sick. Once I'm done, I'm coming out. Something yeah, came that's up. That's why now. we haven't done anything well, really. You, you gotta get ready anyway because you know you got Halloween coming up. You gotta do your thing for Hagrid, and then you have Christmas coming up. You gotta do Santa. <laughs> so you know, you got a couple things you gotta do. Yo, I'm, gonna New Year's, some, no, I'm gonna put some. I'm gonna put some salt on you, slug. <laughs> yeah, y'all bringing the salt back. Oh god. Right. Yeah, I'm bringing back Who all the the frogs. Stuff. Right, what the fuck? <laughs> if you pour salt on horses, they melt. <laughs> <laughs> you pour Slug salt man. on horses, like, never mind. We're not talking about horses. So, like, off, uh, if you're up for the discussion, off theme parks, what's your favorite local shit to do? Like in Florida. Favorite local stuff to do, Jess like and e I, e even after the channel, just for hanging out, like hey, yeah. Jess cool? and I like to find like the new like restaurants and stuff. Like we yeah. we tend to go out and go to restaurants that aren't in tourist areas. Right. Okay. Why not? Yeah. Um, you know things like that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, like, I like honestly, I be honest. Most of the stuff that we do is all basically ninety percent of it is all theme park stuff because that's just what we enjoy doing. Yeah, and it kills so much time. I mean, the amount of time I put in a theme park, I think I'm in a theme park more than I'm home. Well, if I'm not mistaken, you guys did a a, a video of that place in Tampa was it? That art oh, thing. Oh, um, yeah. You guys went to um, that grilled cheese place after. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. That was a cool mm -hmm. video. Look at Benny coming nice in with that shit. Yeah, I watched that. Watched it when it came out. Wait, grilled cheese. For sure. Yeah, yeah, they, had a, a, they, they went to a grilled uh, cheese restaurant. For cheesy. Ooh. Yeah. For cheesy. Yeah, it didn't have a big picture of Biggie on the on the wall. Yep. And Tupac. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Tupac was just literally hanging over my out. shoulder. Yeah, it was awesome. No, dude, if you like, it's a dope place. I, you know, I can eat solid food soon. So yeah, I, um, we'll, like we go to Desert Land every once in a while. You know, things yes. like that. We'll, mini golf. Yeah, we've been there. <laughs> have you, um, have you guys ever did the mystery dinner? Not yet. I'm or trying to get into itself. that. Okay. I'm trying to get into the pirate one. Um, honestly, look, honestly, there's things that I would love to get into. Try to get into as media first. Right, because I'm at that point in the channel, and it's like, why not? I'm going to use it to my advantage. If I don't have to pay for a dinner, then yeah. Like, our the uh, video from Medieval Times that we did, that was all comped by Medieval Times. Really? So, so how does that? How do, I was curious. How does that work? Do they approach you, bro? You just approach them and say, "Hey, look, I got a YouTube channel. Invite really? me." Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. 
like sometimes you got to be persistent. The fuck you laughing at, Jerome? Oh boy, I can see this is going all the way down well, here. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna call up yeah. Chuck E. Cheese tomorrow, man. I was gonna say I see that already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna look so awesome doing that. I have a YouTube <laughs> channel, you. sir. I want to do the coverage of your ball pit. You're Ooh, on your yeah, own. Fuck you, Benny. Of your ball your pit? Own. That sounds personal. Thank Listen. you. <laughs> wow. I, I want to do like Shane Dawson. No, no, no. On the no, cover you're talking of about ball pits. Mm-mm. Okay, ball gags. Whatever floats your boat. Listen. Whatever floats my glass bottom boat, right? <laughs> I don't know why you always gonna come for me, Benny. Though, always. Whoa. What? Always. What I say? Everything and everything. Okay, yes. I love you. <laughs> Have you guys seen any of our music videos that we've done? To the music park videos? Yeah. Music no. videos? You got, you got, music a, you got a lot of shit. I gotta look back up. Oh, I gotta look look that up. I didn't see that. Go to our channel. Yeah, I'm on it right now. The trailer, the very first video on top of the channel there is one of the music videos we did. That's the trailer video. Hmm. You could share it on the channel. It's actually not copyrighted. Wait, the Orlando Party channel, that one? Yep. Okay, yeah, I did hear that. So you guys made that? We have other one. We didn't make the music. I put it, (laughs) the video, all all that is video clips from previous um, vlogs and stuff, and we just threw them all together. Like, if you look on, like, on there and see like our thousand subscriber video one, we put it to uh, "Don't Stop Me Now" from Queen and you know things like that. So, cool. Jaquetta wants to know: Are you still talking about fun spot, Brian? It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> no, on to other like. Uh... Double entendre things. <laughs> so, if you um, the, the music <laughs> from that one video, the, the trailer video, is actually from um, uh, Chi Chan. Chi Chan, where, where the fuck? Is it? Uh, yeah, it's from a, a Japanese anime cartoon where the kid just literally goes around and, like shakes his ass at everything. Oh, okay. Now I'm intrigued. Oh. So, uh, let me see. Two Ogi. I'm looking. I don't see the video. Why am I not seeing it? It should be right there on the front of the page. I know. Like the very I'm top. Brian is a little special. You want me to, I got it right here. Oh, you fuck? To... I'm a little special. I'm a lot special, baby. <laughs> you might be the only one who hates you, Quota. I'm, I'm just going to leave the stream going until like 3 in the morning. <clears throat> <laughs> no, some of us got to work tomorrow. Here, I got it right here. Are you working tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, damn. All right, let's let me see. see. Yeah, yeah, my I lost, lost some job. job. Woke up late this morning. A storm was really rolling. Frogs and dogs are raining from the sky. Everything seems awkward to me. Nothing's just as it should be. If this keeps on, I'm sure I won't get by. But then I close my eyes. And try to smile I know things are bad and getting worse But after all this I can rest a while And then I'll party, 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 party Join us, join us, party, party, join us, join us Party, party, join us, join us Shake your day away and you can Party, party, join us, join us Party, party, join us, join us Party, party, join us, join us Shake your blues away Yo, we're vacation, boy Shaking and it ain't just shaking here. I see that smile you're grinning here to fear. Singing this song and you should really sing it clear. Just sing along with us. Things are bad and getting worse 
But after all this I can rest a while And then I'll party, 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 party Join us, join us, party, party, join us, join us Party, party, join us, join us Shake your day away and you can Party, party, join us, join us Party, party, join us, join us Party, party, join us, join us Shake your blues away <laughs> Yo, reggae vacation, mom This party's shaking and it ain't just shaking here that smile you're grinning ear to ear Sing this song and you should really sing it clear Just sing along with us Party, party, join us, join us Party, party, join us, join us Party, party, join us, join us Shake your day away and you can Party, party! Oh, I can't be true <laughs> I'm, jo I'm joining the party. Tell me that cool. you guys watch the channel. Tell yeah. Tell me that don't, doesn't match exactly what the channel is, though. The vibe, yeah. yeah I like I it. That tells me I need to work so, on some shit for my channel. We, um, yeah, this is the, the, the type of music I'll videos that we put together on the channel. Um, we did one for opening night of HHN last year. Um, really? You know, things like, yeah, things like that. So we got a whole playlist of music videos on there and, and stuff. So. I used uh, for Six Flags Over Georgia. Our, uh, I put a whole uh, compilation of uh, coasters and stuff together to um, roller coaster of love and you know things like that. So, all right, I gotta look at that. I gotta do a deeper dive. Would you say, Rel? I'm sure it's some bullshit. I said you need to get our um, intro song together because that's not working out. For uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 we're, we're theme parks. I mean, I know you want fucking. What do you want? Ice cube? Like, what do you want? Hey, we can do ice cube. Uh, <laughs> Had to end the backup dancing with a hashtag. Whoa, yep. what's up, Mad Hatter? Mad Hatter with a trademark logo? What the yeah. fuck? Hello. Is this a dude that's uh, on your channel? On your side? Yes, Mad Hatter. He's one of Mad my people. Oh, is he? Yes. Oh, so then he's crazy. All right, let's move on. <laughs> You're real <laughs> crazy here. I'm Why kidding. you gotta be crazy? Mad Hatter, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Welcome and good evening. So what's the deal with Mad Hatter? Is he literally the Mad Hatter? Is that him in the, the photo? What's going on here? Mad Hatter, I actually met him through Hobby. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You went through Hobby? Okay, very cool. Yeah. Listen, listen, I, I'm not, I love that he's in here supporting, but if you have Mad Hatter and a trademark, and then is that a picture of him and the Mad Hatter logo? That's pretty cool. Is he a cast member? I don't know. All right. I just know he, um, why, you, why are you he asking so many questions? Exactly. Why am I asking questions? I'm fucking intrigued. I'm a, I'm a human being. I, I want to know if he's a cast member or if he walks around in Publix like that. I want to know. <laughs> You can uh, get what? anything almost trademarked. Oh, God, the time warp. I don't even want to think about that. Those are those days are well behind Jess and I. <laughs> what, Rocky Horror Days? Oh, God, dude. We used to do Shadowcast. Do they dare? What is Shadowcast? Shadowcast? You're, okay, so when you go down to the village to this fucking H Street Playhouse, oh. Oh, when <laughs> they used to do Rocky Horror there Friday and Saturday night, Benny, Benny's like, oh, yeah, my uh, okay. there. <laughs> like you understand what I'm talking about. We used to do Rocky Horror, like, yeah, shadow casts and full on like rice thrown at you and shit. Wow, what? Yeah, would why you, are they throwing rice at you? Would you guys oh dress God, up? Because you're too young. Listen, <laughs> I, I, I know I'm gonna like be outcast here, but I've never seen Rocky Horror like all the way through. I know. Are of you it. serious? I've never. I know hmm. of it. Through like you know pop culture, good. it's good. It's really good. Is it really? Yeah. Is we it worth need it? to do like a Rocky Horror like watch party. Party, yeah. I'm there for it. I mean, as long as I don't yeah. dress up like. No, 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 no. Like, I just because like because apparently Isn't that like what two you do of you anyway at home dress up. Listen, this uh, what's gonna yeah, be our last? Yeah, it's gonna be our last. Hobbies out thing. of this. Okay, I might do the same. Now look at him with his microphone like he's a time life operator. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> You're too young for that reference. <laughs> well, uh, 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 like a Janet Jackson backup dancer with that microphone. And, and you know I love Janet. So, I know and, I love Janet too. 
This was Jenny uh, with you, this nasty. This is uh, Spirit Airlines. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that had it. What's uh, up? How did you? Uh, I guess you found us through uh, uh, Theme Park Lifestyle. How are you? How's it going? How's your Sunday? What brings you in here at eleven thirty at night on a Sunday? Him, 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 him. him? Theme Park Lifestyle is bringing people yeah. in at eleven thirty on a Sunday. Let's look at look how he's cool, comic collected. Thing in that you know why? Look at him. Look at him looking like Blade over there. I know, right? Or like <laughs> Men in Black Five. Okay. <laughs> The pug, <laughs> his neuralizer up in the air, like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from that headset. <laughs> he, he is looking calm, collected. Benny looked like he wanted to go to sleep ten hours ago. Oh, <laughs> it looks like I'm tired, but you know. No, I know you got work. Listen, if you need the jet. No, no. Wait, the picture. Okay. What, really? That's a view. Picture was from pre-pandemic. Current. Nineteen hundred. Oh, not you. Okay. What's oh, G? Okay. What's GF nineteen hundred? In my Disney that's a place, um, his girlfriend to eat. Oh, girlfriend. Okay. Well, she's pretty old. Born in nineteen hundred. Gluten free. Gluten free. I was thinking Grand Floridian. <laughs> <laughs> the GF. I'm thinking Grand Floridian. You're gluten free. <laughs> that's the first thing that came to my mind, man. Right. That's funny. <laughs> Man, I had a real. We're, we're just busting the balls in here. We're, yeah. We're, no, 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 no. It's missing a letter. It's missing a Y. She, uh, <laughs> I was just say. Oh, I was right. Grand Floridian, 1900 Park. Oh, look. Look at that. Oh, Danny, you read my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I do like to say that a lot. Hold on a second. Missing yeah, a Y. I have what no would filter GF when it comes to that. Think about it. GFY. You're a New Yorker. Why don't Think you about go it. yourself? Oh. Go you fuck yourself. It. 1900 doesn't match. Oh they wouldn't say God. that in 1900. 1900 oh times. Oh, damn. Okay, I can see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to get this Tuesday random cast going. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do. That would be cool. Um, well, on Tuesday? Tuesday? On Tuesday night? Tuesday? Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm game. It's fine. I get my out of work at 4:30, so my schedule. I don't have open. to work till when, uh, Wednesday till like one at one p.m. So I'm down. It's whatever. I can do a late night. You could do a late night. On Tuesday, well, yeah. How do we out random this random podcast? Even next Tuesday. <laughs> This Man, Tuesday what? And next Tuesday I'm off. Next Tuesday it'll be just no structure. We have no idea what the hell is being brought up. So is that how you usually just do your podcast, Danny? Uh, that stream, yeah, that's how we used to just do it. You just come in and you just start chat talking. Basically, I, we are backstage. Is right. how it's basically a behind the scenes of a stream. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm down. Right, that would be cool. I mean, that's what attracted us to your stream. I mean, we like the randomness of it. Awesome. And uh, the perversity and everything, the moistness. Yeah, the moistness. moistness. You said something on the first part on the first live stream I tuned in for you. You said something. You shot yourself in the foot. Like you said something like self gratification. You said something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's exactly what it was. <laughs> even even Jess was you like, really? "What the fuck?" Yeah. <laughs> but she looked at me and she was like, "Really?" Like you right. like she knew i knew what i was doing because i I'll, I'll pull i'll pull things out of air and i'm just like yeah just like just to see who catches on to shit <laughs> oh we caught on mad hat oh. are you in florida if you're still with us are you, is he in florida theme park do you know about this sir Why are you asking me questions? well that's your follower oh, sir. person that's your people what does yeah, that mean that doesn't say mean that. i know Personal, personal See, why are you getting a little nasty? Why are you getting so nasty? Defensive. What's his middle name? Good nasty, let's go. <laughs> See? <laughs> See, uh, well, it's okay. We're just asking. I'm just curious. I'm not asking for a social security number. I'm just asking. Yet. Right, yeah, that's next week. <laughs> Benny, what time you wake up? What time am I waking up tomorrow? Probably like nine, ten o'clock. I have a dossier on everyone that follows me. Okay, I know everything about everyone. You think you do? And it's like this big. 
I know about. Excuse me, sir. It's a little bigger. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. He's about forty minutes away. Okay. Cool. So you're in okay. the same. Don't tell me you're in a kala. No, because that's more than forty minutes away. A <laughs> kala is where Floridians go to die. No, I'm kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm not a Floridian, so I mean, I'm... you but are dude, now. It makes it even worse, brother. Uh, Actually, you're a I transplant that comes down to Florida. I, I'm I'm in Redneckville. I can tell you that much. Wait, so at what point do you call yourself? It's Florida. Florida. We all are. After how many years are you a Floridian? Well, Miami is not really considered Redneckville. I, I don't live in Miami. <clears throat> he said all of Florida is Redneckville. No, I said I live listen, in Redneckville. Listen, where I live, Flor- Miami is close to Alligator Alley. So yes, it is. What's Alligator Alley? It's I work like... in a liquor store. Alligator Alley. Is a lot of crazy people. It's where the rednecks go to live. Oh, yeah. I'd pay to go there. It's you it's know. basically nothing but what it sounds like. It's nothing a whole strip of going through the Everglades. Oh. So you guys, let me tell you this. I seen Brian on TikTok. I didn't know he had a Santa Claus page. Where he sit and he talk. First of all, so I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know. You know. What the fuck? I, I think Danny is just overtired. I don't know why you laughing at that stupid joke. You know what? what? Are you... oh, <laughs> I wasn't God. the joke. It was your face, not the joke. I have a Santa Claus page. What the fuck? He yeah. goes the way Rel just came out and said that. Like, no, he I does. Just thought shit. about it. I thought about it because the way Brian was looking, and I was like, oh, he looks like that guy that has the Santa Claus page. Oh my god. What the fuck are you talking I do have a Santa Claus page. It's a fetish page. Don't, Jaquetta, don't even, don't even start. <laughs> don't even gas these fools' heads up. <laughs> and you got the rosy cheeks going on too right now? Oh, I do. On. That's because I'm half Irish and because I have an enlarged heart. Thank you for bringing I have it. Oh, never oh, mind. Oh, 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 oh. What? You have what? No, you're talking about things enlarged. Oh. Um, I think this conversation is getting a little left field now. Well, that's <laughs> what it's all about. Listen, Jaque- it's almost midnight, so it's yeah. okay. It's after hours now. Jaquita's down for that talk. It's after hours now. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was watching this live stream the other night. It was like 4 o'clock in the morning. When yeah, I, I want to get like, back to other people's live streams. Yes. Who and... It was a um, uh, a couple from Australia. Oh, okay. And they were doing Rocky Horror trivia. Oh, right? nice. The lady that won, they were because they were handing out mystery boxes to winners, right? So the lady was like, "Oh, can I get an adult themed mystery box?" I was like, "What the hell?" <laughs> I'm like, "Whoa!" Well, this person Freaks is doing the live come out at night. The person that's doing the live stream, what's their content about? Is this like on par with what they usually do? It's like no, horror. they like they do like they're a movie trivia. Um, they're like okay. a movie uh, 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 play. They also do like um, like rail systems and stuff. And, wow. and what the hell is going on there? Oh my god! What are you? Do? Are you packing up and leaving? <laughs> Are no, you trying I'm to fit in there? He's trying to go in the bag. <laughs> oh fuck! My notary bag. I thought you were heading to MCO. Where you going? <laughs> you got jokes, right? I got Guess jokes. What? That handle's like Guess ten what? feet long. Guess what? This bag makes all my money. So what's up? So you got that cocaine mean, in there. That means what? Yeah, that's supposed to be a comeback. Fuck you in your suitcase. <laughs> I mean, I can grab the bag that makes my money too, but I mean, I'm not. Wait, do we all have bags that make money? I don't have a bag. I have a lounge fly. Chipping down. Do that make money? Well, what kind of chip? Never mind. Never I mean, mind. Never mind. Never mind. Have, can make me money. He but... has a Chippendale lounge fly. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. The, the, mm-hmm. the, no, the... no, 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 don't, you, you, don't. You, no. you just no, opened th- up. No, this is the one with naked guys on it. I'm telling you. Is it? Mm hmm. You're looking for the batteries. For the <laughs> right? <laughs> 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 like, it was the weirdest stream ever. Like, <sighs> What, this one? <laughs> no, no, no. This I was, was actually say. pretty normal. Yeah, this is pretty normal compared to other ones. This was just a normal day. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a great stream. <laughs> we need we, what we need to do is get what like. Did you, you use the body bag, maybe? I don't know what she's saying. That looks like a body bag. Have you ever left a hotel and actually like wrapped your sheets up around the pillows and left them on the bed? Oh, oh look like, like a, a body. body? There? That's <laughs> yes. fucking hilarious. No, yes. but I've seen that prank. <laughs> like that. I've done it. Really? I've done it when I stayed uh, down there recently. <laughs> yeah. Really, Benny? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I thought it was hilarious. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, when I stayed at the, the Crown Plaza. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, that's even better. <laughs> we could fit like uh, six other people in this chat. We need to get that going soon. I want like chaos. I want ultimate chaos. Thank I'd you. have to do things I don't want to do. <laughs> you, you have to on, do things you don't camera. want to do. On what? camera. Is there anything like like our personalities? It would be. Yeah, like Mike and Steph, and let's chaos. get um, what's that called? Um, You're freaking chaos. We could get. Uh, we could get Jaquetta um, on. Oh my we could get Jaquita on. We could get. Um, what's it called? Why do I keep saying Jaquetta? Jaquita. And Jaquita. I know how to pronounce her name. <laughs> Jaquita. We could, don't get don't get like Florida. Oh, okay. Uh, we could get like um, <laughs> we could get um, for the love of we could get Mike and Steph we could get uh, Journey awaits and we could get any people that Danny knows that you guys know. Danny knows uh, nobody. Okay, there you go. Then we could get the stuff rel. Rel. We get the Mad well, Hatter. My, my people are a little ratchet. If I get on here, a little catch up. See, look, look at Mad Hatter. Exactly. Like, Look at exactly. his his wit, yes. his humor. Yes. Unexpected. Yep. He could be part of that. <laughs> That'd be great. I was exact. I was gonna say that before, but I, I don't need people dogging me. But yeah, a little, a little red dye goes a long way. Yeah, <laughs> or ketchup. Yeah, there you go. Mad Adder, I like your style. All right, Darrell, you're bringing in good people. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, whatever? It's a nice compliment. Whatever. I know. Only him would think it's an insult. Whatever, man. Hold on. I think my mom is texting me. <laughs> <laughs> Says every grown man. <laughs> Listen, my mom texts me. I got to answer. That's my thing. She should come and whoop your ass. What? I wish she would. She's in rehab. She ain't going to come up that. I have friends in low places. Okay, uh, what's his name? Who sings that song? Garth Brooks. I love that song. But damn, what time does Jess come home? Shit. You know, that's actually what I'm like. Hold on, let me see if I can find my phone real quick. I'm trying to see. She probably is listening to this chat. She don't want to go home. What's <laughs> <laughs> going on? Right, like last night it's Skeleton Steve, and tonight is like chaos. <laughs> worth it. it is I worth showed it. her that picture last from last night, and she was like, "I don't want to know." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was listen. That was a highlight. That was cool. It was. That was a highlight. You gotta love re uh, uh, lights and uh, ceiling fans that have remotes. Yeah, yeah. I, I need to buy a new ceiling fan with a remote. I hate ceiling fans. I, I love ceiling them. fans. Sorry. I think they're gonna come flying <laughs> off the hinges and like Ooh. fly on my bed and kill me. Ooh. Yeah, loves them. Man. I hate them. I also think they're dust spreaders. Thank you. So are air conditioners. I'm gonna. She's actually she's actually shift lead tonight at work, so she's not gonna be home until close. Damn. What time do they close? Uh, two. Oh, so they stay. The bar stays open. No, the whole Hold thing. On one the whole thing. Somebody because the one in New Jersey would the, the bar, the restaurant would close and the bar would stay open. The well, we're in, in Central Florida now, son. Uh, yeah. Thanks, no. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> A little uncalled for, but I'll take it. Um, no, the, the here it's 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 two. Oh wow, they cook so out of state. Ugh. Uh, I just renewed my Disney Pass if anyone gives a shit. I had half Who, a you? day to do it. You? Oh, you don't care? You don't care? I care. I don't have oh, a thanks. Disney Pass, so I don't care. Yeah, I don't have one yet, but... Okay. I told you what to do, and you still ain't did it. Wh well, Who? Hello, I had this done. Oh, yeah. 
What do you need to do? Oh, get the Florida pass one? Yeah, um, yeah. The get the regular. The, and then an, uh, after a month upgrade. What is that one? Like three ninety nine? dollars Yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Okay. And I can't, I just can't do weekdays. I need weekends. That's my right. problem, too. Yeah. See, with mine, I'm off I every pass. Sunday. Thank God I live I in Ocala. The liquor stores are closed every Sunday. <laughs> I have the pirate pass, and I have a, most of the weekends. I have most of the weekends. It's just that yeah. holidays and the big major mm-hmm. thing, I don't have. I wouldn't go during the holidays anyway. Like, Neither. like that close to the holiday? No. Brian I'm, was, not but, about, yeah. I'm, I'm not about to elbow somebody in the face because they're stupid. You know. Honestly, Universal with the holidays is actually not bad at all. No, it's, yeah, not. it's not. No, Universal is not bad. We went yeah. when we went last year for my first time. The first time I went, we went to go see the holiday parade. Okay. Then it rained, and we didn't get to see the parade. Oh, was that when you were <laughs> supposed to be in a parade? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That was my first time. And we were all like heartbroken because we didn't see him in the parade. Yo, the holiday parade is yeah. bullshit. But then we went. We went to uh, eat at the NBC joint. Oh, yeah. We had that big ass pretzel. I'm sorry, I didn't mean the holiday parade. I meant the rainy day parade. <laughs> like I went to H H N. I went to H H N. H H N. Wow. I went to Mickey. Not so scary. And it like it was like a blip of a drop, and they canceled the whole fucking parade. Of oh, course God. they did. Yeah. I had six I remember, characters. Remember, we were car. saying that at a university. We're like, oh, there's no rain. There's no rain. Two uh, minutes well, later. Sky well, that was like a five-minute hurricane. <laughs> yeah. It just yeah. over that here. It just like it just comes down I over here. I felt the like, raindrops. No right, I felt the first few raindrops, and I disappeared on Brian and um and Benny. Like a and gremlin. I was hiding up under the, the little. <laughs> don't, uh, get the yeah, don't get them wet. Don't get them wet. Hat yeah, shot. Like, yeah. The brown derby and hat then, shot. And they was like, "Where is real? Where is real?" Then all of a sudden, the rain just choos. Right. <laughs> but luckily, we were like. Literally right in front of that awning, we just got up and walked over there. <laughs> right, but people's umbrellas were being inverted. Yeah, it was raining <laughs> sideways. <laughs> that was like one day I was on a uh, high in the tri- trolley uh, over there, and it just uh, like mid ride, it just opened up out of nowhere. Oh. And we're like, well, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> we're just hanging out on the exit ramp and stuff. I'm like, well, at least we're here. They're going to close. They're going to shut the ride down anyway. So you're just like, well, fuck it. <laughs> what are you do? That's like what um, we were at SeaWorld one of the last times, not for the um, uh, sh- for the new show and everything. The one, the video I did before that, man, it just opened up on us out there. Like it, yeah. we were over there at the uh, waiting for the um, uh, hmm. Shamu show and all that, and it just opened up when we were in their stadium. They canceled the show, and it was at the end of the night too. We had to make a beeline from from that stadium, like where Icebreaker is, all the way to the front of the park, and everybody's just hanging out under the uh, the, the the shelter underneath the, by the stadium. We were like, "Well, we got to do this. We got to go." <laughs> we just went. Have you been I'm to? Here. Have you been to Sea World's horror kind of thing? Oh no, no, not yet. We're gonna we're gonna be getting the annual passes for that this year. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that too. First time, Darrell, you been? No, I ain't been. It's okay, the second what? year doing it. He doesn't do anything horror. I see that. He's afraid he's no flake. I never said I never did. I have <laughs> did um, Bush Gardens and I have did Halloween Horror Night and I did Six Flags Fright Fest before. Which Six Flags? Over Georgia. Sorry. Terrell does the, yeah. he does the I'm horror glad to see. I'm glad to see you made it out alive. <laughs> He does the horror yeah. houses at Sesame Place. I went to uh, what was it Fright Fest at, at, at Great Adventure. <laughs> Yeah, and it was like gang war. Yeah, yeah. It's a six so flags like, thing. Yeah, let's go. Mm-hmm. We're out. Wait, what does Everybody that mean? Gang whore? Yeah, it, it, it's gang real ratchet. Whore. What is that? It's real ratchet. Oh, a bunch of gangs okay. started fighting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gang war. Yeah. Open maybe that was part of the. Maybe that was part of the entertainment. Maybe that was a house. When when you go to Six Flags, you pay for that when uh, to guarantee fight every time you go to Six Flags. Well, well, they fight at Disney now. It's a guaranteed fight. That's gonna be something that's gonna happen. That brings up. Hide the money, y'all. There's poor people around. (laughs) With your broke ass. (laughs) (laughs) With your broke ass. Oh my god. Oh, listen, I have to play that once a podcast. That's great. I love it. Once a live stream. I mean. 
Oh, she's so great. If I could get the other one, I would play it too. Reckon, but I can't. Reckon, why you can't get it? Yo, I'm I can't. So mad. I'm so mad that you got. You don't that know how to get it. Reckon, you're mad that right there. We got what? That you got that minion. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't find that thing anywhere. Oh in the park look, right I didn't now. notice the Yoshi um egg is lit up. Oh. Yep. He, he's got Yoshi balls. Pretty cool. And Freddy and Leatherface and Michael. Mm-hmm. Little ones. But uh you can't find that anywhere? Nope. Well, we got it's, three. I guess we're gonna have to give you one maybe. They've been they've been sold out of that thing. I, I was I love it. I think it's one of the better popcorn buckets. It I is. mean, I didn't even know they did it. Um but we we kept, we collect some Disney popcorn. Uh, I'm glad Universal is getting into the game of the popcorn buckets on Yeah. Side. Yeah, we have some like down below, some like when Ead went to Japan, some yeah. uh, Nintendo World merch, and he got the bands and all that bullshit. But yeah. Those bands are actually pretty cool. <gasps> I saw a little head rolling around there. Yeah. <laughs> Your reaction scared. was great. <laughs> no, did he say he don't get scared? <laughs> Oh me! When I go to the horror houses, I get scared by the jump scare. I get, you know what? When I go to the horror houses, I get scared more by the cast members lurking in the corner, or the team members <laughs> lurking in the corner, and they just sit there like you're a fucking asshole. And I'm like, well, you're just sitting there fucking staring at me in the dark. I can barely see you. Fuck, loser. <laughs> right. So I do get, I do get scared by that. Oh, they call me a loser. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> fucking 350 pound dickhead. <laughs> But I love it. I'm trying to get us to go. I want to get us to go five minutes more so we can officially make it. Five minutes more? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. You know, I got to be up. Well, I got to be up early to do this notarization tomorrow. Yeah, Rel's a notary. Keep it moving. Universal, if you need any of your your, your things notarized, I'm I'm pretty sure they have enough notaries. I'm going to mute him. Actually, notary. I don't notary, care. Notary, <laughs> notaries get a good bag, man. Oh, this I did, fuck I, I did, did some shit. Think so. oh, okay, oh, don't sorry. talk about. Yeah. Benny's still here. Don't talk about. It. <laughs> no, it's. I'm, I'm just. I'm just seeing notifications pop up for shit. That's all. Oh, from floor. Oh. Um. You I'm getting, getting, off, this chat. Wow. I'm getting, getting off this chat because kind you, kind you of along those ways. Oh, I hear you. Yeah. 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 You uh okay. I was trying to I was trying to pick your brain for a second. I can't think of any of the YouTube. Do you like waiting in line with Trish? Do you know her? No. I love you know? Trish. She's cool. She's cool. What about that guy? Who's that guy? Brody. Who does the Disney news? What's his name? He looks. He's a nine year old. What does he do? Like Epcot news I'm, and all I'm, that. I'm oh. Not this, um, oh. This thing right now because I know who you talk. Yeah. Yeah. Brayden, he, Brayden, Brayden, Brayden. He, um, I like. I, 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 I used to watch him back in the day, but I lost track of him. I think he moved here. He, uh, yeah, he moved here. He was living in Atlanta. He moved here the oh, same he time I moved a nine here. Nine year old, really? Well, he looks like a nine year old. I'm just saying. I'm not throwing shade. I, I still like him. I follow him. Oh, Come on, if we can't be honest, like we're just hanging out, chilling. What the fuck? Are we Listen, doing? I'll be honest. There's just a lot of asshole YouTubers out there. And that well, I'm not. No, I, I really don't. From. I don't. I don't know the deal with him. I actually, he's pretty cool. Um, yeah. No, he's I, cool. I he's cool. I like. I like his. Times. I like yeah, his. He's cool. Didn't he get in trouble I with Disney? Though? No, he never like, gets in trouble. Like like critiquing them too much or some shit. No. Oh. Like other people. Yeah. Uh. Remember, Disney only only thing that he can't do, I think. They don't allow him to come to like special media oh, okay. because he's, he's going to state his opinion. You know right, how he right, feels. Right, right. And God forbid that happens. <laughs> yeah. I so, like the fact that he does um the yeah. monorail. You know, he knows how to do like models of like, different things. He oh, does, does he? Like, the monorail, like, what the monorail mm-hmm. system should look like in twenty twenty two. All right, so we got two minutes left. Guys, uh, I really appreciate Two Real Geeks. Danny from Two Real Geeks joining us for tonight. Hopefully next time we have Jess. 
But it's been an interesting ride. Our longest stream, our most chaotic stream, and I love I it. I told you it was going to be long. Absolutely <laughs> love it. This definitely was True Real Geeks takeover. And also, show me, uh, Lugo, uh, my co-host, our, co- our co-host and our bestie, uh, Lugo, show him some love. There he is on Instagram and YouTube. And, of course, that salty, shady theme park lifestyle. You can catch, <laughs> you can catch this what hoe on all me? these platforms. Instagram, yeah, he's Facebook, like, TikTok. Why I gotta be salty and shady? I'm he's like, what's he's like, <laughs> what's his name for fucking Jaws? Because you are, my friend. That's what that's what I'm you're. I'm not salty or shady. He's he's composer. like, um, uh, what the hell's his name from Jaws? Ooh. Hmm. I'm interested now, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> no, not Bruce. <laughs> the, the 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 boat captain. What the fuck oh, was his name? Oh, um. You know who I'm talking about. Yes, yes, the salty, nasty bitch. Okay, so uh, you can also catch Steve. <laughs> catch Steve on Instagram. There you go. You know what? You just mad. I'm it's not right. mad. I'm never mad at you, Darrell. There's a man right there. All right, mad. you can follow Steve on TikTok. Well, hopefully next week's TikTok, Instagram, Prodigy, <laughs> AOL, Commodore Prodigy. 64. <laughs> catch, catch him there. He doesn't say much, but he's very serious. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got some. Wait, 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 wait. What? You are getting texts from his mom? No, my mom. My mom. That was <laughs> more party than Universal. Have a good night. <laughs> Mad Hatter, thank you for joining us, my friend. Hopefully, yeah, you come back soon. Great you, night, Mad Hatter. You, you, your humor seems to fit in with us, so hopefully, you come back. Yes, so, definitely come back. That looks like Khloe Kardashian's hair. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, uh, have we you don't. seen pictures of her hand? <laughs> It looks skeletal. I mean, I'm a big Chloe fan. I like it. But anyway, Steve, sir, thank you for joining us tonight. It's been a pleasure. Uh, and two real geeks, theme park lifestyle. Lugo, we got to do this again. Uh, I love the chaotic nature. Oh, <laughs> shit. Steve went for a ride. <laughs> I hope you didn't hit him. <laughs> Right now, your puppy's like, what the fuck was that? She, she's on the floor. <laughs> I knew where she was. And she's like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> but uh thank you guys have a great rest of your sunday well now it's monday but uh enjoy wait yeah it is monday, monday. enjoy, yeah, enjoy the start good. of your week and uh yeah it's not monday until i wake up i i feel that i feel very that. true very true all right benny theme park yes. i'll speak to you soon danny hopefully speak to you soon oh you will peace out guys Darrell would never ever ever fail to mention <laughs> i was younger than us <laughs> Um, but yeah, so uh, let's get right into it.